Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, A very warm welcome uh, to all our viewers here in South Africa and abroad. Um, we're in for a thrilling day um, today on this, uh, of, of the tournament. Uh, next to me I've got Ian Gordon, the Green Ranger here at Durbanville. Um, so just um, to share some information with our viewers, especially those overseas, Ian, can you start off by saying good morning. Good morning, you. morning uh, all the viewers. Uh, hope you enjoy uh, today, another lovely day in Cape Town. Ian, do you want to just share with the viewers, um, let's start off by asking you, what sort of grass have you got on this uh, on the green? What variety? On this A the A green and the B green, we've got a mixture. We've got uh, the C green is Bayview only, and it's the uh, bit of uh, Bermuda is popping in all over. But in on the, these two greens, we've got a mixture of three grasses. So it's the Bayview, Bermuda, and a Cynodon or Cat. Ian, we had a we had a, a bit of a strong wind yesterday, a northwesterly. I think that it'll be um, less windy today. We had a bit of rain last night. Um, you've t you've um, t uh, timed the green this morning. What is it running at? The green's running at 13 and a half seconds now, so it'll pick up uh, during the day. It'll get quicker and quicker as the sun bakes and yeah. lifts. The and just lastly, just tell us about your preparation coming into this tournament. What sort of preparation did you do and, and what was your objective? Okay, the biggest thing was to try and get all three greens at the same speed. So we brushed, cut, uh, grew, uh, uh, scarified, brushed, cut, some of them three times so that we could get them up to the same, all the same or speed, similar speed. So that, yeah, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. that they're all running the same and they're not going from one slow to a quick. Right. So you're the Green Ranger, the actual yeah, Green the Keeper actual is Jeffrey Klaas and he's been here for 36 years. 38 years. Okay. 38 years, he started here when he was 18 and he's fantastic, he knows exactly what to do, not only on the greens but off the greens in the garden and the surrounds, yeah. so he's very, very good. Alright Jan, uh, thanks very much, um, congratulations, these greens are really fantastic, uh, the players have just complimented us um, uh, on the quality of these greens, well done and keep it up and, yeah. and enjoy your day. Thank you, thank you, cheers. Alright, now we've got... Uh, Alan Gordon, that'll do a pre-match uh, into <laughs> Alan Lofthouse, my apologies. <laughs> Alan Gordon. Thank you. Go. My apologies to Alan Gordon. Maybe it could have been worse. Um, I think first we've got spectators here. Everything, the weather's good. The weather's perfect in Cape Town. There's not a breath of wind, if you can believe it, if you're watching us from anywhere around South Africa. Not a breath of wind, lovely temperature. I don't think it's going to get up to more than about 20. Let's get the show on the road. I think if I can ask uh, Tennyson Warren to join me first. Round of applause. Thank you. On cue. Warren. Yes, sir. Jeez. They tell me they've got a form ready for you in the clubhouse here. You've done so well. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this tournament's been kind to me. I've been lucky uh, second year now in a row. And uh, let's see if uh, I get an offer on that form. <laughs> Listen, the way you've been doing, you're in the running for both competitions this year. Yeah. So you must be very excited and, and obviously comfortable with your game. Yeah. Uh, it's getting uh, better and better. Well, I'm, that's I'm, good. I'm settling in a bit. That's so. great. That's great. And we've got tennis. Tennis has already uh, had a trip to uh, one or two or more Three. trips to pot. Three trips to potters. So he's had that experience. Warren had it last year. Tennis, um, you're running on this tournament in the pairs. How's it gone? 
I think it was like uh, my singles. I thought we we're going to have another tiebreaker, but at least we broke that one, um, and we managed to go through with straight sets in our set, uh, our section. And then, yeah, yesterday afternoon, uh, Warren played very well, and yeah, I, I think just uh, looking forward to this this game. I think it's going to be a tough game, uh, tough competitors, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Good. And I mean, in this format of two bowls, uh, it's very important that your league gets there and sets it up for you. Yes, yeah, especially with the two balls. Um, if if you have one or two loose balls, uh, then you can quickly drop a three or four. So if it's tight, like uh, if the lead is tight, then it's going to be a good game. Fantastic. Good bowling, gentlemen. Thank Thanks Thank for you. joining me. If I can now have Jason Evans and Sean Thomas. You go. Jason, Sean, I think first and foremost, thank you guys for joining us in Cape Town. What a pleasure it is to have bowlers of your ability uh, coming to show us up. Eh? And yeah, you are in the semi-final. You enjoyed your tournament? Yeah, mate, this, um, I keep saying it, last year was exceptional. This year, I didn't think it could get better. But um, the greens are, hat off to the greenkeeper, they, they're superb. Facilities are brilliant. The way Lombard and his team and and the commentary as well, especially just hearing good things, and um, you know, a, a, a certain other associations can take note of how to do it mm. and do it properly. Yeah. And um, yeah, so from my side, it's yeah, it's the best one around. Well, that's so, great to yeah. hear, Jason. Over to Sean. Um, now, Jason, I know you've uh, you're playing out of Morningside at the moment. Um, Sean, your club is. I've just uh, joined uh, Morningside now this season, Alan, so um, playing a few comps with Jason. We actually haven't played that much together. Last year's PBA was the first one, but now we're getting into uh, a little bit of a combo and I enjoy playing with him. And you've had a fantastic year as far as the provincials are concerned. You won it? Uh, yes, uh, we've done a back-to-back, -back, so uh, hopefully we can go for a hat-trick next year at home. Fantastic. I'm not going to hold uh, the proceedings up. Gentlemen, play well, have a great game and uh, give the spectators they're going to be. I'm sure they're going to be clapping and carrying on. It's going to be a fantastic game, I've no doubt. Thank Cheers, you very mate. much, gents. Thanks, Back to the commentary team of uh, Johan Duplessis and Nick uh, Rusling. Thank you. Thanks, Alan Lofthouse. Morning from a cooler Cape Town today. You are looking forward to today's play? It's finals day. Well, morning, Nick. Well, if it's anything like yesterday, um, buckle up. It's going to be sensational. I mean, we uh, we saw some brilliant bowls yesterday under difficult conditions. The wind really blew. Uh, it sort of settled in the late afternoon. The guys on the TV rink had a bit more protection. The wind came from the northwest. Uh, the predictions today is a light wind. We had a bit of rain last night, but the greens are running at 13 and a half as we speak. Um, your thoughts of yesterday, Nick? Uh, I thought um, the singles game between Colleen and Kevin Smith was a, was a showcase of brilliance. Uh, just not being rude in any way, but I thought it was two heavyweight boxers going pound for pound. And I thought what got uh, what got Colleen through was her was her game management. I thought she managed the game very well, and she played the tiebreaker ultimately very well. Um, I think Kevin. Maybe slightly just inexperienced in the tiebreaker. Pressure got to him and wasn't as, as consistent as in the game. Um, you know, let's have a look forward to today. Um, singles, you know, we've got Jerry playing Warren in the semi final. We've got, um, we've got Wayne York playing Colleen. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, Jerry again. Yeah, he came unscathed against Matthew Spirry, you know, won two straight. Matthews was on top of his game, so you know, you've got to have a little look there. But don't discount uh, Yorkie or Collie. Your thoughts, uh, Johan? Uh, just to get back to that uh, game of Colleen and Kevin Smith, Colleen Picketh and Kevin Smith, that was Humdinger. They're quite right. Um, and I uh, conclude with you that um, her game management was superb. She opted to play the hand that these two guys have started off on, uh, the, the ditch hand. Uh, I think it's the two of the two hands where Kevin went and opted there, for the other one. Uh, but um, I mean, the weight control from both players were sublime. It was, you know, it, it, it was lovely to watch. They took it to another level. Anyway, back to this game. Um, Nick, what do you think will be the deciding factor in this game? 
I think it'll be the battle between Sean Thomas and Warren Stein at who, who, who comes on top. Um, we'll, I think we'll decide. Um, you know, that smatching of rain that you had last night slowed the green down ever so slightly. You know, and I think that's played into the advantage of the players. You know, it's not as fast. And I, I think we're going to see, if you thought yesterday was good, I think we're going to see even better. Um, you know, looking at the pairs, we've got these two uh, semi-finalists, Jason Tinnis, both pro-tier players. Both, uh, you know, good pro-tier players. So I'm expecting a, a cracking game. And on the other semi, we've got... Uh, hey Simon, Herman, hey Simon, playing, you know, uh, um, an interesting combination in, in Stoffel, Lomprecht and Fred Boerter. You know, uh, both both those teams got to the semi-final last year. So, um, who do I tip for the top? I'm going to go for the local lads. I'm going to go Herman and, and, uh, and Zandre. It's a great start from Tina Zulof, sir. Um, three down, drawing the shot. Yeah. Uh, that'll get him up for the game. Yeah, that's a very, very good start. I think also what may, what may, also decide the game is the accuracy of Tinnis's drives. If he's in that situation, you know, we we know him in South Africa as a as a, a good uh, attacking player, likes to attack, not shy to let one go. Um, Jason just under the line, not quite getting the wood square. So Tinnis drawing a bonus. Nice confident start for, for the from the man from George. Was that Ul Kerulini? Jason acknowledging oh, what a, two good words. What a great start. What a great start. Well played tennis. From three down to two up, uh, that'll uh, that'll give him uh, that'll boost his confidence, Nicky. What do you think um, what do you think um, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say there. <laughs> Sorry. What, what do I think of the outcome? Yeah. Um, look, I don't like to predict. Uh, but I think you're quite right. The, uh, a big deciding factor will be the two leads, um, and it, you know I, I really can't put the one in front of the others. Um, Warren's had a, a fair amount of game time on this ring, but uh, uh, Sean is a seasoned campaigner, uh, member of the Gold Squad, doing exceptionally well. Um, he's winning um, consistently. Um, they both got big match temperament. I think that's going to be a very, very close tussle. And uh, whoever gets on top um, first would probably uh, decide the, uh, the outcome towards the end. Uh, look, in Jason Evans, uh, you know, he'll be at them all day, yeah. every day. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. also depends how Tinas reacts to the situation. But, um, you know, off to a great start like yeah. that. That'll, yeah. He's on his bicycle. Yeah. Just chatting to Jason, him... Him and uh, Haley, uh, it's my Haley are going off to Guernsey end of the month to go play in the World Indoor that they qualified for when they won the Masters. Just a little bit of trivia. Uh, it's my Haley, um, her son Warren Stein on the mat. So it's it's in the family, you know, a successful family. Yeah, the other factor, the other factor that that's going to come into play, uh, especially to Warren, is that he's played every session. So will fatigue start setting in later in the day? How will the mind, will, is the mind geared for, for top level bowls? I think Warren will be fine. Um, I know the um, consistent playing last year of a similar situation with Wayne Roberts did affect him. Uh, Wayne was uh, of the opinion that he was getting tired and uh, he had to take some intakes, you know, to keep going, some liquids, etc. But I think Warren just, I know he just seems, uh, he's built differently. Yes. Maybe I think he took a lot of learning from last year, you know. Um, so I've been watching him, and he's he's added a little bit of a dimension to his game, which I, which I'm enjoying. So, yeah, let's see how the day pans out. Tina's drawing on the backhand, on that on that Nick. tight hand, eh? That, that yeah, hand. Interesting. Um, I think he's a tad wide. Can he get back? No. Nope. As we saw yesterday, Nicky, yeah, that end with just a bit of weight right. just seems to hold a little bit. Yeah. The one thing I can say uh, with confidence is that Tinas likes the crowd. He likes yes. he likes that pressure. He likes that big uh, match situation. Um, you in agreement with that? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he yeah he loves he loves the limelight. You know, so um, it's right up his alley, and he, and he, I think he wants to. Um, 
to uh, send a sh uh, you know send a message to the South African selectors to say that he's still around. Why not? You know, still, still young. That's, still, that's you know. why the stage has been created. created. Yeah, look at this. He's, has he drawn yeah. it again? Yes, he has. He enjoys that little trot down. Good adjustment on the weight yeah. there, Nicky. You know, tennis has run. You know, he's a very fit, fit gentleman. He, he's, he's done the comrades. So mentally, he's strong. Jason just under the line, looking for a little trail, just channeling past. Good try. First start from uh, Tennis and Warren. Uh, looks like uh, measuring for three. Umpires up. Good to see a nice early crowd uh, already starting to trundle in. So um, yeah, let's get him. Let's get him down. I'm, I'm hoping to see a bit of the Goodwood Raw or the, uh, or the Durbanville Raw coming in. Come on, Morales, where are you? We need your support. Where's my mate Sebastian Rodriguez? Come, come on, shout your main home, Herman. Nice to see on my left here, Nicky, the legendary Neil Burkett. Huh? No, watching, was, watching the game. Was unlucky to lose. He lost to two two great shots from Stoffel in the tiebreaker. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, going to be good. So, it's Sean has indicated it's two shots to uh, Tinas Ulofsa. So, they take a 4 0 lead. 4 0 after, after two. After two. Just settles those nerves. Yes. Jason just going to ease into it. I think we'll see a bit of a. A bit of a bounce back if should have play hard to score here. Yeah. Matt up. Like they've been playing all week. Jason having a look to see if it's over. Sean having a little natter to him. Uh, all confusion. Oh, they've called the umpire. <laughs> That's white ball. Just whilst they just whilst they measuring, you know, I just want to have a, just have a little chat around the other game you know we've got uh adam on hey simon um you know, he's he's a he's a young man um my personal opinion is he's one of the he's the number he's one of the he's the number one bowler in western province at the at, at the moment he um, defended his force title he went in for a little shoulder op just to clean it out so that's why he missed the inter districts but um you know and and he's he's had a very wonderful mentor in in nigel solomon's Who's take, who took him under his wing at an early age and and really developed him into a, into the bowler he is today, you know. And just just look, you know, just talking about that, you know. Sometimes we need players to lean on, like you know, Jerry when he was uh, making his name in the in the bowling world, he would lean on on to Bill Mosley. Absolutely. Um, you know, myself when I was trying you know trying to make my way up in the ranks, you know, my late father was the person I, I lent on. Did you have anybody in particular you want? Well, um, as Bill was obviously a very tough taskmaster for Jerry, and it, it stood him in good faith. Um, um, I had uh, I had the uh, privilege of having my, my late uncle, Franz Duplessis, who was uh, also <laughs> very tough, very hard on me, um, but uh, showed me the way from a very early age. Very thankful for that. You know, when when you when the days are a bit gloomy and you're unsure, you know, there's always just that lean, just to lean on, and it just guides you back as as uh, Warren just goes through by half a metre. Looks like Sean's lying the one at the moment. You know, just to lean on, just to have a little whisper in the air, and they just guide you, get you back on track. What's interesting, yeah, Nick, is that the the two leads have opted for the two different hands. Sean has elected the uh, teach hand, as you can see. Yeah. And, um, Warren plays with a more narrow bowl, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he plays with the Revolution. Revolution. Yeah, Revolution. So I think that is a bit of a tight tool. I was very impressed with, 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 with Kevin Smith, and I, I highlighted it yesterday, that he actually he, he looked at the conditions leading into the tournament, changed his wits to a tight tool with Quantum, and they held him in good stead, you know? It's a quarterfinals uh, pair, just lost. Quarterfinals singles, just lost. But it shows you what, what the difference... You know, different woods, you know, you, 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 yeah. you adapt to the conditions. Tennis just going under the line ever so slightly with great weight. He's really settled on the weight early doors, hasn't he? Yeah. Just going back to that game of Colleen, I mean, she was just... Uh, she's been off her game of late. Um, and on her own admission going to World Bowls, she wasn't quite the Colleen that we know. 
And um, yesterday she put it together. She did say to me that she was in a better space. And she was just absolutely fantastic. That weight control was sublime. Was you, you could see it in the body language. You can see it. She's smiling again. She's bouncy. You know, she's got the little bounce again. You know, it's like Jerry. You know, you spoke about, look at Jerry. Ever since he's, you know, he's retired from international bowls, he's enjoying his bowls. He's playing with his friends. And he's, and he's producing results. No pressure. Yeah. Uh, can he stop? Can he stop? Oh, he has. He's played. As my, my, as my mate Mike Herbert says in Wales, it's a bomb. As they say in Australia, it's a ripper. And here in South Africa, awesome relevant. Tennis has really started off hot. Can Jay get back? Can he get back? Just holding on that hand. That hand, that hand, hand. That hand mate. So uh, in the commentary, we'll, uh, we'll open up discussions. We'll have little discussions. Please keep the comments coming through. Jared Springs from Australia, how are you? Or New Zealand, how are you, my mate? Played against your dad in the Interprovincials. He pinged me, so welcome. Wayne Rutmiller, fantastic to see you, big guy. Morning, Wayne. Got Jacqueline Root. Lekker Afrikaans, goed om te hear. You can see Robal speel tennis. Ons mis jou in Erkureleni, Mora Jacqueline, hoop jy geniet die doorbal. So, uh, the, the tennis Warren Stein combination settled nicely into the semi-final, taking a 5-0 lead, three ends in, and um, Warren Stein opening up with a cracker. Tennis definitely showing Jason that he's here to do business, yeah. he's not here to make up the numbers. Yeah. I think he's also showing my, my, my friend here, yeah, Selector, that he's still, still got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. What a good response from uh, Brilliant response. From Sean Thomas. Loving, loving Sean Thomas's woods. Got the South African flag with the South African colours. Looking good. I think that's what we're going to see for the duration of this game. A great yeah. tussle between these two yes. very, very accomplished yes. players, Nick. Yeah. And I think it's just too, who just, too just bulls the heads better for the skip. It's Warren just over that. adjusting. I think it would have been drawing close. Tough game, there's two bowl singles, yeah. nowhere to hide. Yeah. If you slightly off it, you know, it, you do get shown up very quick. Uh, to our viewers there, just as a matter of interest, uh, the uh, committee has decided to extend the, uh, the number of ends for the finals, both in the singles and the pairs. Uh, it'll be extended to 11 ends. Nick, um, what's your opinion about that? Yes, it is a final. I think that's a very good innovation. I know they do it at Potters as well. Just, uh, you know, testing the resolve of the players. You know, uh, and also giving the player maybe chasing time to catch up. Yeah, I think it's a great innovation. I think it just uh, um, adds a bit of value uh, to, the, to perhaps the better, more consistent player. Yeah, quite correct. Uh, the semi-final has just kicked off, so there's no score yet. So we'll keep you informed on that and maybe get the cameraman to swing every time. Tennis, oh, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. unlucky but he's, uh, he's improved the situation he's slightly. He's uh, made the target bigger. Absolutely. Hey? Yeah. Nicky. Jason. Right. Jason's got a meter to draw. I expect him to get close. Yeah. So he's premium player at the moment. Record speaks volumes. Oh, he's just overcooked it. Great line. What will tennis do? Will backhand, draw, backhand, you, positive draw. You say sit the wood or trail the white. It's on that hand. It's on that hand that nobody's really facing. Is he it. tight enough? Is he yeah, get back? I think he's close. Oh. Johan, I think he's close, pal. He's, oh, he's played a ripper. Corker. He's played oh. a ripper. Here we go. In my mate Mike Herbert. Bomb. Australia, it's a ripper. And it's awesome. Robert in South Africa. Jason, what hand is he going to play? Oh, he's gone us on the back. Can he keep, can he find that line? Oh, I don't think he's far out, you want? Jason needs to respond, yeah. yeah. And he's responded. He's responded. He's responded. Oh, what a corker. Oh, what a bomber. Come on, Jason Evans, all the way. Has he turned it out for two? Good shot to get them on the board. Oh, I think that was important. Mentally, I think Jason just said, you know, it was important for him to respond to... Yeah. Some great shots that Tinnis has played. There we go. Uh, yeah, also there sending the message across. Listen, yeah. mate. Yeah, I'm I am who I am, and uh, you're gonna have to play well to beat me. Hundred percent. Nice, interesting. Looks like they're gonna go a foolish end. 
as we said uh, as we said earlier we're expe expecting a cracking game and it's lived up to expectation that was a great shot uh, you know i just felt that jason obviously assessed the situation he needed to score there yes uh, even a one there or a two yes you know um seven two seven sorry seven one yeah uh, almost seeing the set sli slipping away so what a great shot what a great reply from Jason had to reply I think it also just settles his nerves gets him into the game you see there we go I got Sammy Struva supporting the JBA boys just you got to remember Jason is an import great to start. JBA he started his bowls in Cape Town Okay, Sean is, is he's starting to settle now, you know. Last end he played a good one. This end he's opened up with a good one. Can Warren Smith reply? So Warren think, Stain, sorry. I think Sean's definitely on the better hand, the more accurate hand. Um, and that last ball just shows it, you know, you can the the, the, the hand is accurate, you can actually nail that line. What a response here. Yeah. Oh Tina's getting excited. Whoa! Oh, Sean's still lying. Good morning, Clinton Roots. My friend from the Summon Free State, Yorkie, will be on a bit later against Colling. Can he get back? Or has he added? Or he's just overcorrected? Okay, maybe. Yeah. Warren will just play just to turn his over. You're quite right what you're saying here. With, you know, the hand Warren Stain is playing, it's, you know, if you just miss your line inside or outside, you, you're going you're gonna to get punished. It's a fine line. Um, so yeah, but it, like I said, he's playing with the tight to wood. You see, there we go. Just it's, missed that line. It's the problem on that hand. If yeah. you ask to play something different to a draw, yeah. uh, a conversion shot, yeah. um, you know, it's it's tricky, and we've yeah. seen that all along. <coughs> there's there's an avid follower of bowls and a Liverpool supporter, Graham Turner. Get you on Facebook, or oh, he's having a punt at the United boys. Liverpool top of the pops. Graham smiling. Welcome. Glad you're enjoying the bowls. Yeah, so Jason just on the draw. I would try and not get next to it. Oh, he's close here. He's close here. What, what a great, great shot. What a great shot, Jason Evans. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean and Tom has been appreciative. This is the first big question that Tennis has been asked. Can he respond? He's got on that tight hand. See, he's not far out. Can he get back? Can he get back, Johan? Can he get back? He's got it, you know. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, Tinnis. Played a good way, just over the draw, eh? As they say in bowls term, that he improved it worse. He improved it worse. <laughs> <laughs> what will Jason do? Would he, would he stay on that? Would he try to get to Tinnis's backward? He comes down for a slow walk. Uh, Sean's suggestion oh. that he should change? To start off with, he's got the best back. So he won't be concerned about the the, um, the back. Yes, there's one more. Sean, Sean there. At Sean's the back. right at the back. What about the two meter? Yeah. What about the two meter? You know, uh, Tinnis has got the two meter. Maybe try and match Tinnis for the two meter. You know, Tinnis is not shy to have a little, you know, little little guy. I wouldn't say trundle. He'll be putting his wood back into George at the speed he drives. Ah, we've got I, think it'll, uh, I think it'll just be a draw for Jason. Yeah. Staying on his back end, I like that. I think he'll be. Uh, I think he would be going, trying to get to tennis as well. Anything but a, a yeah, Jack Hart on the, yeah. or is he go, or is on he the professional the side. Is he going the blocker? He's, he's tight. under. He's tight. He's tight. Mm. Yeah. Good effort. Oh, that's there we go. There we go. I think we're going to see the first attacking shot of the morning. It could have been his intention just to put in a bit of a spoiler on the uh, on yes. Tennis's forehand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make that run a bit uh, trickier, yeah. perhaps. No, Tennis uh, says if he gets the wood square, he gets all three without the white moving. But you know, if he's slightly inside, he gets half his, half theirs. You know, he, he drops and then and scores back to five all. Let's see what type of weight he plays. It plays. It looks like he's going to play it more controlled. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he's going. He's going. Oh, and he's close. He's close. Oh. I said, he really lets it go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, I thought he was going to go attack, and uh, he didn't. Um, 
that would have been back in George in his back garden. Yeah, I think not, not the worst shot in town, you know. Do you think our trophies are safe with that drive that he's got? Fortunately, that was the opposite way. I'm not going to comment because <laughs> I'll get into trouble. You know, when, I, when I'm on the drive, the guys always ask, where's the best place to stand when rustling's driving? Well, it's behind the white because he never hits it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, that change of length has definitely worked. Set, uh, set is nice to set up after five, five, four. Very important uh, end for points. Jason and them to score one. Yeah. Uh, back into contention in the set. One down. Looking four ends to go. Looking good. Lots of time. Uh, Sean Thomas settling now on the weight. You know. And I think he's opened up. Jason like, just has to hang around. Has to hang around. Not a bad opener. Yeah, just a bit of line will take away that extra weight. So, Tad, which Colleen did very well yesterday. You know, she just missed the line slightly. She adjusted so well with the second. It's interesting. Uh, Warren going on, the, on his uh, forehand. Yeah, ma making a change. Maybe feeling that the heads aren't building up in their favour. And he's, he's re responded. Line was good. Jason uh, immediately cha changing uh, Sean's hand. Maybe worried that he might turn that one closer. See, you just had a little roll in the roll-up. How did you feel? How, how was the green? You said about 13? Well, uh, yeah, 13, just over 13, fraction over yeah. 13. Good change from uh, Sean. Um, I played my worst hand, my back hand. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. show yeah. up my forehand. Yeah. Good. Warren staying on his forehand. Just got to just try to drop inside. Because he added that uh, foot of weight that he was and looking Dennis for, Nick. Dennis is stalking it and giving it a good clap. He has indeed. And he has. Well played. Well played, Warren Stein. Uh, that, uh, I think, will force Jason onto his forehand just to crack an egg to the waiting wood of Sean. Oh, he's got a great that. receiver yeah, here, Nicky. Great. Look at that replay. Thanks, Cole, for the replay. We'll get some more uh, action shots of the guys and we'll just do a little TV analysis, you know, see... Yeah, maybe we can pick up things that you guys can teach, you can learn. So, Nikki, on <laughs> rink two, Adamon um, has taken a, a four-shot lead um, over Fred Buerta and Stoffel after uh -huh. three ends. So yeah. they lead 4-0. Uh -huh. well, that'll be good for for the young uh, Zandre. He settled his nerves a little bit. Jason, is he, oh, is he wide oh. enough? Is he wide? Just under the line. You know, on that hand, if you miss that line, it just goes goes very quickly if you're under it. You'll make you'll make the correction. Let's see Tinas Skane on his backhand. I'm surely he's covering Sean's wood there, which he is. Has he got has he got the weight you want? Has he got oh he's, he's drawn close. another he's close. He's drawn another. I think he's left the door slightly ajar for Jason to play a little crack on to to make two. Just get it on a better line, Jay. Oh this looks good. He's 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 after it. He's after it. Can he get back? Uh, Sean, sure. no, he couldn't get back. Nothing for wide on that shot, you know. No, Even yeah. if he was slightly tight, he had a working ball. Well, yeah, T tennis drawing a bonus. Can he make it count? Might be important coming to the latter, latter parts of the game. You know, don't. Why did he change his hand? He just drew a good one. Oh, that's, oh, that's, we oh, yeah. that. We're behind on there. All right, sorry. There we go. Oh, has he thrown it? No. Sorry about that. We've also got a little. I bad. That's Nick, just to get back to ring two mm -hmm. for the listeners, uh, Stoffel Lambrecht, as you know, an old season campaigner, mm -hmm. backhand specialist, a uh, lot of experience. Um, and then Fred Buerta, that's uh, interesting. It's his second year uh, that he's played with Fred. Yeah. Uh, relatively new to the game, um, but comes from a sporting background. Okay. Um, played rugby at a provincial level for Boland. Uh, very accomplished uh, squash player okay um he's got a son called louis butter that's yep. moving up the ranks quite swiftly who he was uh, one of our better juniors in the country um so this is a wonderful occasion for him to be in the playoffs once again as a you know as a relatively mm -hmm. new bowler i think they went there in the semi-final last year oh, yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. so it just shows you you know it's uh, if you've got uh, sporting acumen you, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll strive and uh, Warren Stein opening up with a good one. Elected to go back to the uh, 
the other hand, uh, his forehand. Maybe they're going to play him around the clock. Maybe he's finding his forehand better than his backhand. Uh, the shorter end just catching Sean short. there on the weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Going through about two meters. Yeah. Taking his time. Yeah. Like I said, you know, Warren's played every session. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how his fitness holds up. Um, there we go. Come on, guys. Keep those, keep those uh, comments coming through. We don't mind criticism, compliments. Ask your question. If you want us to talk around some aspects, you know, in South Africa, keep them coming, guys. Interesting, uh, Nick, that um, the organisers have, uh, have put Warren on, on, the, on the TV rink. In, yes. in the next session against Jerry. Yes. What's your feelings about that? I think it's a little bit uh, uh, controversial. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I think it's. I don't think it's. No, Jerry's such a class player. I don't think it'll phase him. I don't think Jerry will have a problem with that. And I think also the green would. Uh, it will be changing by 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 the minute. You know, the green will be drying out. It'll be getting quicker. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of a, a planning faux pas there, but I don't think it'll have too much of an effect. In actual fact, I think with a slight protection of the clubhouse, Jerry might prefer to be on the uh, TV ring yes. as opposed to out uh, on two. Yes. I think it's fair in saying, yep. saying that, uh, Nicky. Yep, a good good draw from tennis, you know, not Very being good. short, you know. Warren setting up beautifully once again. Ask you the questions of the Joburg pair. Just What's your call, yeah, Nicky? Uh, what do you think he'll be playing? Just, uh, I think he'll be just playing over the draw, you know? Just just a reaching draw, draw okay. yeah. Not attacking too much, just a reaching draw. As, uh, okay, got one out. Sorry, uh, Sean standing in front of the, the, the camera. So, yeah. He got the one out, so he's got second shot. I'll play Jay, that reaching draw. Warren just saying to tennis, get another one close. Yeah, ball's on its way. It might be a tad wide. Might not, here it comes. Looks like a good drawing weight. It does get back, oh, about a metre short. Mm. Will Jason play? Will he look to box the white? Or look to set the or set the wood. Probably two, Jace, but if you get the jack back, if you stay with it, it's three. Sean Thomas it's calling the shot. Three. I think I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad call in context of the set. I think we must go for the I'm sorry about the noise factor there. I just had to remind Sean Thomas to yeah. uh, Sean give the cameras a bit of a chance. Sean calling Jason to box the white for three. Takes one out, he drops one, he still keeps him in the set. Jason resets in his mind, looking at it. You, only thing, he mustn't be wide on that hand. Oh, he's gone for it. You know what? He's close, Johan. He's close, Johan. He's close. Whoa. Very good effort. Two. Two. Wide two. again on that hand. Two. Yeah, just slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. Great effort, though. I think on the other hand, it would have dropped back to the white. But I think he played it on the right hand. It just just not far out. Going through the, going through the zone. Oh, actually, there's some measure on the second. Colin Henderson, quick, quick on the draw there to, to get the measure. Let's see if it's one or two. Interesting comment this morning from the greenkeeper Ian Gordon, Nick, that um, you know we had him on the uh, um, last streaming, and um, as far as the preparation is concerned, you know um, they they prepared they prepared all three greens to run at the same speed, and I think that's a wonderful um, method of preparation. Yes. So, because the players move from, from green to green as they progress. Yep. And it, as you know, it's, um, it's, it's sometimes a little bit uh, disturbing to go from a, maybe a very slow green to a fast green. Yep. It's a, a and they, they've done a wonderful job. I mean, I, I, played, I played Ian in the mixed pairs and she's having a chat to him about how he prepares his green. And uh, what shocked me was the amount of water they put on a, on a bowling green. I, I was an amazement I think it was something like 18,000 litres per green <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of water 
as we go into as we coming into the the, the death of the, the first set tennis and warren taking a commanding 9-4 lead i think um well i don't think the the boys from joburg have to score the end to keep it alive have to score a multiple i think to give themselves half a chance warren playing around the clock yeah Sean opening up a very very good one. Tried in it. Looks like it is a toucher. Gotcha, yeah, we got so yeah. Um, no doubt that uh, the, that yeah. Jason Evans and um, Sean will be looking at scoring on this particular end. Um, one just gets the feeling if they don't score. Warren Warren the set could be Warren gone. Attacking. I think that's you know, why why change Warren hand? Just build it up. You know, you can drop one, you four, then, you know, only drop one, you four up, playing the last. You'd be able to defend it. They are playing well. Don't have to chase the shot. That's Jason and Sean Gillian that have to chase the shot. You agree? Gillian a good second. Yeah, no that's doubt. It. Look at this. Oh, oh unlucky Sean. Won't be Sean. happy with that. Unlucky. unlucky. Opened it. He lies too, but the way Tennis has been drawing, uh, they're going to, you know, she, uh, backing Tennis to get at least one of his close. Right. Good to see Jason still got Dennis a smile on his face. He's well on that hand, so yes. I back him to get pretty close here, Nicky. And if he's a little bit tight, he can turn Warren's two two rolls in for either second or shot. Just resets. You can see he's really focused. You know, he's got his game face on. Loving that. Nice rhythm. Very good rhythm, eh? For a big guy, he really gets the wood away beautifully. Gets down. On a bit of a line here, Nicky. And How's he, the weight? Uh, he's got a little trot here. There we go. He's turned that twice. That's got second shot. That's very good. If not shot, I uh, can't quite see from the angles. You know, I've known tennis for oh, for many years. You know, we've, we've both grown up on the bowling green. And uh, you know, the amazing thing is, he's, he's got his style. It hasn't changed one little bit. Absolutely. And, and you know, it's, it's held him in good stead. You know, he's won many titles, got his pro tier colours, been overseas. I've been on tour with him. We've done reasonably well. Bit of room here for Jason, and he'll be looking at uh, making both his bowls count, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicky. He'll have to make both of them count, yeah. Ooh, looks like a bit wide. I think he's can, wide, Nick. Can he get back? Can he get back? Here it comes. Here it comes. Can it get back? Look at that immaculate weight from Jason. Dennis. Dennis walking manfully down to his wood, just focusing. I think if he gets a front touch here, I think we can say goodbye for a set. If he misses, yeah, then we then we've got some interesting talking points, don't we? Or what shot should Jason play? Let's see what he does. Did he get it away? Still on that tighter line, which is good. He likes it. He's 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 on the trots. He's on the trots. He has to miss that. Why has he turned it far enough? Yeah, Warren likes it. Warren likes it. Sean having a look here. Yeah, close to shot, eh? The Joburg pair have to score to keep the set alive. Remember, if you mathematically cannot catch the player, the set is done. Um, I had a sort of a suspicion that Jason might run that. Um, looking for the jack. Uh, squeeze it back from two. You might get that uh, one. No one that, must uh, shoot this out. Obviously, now. I know ours might also go. Yeah, but they're when it does settles, maybe you get two. They're conjuring up a shot, yeah, I See think. See if you can get the jack here for two. Oh, a little trail on the inside, yeah, that's, I, I think. think it's strange that shot to more of a controlled yeah, shot in the back as opposed to a run. I think that's a better call from, from uh, Sean. Inside the yellow, trail the white for two, keeping the set alive. It's on its way. Uh, Jason is Talk walking me, after it. I think he's close. Talk he's close. Me, yeah, I think close. He's close. There's a bit of shouting. Oh, oh, very good effort, James. Sean appreciating the effort. Crowd are getting a bit of a murmur on. They're starting to trickle in lovely. Yes, 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 yes. Close, close. I think that could be the uh, first um, set. One green. I'll be one looking green at second a set. set. Uh, we're going to go straight into the second set. I think a, domin a domineering performance from, I think, from Warren in that set set it up and then uh, with Tinas doing the conversions when he had to. The situation is comforting to know um, for Tinas and... Um, Warren that they, they've secured the first set. Yes. At worst, they can, uh, you know, they're going into a tiebreaker. Yep. They're halfway there. Yep. Nick on the far side on ring two, after five ends, um, 
they are pills between that's the game between Stoffel Lambrecht and Herman Heisman. Yeah. As we expect a close tussle between yeah. those two. Again, I think that that'll come down to the skips who, who's got the, the stronger mentality. And I'm going to back my man Herman there. And I think you're going to back your man, slow hand Luke Stoffel Lambrecht. Um, I cannot be biased um, on, a, <laughs> on a district level, Mickey. I think you know me better than that. <laughs> May the best man win. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see uh, the Goodwood uh, support coming in. Uh, old Harriman is, is uh, passionately known as Harris. Very good opener, second set. It's interesting that he uh, he went on his forehand, Nicky. Yes. That Sean Thomas. Um, He's back plenty room to swing on the backhand on the ditch hand. So yeah. maybe a, a change of tactics from Jason Evans. Yeah. Maybe try and nullify uh, Warren's good play after the first set. You know, let's change it up. Let's mix it up. Has to try to change I something. Think I think he's quick, yeah, is he? No, I think he's no, going to sit. the ball. Uh, sit. His weight was very good. Well played. The same again. Everything's good. Jason asking for the same again. You've got to remember. Sean Thomas is a lefty like me. He's um, handing over to Trish. There we go, Mornay Devet, Nick, you biscuit. Thanks very much, Mornay. Why aren't you down here watching the bowls? Hey, come on. I'd like to see you, saw you yesterday. Morning, Trish. Hope you had a good evening. Morning, Nick. Yes, I had a lovely, quiet evening. Oh, didn't you stay to watch, watch the fleas um, last night? Absolutely not. Are you and Patrick I... having a bit of a dance? The <laughs> no, we had doggies to feed oh. and washing to do, right. and which was quite enjoyable because we had quite a heavy rain in the southern suburbs. Yes, we do. We had a we had a nice downpour here, which is slowed to green oh, up. Oh, good. Yeah, slowed to green up down to 13. So. I wasn't sure what the weather was here because I got a message from a friend to say there was a shower. So, yeah. but my garden looked very fresh this morning. Oh, Tianus, he's playing so well. He's playing well, you know, and he's yeah. ably supported by Warren. They're really combining well. Like I said, you know, Warren set it up for him in the first set. And he had to do the conversions, you know. Well, you know, of course, it's in Warren's jeans. His mother's yes. Esbe Stain, now Haley. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, she's going off to Guernsey at the end of the month. Yes, the she is Eagles. indeed. Yeah. So, that's, I think it's now Jason to just up his game ever so slightly. It's been under the pump, hasn't had much to play to, you know. As Warren has slightly outbowled Sean. He's on a good line here, Trish. I think he's trying, yep. Oh, I think he's played a good one, yeah. Oh, is enough? Yes, yes. yes. He got it to, to Sean's backward. You know, you know, Jason used to live down here in Cape Town. That's right, yes. Made I his, remember him very well. Yeah, yeah, made his name. Played with Sean Adenor, Father Sean Adenor. Yes, Father Sean Adenor. He's yeah. going into the ministry. Yes. He's a Catholic, eh? Yes, he is indeed. And he's currently in Paul. But oh, on the 15th of April, mm. he's moving to a new parish in Constantia. Oh, okay. And so we're hoping to see him at the Constantia Club rolling don't, up. Don't tell Alan because he'll be phoning him. <laughs> no, it's already arranged. Oh, there we go. Cantinus respond to that good shot from Jason. Alan doesn't have to know everything. You know, he's not far off. He gets oh, around Warren. Oh, he's going to miss that ball. Oh, he hasn't oh, got he didn't the have to wait. And a slightly slower. I thought I'd give my daily menu report. It's curry and rice for lunch oh, today. Yeah. And you'll get a fair portion. Oh, that's for sure. Jason and Warren having a good chat. I think it's very good that they that they scored the first end of the second set. Just settles them down again. Can get back to their end. Maybe Sean can settle. Yeah, yeah. Um, Warren's just had the edge on him. He's his JBA teammate. You know, uh, you know. Jason's mother lives here in in Cape Town. She does indeed, and a very so, notable bowler. Uh, yeah, you know, Jason had a, had a good reputation when he went up to Joburg, and he just enhanced that. You know, he's he's really come. He's he's been a, a you know I call a flower. He's really blossomed up in Joburg. I think as even, many players do, strangely yeah. enough. And I think a little bit under Jerry's tutelage. Jerry Baker's two things. Which is so important. Him last I night. heard you talking about everybody having somebody who helps them in their career. I yeah. was very lucky to have Evelyn Chiat, the yeah, late, great okay. Evelyn Chiat. Yeah, 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 like Double Springbok. You know, table about, tennis and bowl. Like said, we spoke about mentors, so there was your mentor, yeah. Evelyn Chiat. Everybody's got a little mentor. Jason trying to find the smallest of gaps just oh, inside oh, the line. Can he get a little ride? No, his weight was very good. Uh, I'm liking the way Jason's playing. He's settling on his weight now, so I, I think we're going to see a great contest coming up into the second one. Jason Parkinson, good morning. Good to see you. 
Well, good to see that you're good on the chat. Day, Missing you down here. Wish you were here, pal. Yeah, well done, mate. Francois Kuhn, yeah. Great, great to see Francois on the chat. He was at the Junior Nationals. He was with Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones, there yes, you go. Yes, they were busy watching. See all the talent coming through there. I also mentioned that Jenny found a lot of talent. That unfortunately the way, districts yeah. hadn't nominated. Oh, right. oh. Come on, districts get, get you youngsters yes, out. Yes, they really must. It doesn't cost yeah. anything. You can nominate as many players as you like. Great, op great opener from uh, from Sean. Very good. Yeah. They've gone a bit on a longer length, so this this will test test the boys. We'll yeah, test tennis and Warren. Let's see how they adjust. Coming to the business end, the Boland oh, boys are looking good. Oh, Boylan boys think, have taken man. an 8-4 eight, eight lead off to 6 A Couple of multiples there. Oh, there's the crowd. Oh, look at that. Appreciative crowd coming in. Oh, well wrapped up. Yeah. I think Scarves and hats. I think they'll be taking that off just now as their sun breaks through. Whoa. Yeah, you made it well. Yeah, Jason happy with that, that where it's ended. Or I must just add a couple of rolls to his. He's changed his hand, I'm surprised. I thought he would have stayed on his forehand. But yeah, stayed on his forehand. Yeah, deceptive delivery. Talking of which, did you manage to speak to Kevin Smith? Oh, no, no, I didn't, didn't see Kevin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, is he going to catch it? Yes. Yes, he has. Oh. And he well just likes that, yeah. I turned it in for sure. No, I thought that was an exceptionally good game. So did I. I was thinking about it last night, and I, I, I can't remember seeing such a great game. Uh, I think... Um, like, like we said earlier, again, I'm, just, I'm not going to harp on it, but I thought Colleen, game management, direct management of the game was well, she, she showed her class yeah, and her experience. Experience, yeah. experience really told there. I'm sure Kevin would have learned a lot. Apart from that, I thought, I thought the pressure just got to Kevin in the tiebreak as Jason sends one down, shot down. Got uh, Seanswood coming in. He's on a good line. What's his weight like? So he's just over the weight. I think nice he's very good. Nice there we it. go. Sean, he's talking at home. Well played, Jason Evans. And Great as they ball. say in Wales, Mikey Herbert, he's played a bomb. As they say in Australia, it's a ripper. And as we say here in South Africa, awesome Robert. Asking the question, whoa, there's an appreciative fair tree crowd. Fair tree investments lady. And Jenny well, Jones there well, on the left. In. Yeah, maybe we've got a hat on looking very ladylike. Shame she's developing a little cold. Oh, shame. Yeah. Change of weather. Change of weather. Or sitting on a plane. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Over to tennis. Oh, got the way. Is he? Oh, he looks, oh, he looks narrow to me. Oh, I don't know. Unless what? he's got the weight. He's got weight. Then he's, he's close. Trying. He's close. He's Can trying. he drop? He's Can trying. he drop? Can he drop? Oh! <laughs> what a great effort, tennis. Good shot. Like the weight he played with. Attacking the white. Jason watching it closely. Intently. Do we know the green speed this morning? It's about 13. Trish. Oh, okay, still fair, yeah, considering fair. the rain. Yeah, yeah, we had quite a bit of rain, which is good. Jason just giving a lick. You know the, uh, the thing I like about Jay is he just does the same thing over and over. You know, lifts the hand to the mouth and then gets into his stride and lets it go. You and never actually see from his follow through. He's that he's put either yeah, putting sorry, on weight or taking weight off. It's the same whatever Motion, he plays. Yeah. It just comes out beautifully. Draw it off like that. This is going to be a tricky shot for Tiernas. Uh, Warren Stein got all, all the confidence in Tiernas to draw the shot. I think that's a, a good play. You know, drop one, you 2 nil down. You know, second end. You know, still early doors in the set. Has he got the line? I think that's the big Ooh. question. Oh, he's he's not, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, come on. He's ah. oh his yeah, weight was yeah. superb. Great second effort. Second shot. Yeah, he got two seconds. Two seconds. Very good effort from Tennis. I think if he missed that, he was close. Tad a green, he was good. Here we go, Jared Springs in New Zealand. Tell him one a vet to get down to the green. Come on, Mornay, bring your mates down. The boss calling you, pal. I want to see a message from Benny from Rensburg. Oh, there. Hello, Benny. Hope you're enjoying the balls. Here we go. Look at there. Nice young crowd there. I think find of the tournament there, Serin. But Julia. Yeah, Julia. And uh, Edwell. I've uh, really thoroughly enjoyed their pair game. She had a very good good tournament. Excellent. You know, and they only lost out. 
on the shot. Yeah, on shot. Yeah, set. yeah. And Pachula getting to the last 16 of the singles. Got a smile on her face. There's Miles. Miles Norman having a chat. Great to That's see the nice. players supporting. Great look, Sandy. Well, I hope we'll see more spectators. Lovely lunch on offer. Yeah, there we look at. Look at and another great opener from Sean. He's really, st he's now really starting to settle into the contest. Warren and Jason tunnel up as the uh, Boerland, as the as the Boerland boys take a 10-4 lead in the first set. Plane eight, and the Western Province boys have to score. Can, can Warren stay? Oh, Warren's trying here. Can he respond? Oh, oh, oh. oh, and giving us the giving us a bit of a hipster there. Yeah, a lot tennis, of hip so action. A lot of hip action. Whoa, whoa. Early morning. Look at that. There we go. Oh, <laughs> just just didn't push hard enough to get it in. Gail Stain shouting on her boys home. A yeah, good thing with, with what I've noticed with Sean is once he gets his first one close, he's very, really short of his second. You know, he's always, always attacking the white plane through it. It's, uh, you know, good for a, a new bowler just to watch. Mm -hmm. I think Warren's Ooh, a bit under it this time. Definitely. Eh? Can he hang around? Can he hang around? As long as he comes through to he's give Tiennes a chance. Oh, oh wait, wait superb, eh? Look at Held up. A long way, eh? Yesterday he would have swung a bit more, but remember he's playing with a slightly tighter wood, but a revolution. So yeah. Good to see that we've almost hitting 400 viewers on, on, on the YouTube. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, come on, let's try see if we can get some, let your friends know. Ah, I made rusty, rusty nails fear from the vault in the background, coming to watch and appreciate the good balls. Jason on on the inside hand. Sean calling it. Sean calling it. I think he's played a good one, yeah. Ah, oh, well played. Oh, now, oh, the now, question is, yes. do we go with the... I see a nice little... Do, uh, trundle in there, yeah. eh? Yeah, well, yeah, yes, a go. trundle to split so, those balls. And he's played it. Oh, oh. yes, yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Let's see. He's just got to no, get back off no, that line. No, I like the weight he's playing with, though. He's just tightening the line ever so slightly. Definitely has evil intentions yeah. there. I wonder if Jason will play like just reach and draw, try to turn one of his woods over. If he's missing, he's, he's you know he's falling on, on Warren's backwood. Looks like they could be drawing another one. I think he's playing. I think he's, he's not. Yeah, he's played a good one. Yeah, he's now really starting to show his class. What a very good change. I think Tiennes will have to change his hand. A very good change. Uh, will tennis go the aggressive route and swing one down the middle, hoping Looks to take like a few three. out? Yeah, he's free. Uh, if, he, if he has a drive and he gets off at Jason's, he gets two out. If he gets it right, he could get two. You know, it's a hit and hope. Uh, they've discussed the shot. He's left. He's got all the confidence. Tennis walks down. I think he's going to. I think he's going to swing it. Yep. I think. I think he's going to swing it. Forehand swing. It won't be short. Here we go. Here comes the first one. Yep, there goes the first one. Oh, he's close. He's, not a ball he's close. Oh, oh, what a great oh. shot. Who's got the spot? Who's uh, got the spot? If it has burned. It looks like Jason. What a, what a good hit. What a good hit. He's, well, he's, he's changed two. He's coming back onto the spot. Oh, it could be Warren. I like Jason's. Uh, they're giving the mat to Warren. Oh. What a good hit. Good hit. A wow. very good change. And I think, you know, if he misses there, they drop the three. Action replay there. No, Let's have a look at action replay. You know, this is slow motion, but it looks like it's real time. Here we go. Look at that. He got maximum result. Yep. Good hit. Very good hit. Good attacking shot. Mike's got gone back to the left. Look, there we go. There we go. The marker running forward. Colin Henderson. Yeah. Yeah, if he misses there, the Evans Thomas combination would, would have gone five 0 But yet, they are you know they, they find that they're in a battle at two one after three. And it looks as though the Ball Lamp boys have won the first set. set. Okay, there we go. Well done to the to Stoffel and, and Fred winning the they're first. They're doing well. Good opener from uh, from Warren Stein. Just right about fifty centimeters past half a meter. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, very. Sean playing forehand, forehand. Let's have a look. 
Try and shot. Jason likes it. He says he likes close, the line, man. and he says he's close. He's got the well done. Well played, Sean. Oh, lovely he's, start. He's really settling into the game now. He's, he's really starting to ping, down. ping, down. ping the white. Yeah, one down. That's uh, two balls in front. You can work off it. You get the white. It's good. Uh, Mr. Transport, I'm going to call you. I can't quite pronounce. Mahuka Transport. Great hit tennis. Have to agree. It was a great smack. Really, conf really changed, changed the head line. around. Tennis, no, tennis, talking it, talking it, oh, talking it. Bend inside. Yeah, yes. he's bending inside. Little oh, flick. Oh, 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 oh. A little feather, shot drawn. Oh, played. The leads are really, really setting up a good foundation. Oh. Making a great game, eh? Well, it is because then it gives their skips a chance to play some really yeah, spectacular good. shots. Well, conversions, you know, you yeah. turn it all out for That's two, three. Can Good Sean Thomas there, respond? Ooh, he come come? Can he get back? Can he get back? Jason's saying he'll get right back. Oh. Look how good his weight was. Just missed the line ever so slightly. Let's have a look at, uh, at Warren Stein's second ball there as a replay. I think that was a great, great replay. Yeah, there we come with the replay. Look at that. Yeah, he just got a little, little feather of Sean. Yeah, little, little kiss. kiss. And then he got another kiss. Yeah, well played. Very good. Good weight. Yeah, <laughs> even if he missed that, he was drawing it close. Yeah, so the feather just got him back to the white. Tennis, can he con can he consolidate the situation? Tennis has been drawing so amazingly well. Right. Well, yeah. Oh. Don't tell me you're giving him the commentator's curse, Trish. You've given him the commentator's curse. No, I just said curse. generally, generally, <laughs> he's been playing so well. He's just uh, blocked, the, blocked the other hand, so he's forcing Jason onto the tight hand. Johnny D'Souza also did well in the tournament again, supporting Adwan. Adwan beat him in the, in the semi, in the in the quarterfinals of the pairs yesterday. Jason just hanging on that, on that hand with such good weight. His weight is superb. Just needs to tighten ever so tight. Looks like Herman's gone two up on the first end. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good, good, good response from the boys from Western Province. Tennis on a better line here, yeah. and looks like better way. Well played. Yeah. yeah, Warren likes it. Luck must be line two. Come on, Jay. Lovely position. Warren has there. Sean Thomas getting the fingers out to see how many it's down. We'll have a quick look. He'll give us an indication. He stalks the head. Yeah, one down, and then it's a measure. Ah, it's only one one down. and a measure. Ah. I think Jay, a uh, bit of room for Jason to draw. I think he settled on the weight. Well, just he just settles line. on Tiernis's bowl, yeah, turns yeah. it out. Could look, be two. And look how good his weight is, you know. So he just tightens his line ever so slightly. I'm sure you can do it. Can I have like a yard? Can I get off? Yeah, the other thing I was going to say is if you do get these, you, you potentially can get them off. Yeah. But, I mean, if you get the inside, yes, at can, least two gone. Can you hear Sean talking the shot yeah. through Jason? <laughs> Gonna be a little bit uh, cynical, yeah. Just don't be narrow, Jay, because you could slice the white into that set. But I'm sure, a man of his calibre and experience, you'll be you'll be keeping it wide. You know, yard over, sits both woods for two. Yeah, he's having a little trundle. He's he's stalking it. Oh, he's close. He's close. He's close. Oh, good effort. Good effort. I wonder sure. if he needed all that weight, whether he might, could have just could played be. just over the weight yeah, to rest he, that ball. You know, he rolled all three, which out he could have made three, two or three. You know, look at that, not far out. Not far out. Oh, out comes the teeth. Out come the teeth, I think it's, well, he, Sean said it was one. Uh, there's the shot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at the second. So, Carl Anderson, quick out of the teeth. The marking has been so good here. It's been yeah. really excellent. It's been good, yeah. And of course, we'll be right. back here in three weeks for the ladies' nationals. Right, there we go. Is Jenny Jones and I'll be here for the last, for the closing stages. Okay, is that and is headquarters Durban? It is indeed. Right. Oh no, one, well in. Well in yeah. One. One. So it's back to two all after four. And I believe Talking Heads will be doing the last couple of days okay, great. The, of the Nationals, great. the Ladies' Nationals, so there'll be something to watch. Yep. So uh, that's uh, set as nicely poised. I, w I wonder who's going to maybe do the big push 
try to take control of this yet. I think the next two ends will decide where this game's going to go. I think it rests with the leads. I think so. I, th um, I think Warren is really growing into the game and he's getting stronger. Bit by bit, giving a good foundation for Jason. Jason just missing ever so slightly, but he's always been in the area, so he'll come off soon. Keep those comments coming. Keep the comments coming. Wherever you are, we've we've hit 440 viewers. That's fantastic. Four th yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Great. Let's Is that the top we've hit so far? Let's see if we can get to 500. As the game warms up, I'm sure we'll be hitting 500. If it goes to a tiebreaker, we'll have the whole of JBA behind the boys. I wonder if they're live streaming there at Morningside, shouting the boys home. What's Jason? I'd love Jason. to know how many countries we're reaching. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Well, we've got Jared in New Zealand. Yeah. Well done. We've I wonder got if Graham Turner in the UK. I wonder if Good Adam Poynton in the UK is watching. Yeah. I don't know if you remember Adam Poynton. No. He used to play f out of Hong Kong. All right, there we go. Both both leads opening up with uh, with good ones. Just Ooh, can he little hold, narrow. Can I he think Tiernes thinks so. Can he hold by? Has he got the weight? Can Ooh. he hold? Oh, he's turned, Sean closer. So Jason asking for a foot. That's a small correction. It's the same delivery. I so saw Sean very, very smooth delivery. There we go. That's the ball. So we're shouting Sean for Sean, and I think he's played a good Not one. Not a million yeah. miles away. He's, Jason asked for the foot, and he got the, he got it. Well played, good end, Sean Thomas. Ah, oh, there's oh. the photographer Carol Nettling with her son. And All wrapped up against the cold. And there's my friend Claire Pollard. I wish he would take a jacket off because you could see the Goodwood shouting for the boys from Goodwood. Let's see what, I wonder what would play here. Have a little, oh, he's going on the backhand draw. He's, he's backing himself on the draw. I like that. It shows the confidence of the player. Oh, did he get that away? Just did seemed he, to wobble it when yeah, he got it away. Did he get up? Did he get up on it ever so slightly? That's a heavy hand. Didn't quite ah. say, that's a heavy hand. I don't I, think so. I think I noticed a little wobble, wobble in the little, backswing. Yeah, that's it. I think he got up on it ever so slightly. He's playing with lots of confidence. So maybe a bit anxious to look where he's going to finish. Can Jason take advantage of a of a rare slip from Tinnis? I can see a bit of a running shot for Tinnis there. Yes, I agree. Yeah, you know, he gets on yeah. to Warren's wood. If he's yeah. inside, he gets both for Sean's. I wonder if, if Warren has got the guile to call him on it. Jason Jason's looking at it, yeah, looking at it. Grass. I think he's close. I think his weight is good. I think Number. his weight's oh, good. What a what ball. A, what what a ball. Well oh, played, Jason Evans. Showing us why he's SA's number one player, why he's SA's kid. And in South Africa, we say, awesome Ruvent and Mikey Herbert in Wales will be saying, he's played a bomb. <laughs> yep, here we go. There's oh, Annika. Annika, yes. Annika Skippers with a friend. And Megan. Go on. Yeah. Tinas on the run, on the charge, on the charge. He likes it. He's close. He's got. Oh, oh what a shot, oh, Tinas! Look at this. He's whipped all three out for a brilliant two. Gosh. His attacking shots have been on par today. Have been on form, and he's, he's walking game that face on. That brings a flutter to the heart. What a shot! Yeah. Three balls oh, all out. Well Asking the question: Can Jason respond? He's just got to miss the shorty. He's just, oh, oh and he's got in the way, and I think he got wrecked on it. Did he? And he got wrecked on it. Oh. And he's turned it in for three. What a turnover. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. Let's have a look at that on the charge. How oh, did he get all three? What a, see. What a great shot. Oh, oh we got the favour. Got yeah. the favour. What a good shot, Tinas. That is that a game-changing shot. Oh. Tinas, you biscuit. <sighs> Jason was perfect weight just under the line. You know, pressure. What a big turnover. 5-2 after 5. <laughs> We, we saw that shot. Yeah, he must yeah. have heard us. He must have. He must have heard you, Trish. You know, two big, uh, two big drives t converting. Oh, maybe we were a bit noisy. Behind just shut the window. Maybe we've been coaching from the bank. Warren on the draw. Oh, look at this great start. Yeah, great open oh, after yeah. such a great well conversion. Done. But if you think back, Nick, with um, Colleen's running shots yesterday. Okay. Sure. Oh, right. okay. So 
played you, Shawnee boy. Sean responding very well. I want to make well done well after done. A, after. Uh, no he's, like I said, he's draining to the game. He's matching Warren Wood forward. Warren on a lovely road here. Uh, and he has the running. Yes, oh, yes. brilliant. This game is really warming up into a close oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Lucky Warren. Bad, mate. But two balls in the head. Yeah, two balls in the head, yeah. There's two balls behind. Try to get to that, the second shot. There we go, yeah. Good call from Jake. Changing his hand, getting into there. He's just outside. Yeah, just outside on that hand. It just doesn't come, but hasn't finished badly. But it's a back ball. Yeah, hasn't finished badly. Shot of Tinnis's. I think the chicken curry is going to go down well at lunchtime. Yeah. Okay. It's that sort of weather. Yes, it is. Can Tinnis at uh, Sean's Wood? So there we go. He's on a fair line. Is he going to cut? Yes, he's, he's is trying. He oh, is he oh, drop? oh, he's just turned. <sighs> he's made it better for Jason Woods for Tinnis. Good effort. Jason takes. Slow, taking a stroll down. Jay on his back end, just got to keep it slightly tighter than what you think. He's, he's, he's settled on the weight, he must just get his line. And uh, yeah. yeah, he's close here. He's not a million miles. He's mark. close here. Oh, oh. Wow, well played, one in, one out. He was a bit unlucky there. He was, I, th I thought he was too. Yeah. Could have got a better result. Opened it up a bit up. for Tinnis, no? As, they, uh, as, they been, as Tinnis has a little okay, stroll down, he's put in hand uh, on rink number two. We've After three ends, it's two all. Driving so, well. so no inch wow. given there. Uh, Jay, very unlucky. Now he gets the, the yellow ball square. He stays for a very good two and small target for Tinnis. There's Lombard. Fair tree investments. Brasler, there's the thinking tank behind the. He's done a marvellous job. Uh, kept the scores up today. Always open, you know, always open to suggestions. What's Tinnis going to do here? Is he, on, is he on the draw? He's playing with, uh, with nice reaching weight. I think he's close. He's close. He's close. He's, can he get it? Oh, has he, has he turned? Has he turned it out for two? Two to Jay, puts him back in the set. No, it can only be one. No. No. One. Yeah, one. Only one. Okay. Yeah. But um, well, there's yeah. Warren's ball and tennis. You, um, you just draw, you get another shot. If you move the jet, potentially two or three. If not, your ball, if you touch your ball, their ball Warren's will very fall close out to and that bring that in the There we go. I think that's a very good call from Warren. Jason on the draw. If he, just reaches, flattens the wood, he makes three. If he touches the white, he makes three. And if he draws a front touch, he makes two. Uh, I think this is a great response from the Joburg pair after dropping a, a three. Was he a little wide? They've, they've scored again straight away, which has kept them in the set at 5 3. Look at that weight again, Jay. Playing with such good weight. Hard hand, you know, if you just miss the line, you get punished. They scored with the one, which is good. They can, you know, they hard. big change of tactic here, bringing the match right up. First time we've seen it, or are they just going to come? Oh, oh no, they're having a chat. They're going to have a committee meeting. Yeah. Having a chat. Yeah. How do you nullify tennis? That's what they're looking at. And Warren. Yeah, like I think um, Sean is starting to match Warren. You know, um, he, he, like I said, Sean is growing into the game. He's getting better and better. Looking at the ball there, uh, donated mm. by Rila Slava, Western Province ladies will remember Rila <coughs> from many years ago when she was the convener of the Western Province ladies. Okay. Yeah. Sadly gained her angel's wings a few years ago. Uh, yeah. Eugene watching on intently. I think he's doing the post-match. Yeah, he's doing the post-match interviews. Oh. Looks like they've put it on the two meter, the mat. Good, um, short, is, Ooh, is it too short? Yeah, oh, 
Uh, always embarrassing as a lead when you're asked to... I apologise, wasn't mm -hmm. for uh, just a couple more roles he was in. Um, yeah, just uh, handing the advantage slightly to Tina and Warren because they can get back to their length. So Sean must make amends and try try get it close with his first. on the way oh as all oh, and he compounded the error by dropping his first one short he'll have to make up for it next one that's why we've got two can warren capitalize can he give set it up for tennis the hits the keep the hits coming guys up to 480 fantastic good opener from sean just just under a meter pause uh, from Warren, sorry. Can Sean correct on his first? It's on a decent line. Has, it's on a decent line. Has he thrown it? Has he thrown it? Jason egging it on. Jason egging it on. And he oh, has corrected. He has. What a well great done. correction. Well played. Good response from Sean. Oh, look at the hot coffee walking around the greens oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Warren changing his hand to... Oh, he likes it. He's running after it. it. He got the white. Ah, oh. It oh. oh, he sliced the white. He sliced the white. Mm. Over to the big fella, Jason. Oh, he just got enough of the mm. jack to get it out. Uh, Jason has got about two, three foot to beat. Uh, he's, he's, his weight control has been superb in the game. I expect Jason to be very close to drawing the shot. Fellas on the mat now, and the wood's on its way. Does he like it? I think he's slightly under. I think he's slightly oh, under. But look at that weight control again; was no. immaculate. Oh, lovely weight. It's, yeah, he's been he's been playing with superb weight, so he's got the weight of the game. Just 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 correct the line. I oh. yeah, got that one away. Does he like it? Still heavy, I think. Uh, yeah. Maybe just a line for a bit of the foreign grass. Maybe thinking it might be a bit slower out there. Line superb. All Jason needs to do is just correct his, correct his line. Yep, got it away. I think he likes this one. Look at his body language. Yes, he's on oh, a better he's line. On a track. He's on a track. Has he thrown it? Has he oh, thrown it? Oh, Jason. Jay, 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 Jay. Lovely grass. Oh, yeah. Can uh, Tinas uh, take a can Tinas and Warren take a commanding lead in the second set, putting the pressure on the boys from Joburg? Warren oh. Warren talking at home. Yeah, oh, well brilliant. played, well played, oh, Tinas. Two, two to Warren and Tinas. Very good draw from Tinas, taking the score to seven three after seven. Am I imagining it, or is it getting a little darker out there? It's like getting a little bit darker. I've There's even taken my sunglasses off. The, the, the breeze. Oh. Not sure what the forecast is for today. Feel that the boys from Joburg have to score the centre. I think they have to score a multiple to give them a chance. Uh, so the pressure's on as uh, Berkey oh. and Vainant are discussing yeah. the balls. Yeah, good to see Berkey here enjoying the balls. Unlucky yesterday in the in in the pairs, losing on a tiebreaker. Uh, let's see what's happening on rink number two. It's. Uh, Borland Glads have taken a 4-2 lead after five in the second set. As Warren sends his Ooh. first wood down. A little heavy, I think, with this one. But he's got the back covered. Yes, that's quite correct, Eugene. But remember, Tunis is from Mussel Bay, so I can't really <laughs> refer to the pair as, as a Joburg pair. So, yeah. Although Tunis did uh, originate from Ukkerli. He did indeed. Warren... Um, Oh, great start. Great start. Oh, and there's a little dog there. There we go. Can, can Warren stay in? Can Warren stay in? Respond. Tennis is get, going, Tennis likes it. going down. Tennis down. likes Jason it. Likes it. No, Jason likes, likes it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, what a brilliant reply. Great reply. Great reply. 
Often it's easier for beginners if you put your first one through to adjust your weight. It's much easier than if you drop one short and then add. And the, f and the good thing is that Warren's been playing to a consistently good line. He's, he's put the pressure back onto Sean. The pair from Joburg have to score. Ooh, is he slightly yeah, he's got the weight. Yeah. yeah. He's got the weight. Jay just don't Trap. quite have the line. Okay, set up. In the area. It's in the area. They're quite right, Jay. It's yeah. in the area. Just went under it. That's just the pressure that Warren's been creating. But like I say, Sean's got, got him better and better in the game. I don't think he's quite matched Warren. Ah, at first said Warren definitely dominated, but he, like I said, he's grown into the game. He's setting it up, but, but you know, tennis has played some really good conversion shots, you know, especially on the drives. Can he drop? Oh, he's matching the back bar. Yeah. Not a bad Not idea. idea. Yeah, good weight. Over to Jay. Got it. He's got to score, yeah. Turns that yellow ball out. Could he lie three or, or has Tiernus? They've got to. Jace has got to lie, yeah. Tinas and uh, Warren have got one foot in the final. Jason has to play a good one. Come on, Jay, show us your metal, yes. Oh, he's not a million miles yeah, away. Shawnee's talking it. Shawnee's talking it. Is he going to pick it up? Is, is there a hole? Oh, oh, there's a hole. hole. There. What a great effort, Jay. Effort. Always amazes me when a ball goes through a oh, hole that small. Look at that. If you tried to do it, you couldn't. Perfect. Well, you know, he gets a little slide. He gets the white foot two. Or he oh. trails it for two. Great effort, unlucky Jason. Oh, Tiennes yeah. changed his hand. Changed his hand. He has to cover. He's, he's, as it lies now, they're in the final. Jason has to play it. Has to play a good one. Sure, you like it. Still move the jet for three. Three. There we go. Get I feel Tiennes should have played the other hand. If that ball goes, it ah. gives the Joe pair a chance. There we go. What's Jason doing? He's, he's after it. He's after it. Oh, he's close, you know. He's close. Oh, he's can he hang away. around? He's can he hang around? Can he hang around? Oh, oh. no. Oh. And that's it. Well played, Warren. Yes, Staying well played. Closer. Very good game. Good good, good standard. Um, I thought um, Warren Stein set it up for Tinnis. And Tinnis played two fantastic goals. Tinnis played outstanding balls. He must surely be in the mix for yep. the South African team. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Let's, uh, can we maybe swing over to, after, after post-match, let's swing over, if we can, possibly, to ring number two. That game's warming up nicely. Six ends gone. 4-3 to the Bullen pair. Push the crowd. Very enthusiastic this morning. Yeah. Look at those lovely trophies. Yeah. I just love glass. glass yes, it's <laughs> and you don't have to wash it. But you can just wash it instead of having to polish One, it. <laughs> no, but it is a beautiful, it's oh, a beautiful stunning, trophy. Stunning, yeah. stunning trophies, yeah. really. They really are amazing. Jason? Sorry for getting excited. No, 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 it's not too exciting. Were they hearing? They, they were hearing you. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's fine. I just put my letter of resignation in. Come inside, Jason. Hard lines there, guys. Uh, um, found it a bit tough. I, I, you know, those two boys really played well. Um, your, yeah. your view? Yeah, yes, Jan. Um, Wayne, we know, is very solid up front, but uh, Tiernas especially played uh, a few booming drives, hold three to go three down. So those two huge momentum swings in the game, they played and deserved it. Absolutely. Jason? Yeah, mate. Um, yeah, well done, Warren. Tinas, good bowling, good performance. They solid, mate. They were solid. So, um, Tinas didn't really miss a drive. Warren's always in that bucket area that we call, you know, so he's always there, thereabouts. So, it's tough, you know, and if you, you know, you miss your line slightly, you know, you do get punished. So, um, yeah, but, yeah, they'll be tough. They'll be, be a good final, but whoever takes them on will have to be good. 
Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure you guys will both be back next year. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. You add tremendous value to the tournament. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Closer, boys. Congratulations, Tennis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what a tremendous performance. Um, it seemed like the two of you really gelled well. Uh, you guys were off to a flying start, uh, both of you. Kept the pressure, never let it go. Um, yeah, like I, like I said this morning, to Waza, we must just keep on going what we did yesterday. Um, just try and keep it in the head. If you, try and, if you get it in the head, then you won't drop too many. So just try and get it in that circle and just keep plugging away. Yeah, you had consistent uh, support from your lead. Um, looking forward, you've got one hand on the trophy, you've been to Potter's Resort twice, but both times in a, in a single uh, capacity. And um, hopefully, well, for you, if you manage to get through, you'll have a partner, but less lonely. Looking forward to perhaps going back to Potter's if you happen to make it. Yes, I would like to go back, um, and I think uh, to go with Warren, I think it will a good, be a good experience for him as well. Uh, it was a good experience for me, and hopefully we can uh, do much better than in the past. Thank you, Tennis. Warren, you've been um, to one of the qualifying events in the UK. It was uh, Edinburgh, though. Yeah. I'm sure um, Potter's Resort would be as rewarding for you. Yeah, I think um, going to Scotland, there was a good uh, first step. And uh, something bigger would be nice. Um, and I'd love to go. Tennis, uh, we gel well. Uh, we're a good combo. Uh, I drive. Uh, I draw and he drives. It's uh, dovetailing. And uh, it's working out. I noticed you played around the clock. Can you just give us your view of, of the conditions? Um, yeah, however it starts, if it's working, I don't change. I just stick with what's working. Um, you off your next game, you on the same rink against um, the great legendary Jerry Baker. Um, looking forward to that challenge. Yes, yeah, no, we've never played each other before, and I'm excited for the for the first time. Wonderful and good luck. Well done. Let's get the viewership going. Yeah, let's hook it. Come on. Yeah, we go and thanks, uh, Johan, for the post-match there. Nice insights from, from all four players. We're just going to switch our attention to the, to the second semi-final, which is great. That's between uh, Stoffel Lamprach and Fred Boerter. And uh, Herman Heysamen and uh, Sandre uh, Arselman. Um, Stoffel and Fred taking the first set. Um, and uh, and the, the Goodwood boys are five four up in the second. Trish, they are. And eight. What's happened to their support? I haven't heard the Goodwood oh, no, roar. I would have expected the them to be a big bank of Goodwood yeah. boys. I mean, where's Sebastian Rodriguez? Must must have had a party last night. Uh, I know Johnny D'Souza's here. Claire Don, Pollard's Don, here. Yeah, yeah, Claire. The Skippers are here, which is great to see. Yeah, Springbok not too big, you know, to come support a friend. And so as we watch Freddie play, I'll try give. Let's see if we can. Get I think they've done tremendously well to come back again from last year. Yeah, yes, because yeah, they were in the semi-final last year. And Fred being in relatively inexperienced. Yeah, that's uh, Sandre uh, yeah. marches down after his wood. As we see a cat in the background. Can he get there? We're just trying to get... Oh, yes, look at the little cat. Oh, sweet. no, it's the dog. It's a Yorkie. It's a dog, yeah. Just trying to get Noel to just zoom in on, on the game so we can watch what's there. There's old Kevin Douglas, last year's champion. Great to see him with his baba. Leo, Leo. little Leo. Yeah, Noel's Another doting daddy. Yeah, there we go. Noel's going to zoom in on it for you. Sound coming through. Okay. But no, no, no issues. Well done.
Oh, now we can see the head. There we go. Looks like uh, Zandra is line one. Um, what's in... Um, Harris is turning it closer. Oh. Well played, Adamon. Harris. What a fantastic view there, Nick. Look, yeah. Looking over the race course. And yeah. Pity yeah. we can't see the mountains. Yeah. Bit cloudy up today. Yeah. So, yeah. Sun is trying hard to come through. Stoffel, old campaigner. Not being disrespectful to him. Very good technique. Very, very precise. He's had a good couple of years. Won the senior SA Masters a couple of years ago. Yes, he's had a real purple patch. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be liking this one, but let's have a look. He's In fact, he... Out. He's not far out. Has he drawn oh, the shot? He, he sits. Yes, he's, he's done, done it. the shot. Freddie encouraged him to drop down. Let's see what Zandre has to say. Harman. Looking, looking, having a little chat. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, changing his hand. Maybe going to try to follow uh, Stoffel down. There we go. Surprise, his mentor's not here this this morning, old Nige Solomons. And if he's around, he's having a little charge. Andre's liking it. Oh, oh it was close, wasn't far out. Easter's such a tricky weekend. Maybe Nigel yeah. Scott's yeah, maybe guests commi from overseas, commitments yeah. or something. Yeah, that's right, that's Otherwise, right. I'm sure he would be here. Herman's done really well since he tiled up with yeah. Nigel. And here we go. You know, this is quite exciting. If uh, Stoffel gets the shot, yeah, it's five all playing the last. <laughs> it's, what, what did Sir Alex Fergan used to say? It's squeaky bum time. Load of concentration. Oh, he bounced that one ever so slightly, mm. so I don't think he doesn't, he doesn't like it. it. No, yeah, there doesn't we go. Like it. A little bumpy. Well, he's done his bit. Yeah, he's got the shot. Five all. Whoa. Feels. Oh, this could be exciting. Alan has gone to gone to have a closer look. Who? It's who's got who's got BMT now? Where's the good wood folks to see you to shout your boys home? Disappointed. Where's my mate Sebi calling all pockets, Sebi Rodriguez? Oh, crowd starting to pick up. I think uh, I think we'll see a decent crowd in for the semi-final of the singles. I hope so. Got two, Should be a great game. Two cracking games, you know. Jerry playing, Warren, Colleen playing. So Yorkie, hard to Wayne believe York. they've never played for each other before. That's Being in yeah. JBA. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting... Last year, you know, Warren uh, beat Jason in the semi-final of the singles. Is he, is he, a, is he a pro tier scum player? You know, does he like to play against the pro tier players? Fred attacking the white, just missing, going through about two metres. Let's the door in von Zandre. Can Zandre take advantage? Hermann crossed arm, looking pensive. Stoffel contemplating. What's... what's uh, oh. Zandre done? Oh, so. Has the pressure got to the to the leads? Has the pressure got to the leads? Let's see what uh, Fred can do here. Takes his time. Nice swing. Nice follow through. Watches it. You know, Zandre is a uh, he's a teacher. I think a, like a sports teacher. So he should be it. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here's a Great good one. Yeah. Ah, uh, just ran through, say... Uh, I actually foot. don't mm -hmm. know him. I haven't come across him. All right. no, Is he a new bowler? Relatively new. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so he's doing well. There's Andre with his unorthodox style. He's walking after it intently. What does? What's the body language of Herman? Herman asking it to sit. Can he get back? Can he get back? Can he get back? Oh. He's got a piece of it and the head drops. Ooh, made the target bigger. Good effort, Andre. It's down to the skips. Down to the skips. It's, it's Youth Bravado versus the experience of Stoffel. Good effort, good effort. Five all. Eighth end of the second set. Such a beautiful setting. Sanjay, Freddie having a glass of water. Sanjay. Alan got Phillips, the, mar the marker Mark there, Alan. looking uh, intently. Alan and Jenny Phillips doing yeah, their duty as they doing amazing do. duties, yeah. umpires. Enjoy flippers. It. Oh, oh uh, it's a blanket out there. Blanket, yeah. There we go. There's Stoffel. Uh, mode of concentration. Slow hand Stoffel. Slow hand Luke. I call him, yeah, 100% right. 
Woods on its way. Oh, I think he's under the line. Oh, he's let Adam on in here. I'm gonna gonna put a gonna put it on the block here that uh, I reckon my mate Harmon will draw the shot with this wood. As, uh, we've got Claire intently watching. We've got Michelle Fonsell intently watching. The crowd is swaying. It's on its way. Oh, it's he's he, not looking bad. Is he under the line though? Is he yeah. under the line? Is he gonna hang oh. around? Harmon, Harmon. <sighs> Who's an Oz? Stoffel must consolidate. Folded arms, crowd watching, crowd watching. There we go. Who's got that one away better? Does he like him? He lifts his leg up there. He's not, he's generally not far. He's not far away here. Mm. And he's, oh, oh. Oh. Come on, Herman. Just get your line right, son. Take your time. Take your time. Focus, focus. Oh, he's taking his time. He's doing it good as a crowd, as Eugene watches. He's walking. Herman's got he's a bit walking. of a push delivery yes, there. Yes, yes. And he's on. He's trotting. He's stalking it. He's stalking it. Is, is he up, Trish? Is he up, Trish? Is he, he going to get he's the got it. He's got Can the he stop? Can he stop? Can yes, he stop? Yes, he can. Yes, and well oh, done. Was Andre giving a bit of a fist bump there. Yeah, there we go. Into the tiebreaker. I called it. I said he would draw the shot. Come on, Goodwood. Get behind your man. Where's the cheer from the Goodwood crowd? Come on, Johnny. Brilliant. There we go. Claire shouting Michelle <laughs> in it. That's what we like to see. Brilliant bowls. Now into, now into the tiebreaker. Ian Ian Gordon, greenkeeper, liking that one. Oh, and there's another Ian there, yeah, also there doing umpire duty. As they do the toss to see who win and who gets the last wood. What a great last shot. <coughs> Can we get a replay of the crowd going ballistic there? Look at old Auntie Claire. Yeah, there we go. That, there we go. He's going to get it up for us now. Oh, I, love, I love the crowd's reaction when he drew that. There we go. A little bit of support from the crowd shouting for Stoffel. Look at the crowd. Yeah, look at the crowd watching. Whoa, oh, look at Claire getting the pom poms up. Oh, that's brilliant. Well played. Bringing the crowd alive. The Goodwood pair are still in it. Went right down to the last wood. How much more excitement do you need? Here we go. Cameraman. So it looks like um, maybe the Arman and Ben Tosser elected to play. So here we go. Freddy on, on the draw. Stoffel thinking he was nearly there. He was nearly there. Oh, and what a great, great start. Oh, what a great opener from Fred. Oh. Very well played, Fred. Fred Buerta. They were there last year. They were in the semi-final last year. Sandra, mode of concentration. Gets the wood away with his little... What do we say? after him he's after him just inside oh. oh great effort great effort fred again doesn't need to get close you just have to win the end shots don't count so don't make a target fred don't open it you open up with a corker and, and of course the losing yeah. semi-finalist here wins 2000 um, grand wow well, that's great yeah, there we go. The runner-up receives eight thousand, and the winners uh, get fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand and a trip to Butters Resort yeah. to go play in, in the World Indoor Pairs in January. What's that? Oh, he's just gone wide. Okay, advantage Stoffel in the tiebreaker. That's over to Herman again. If I was Stoffel, I'd just maybe like you, like you say, muddy the waters ever so slightly. Oh. When you went to Potter's Resort, how many, how long did you stay there actually for the competition? Um, so myself and Tians, we got there the day they were setting up. So we, we had about three days practice. And then um, the moment we lost, I flew back the very next day. Um, Tians qualified for the singles. So he, he stayed on a few, few days longer. But it was it's it's an it's an amazing an amazing experience. 
As you watch Adam, uh, as you watch Stoffel, why is he oh. going close? Why is he making a toll? Oh. Oh. Very nice, but... There's a crowd supporting Stoffel, giving a good shot, I like that. Uh, there we go. It's an amazing facility. Um, uh, speaking to Eugene, it's actually called Potter's Lifestyle Resort, but you know, you, there's so much that you can do, you know. And that one just under it. Oh, good effort, like the weight. I wouldn't go close, Stoffel. No, I wouldn't go close, pal. I would just maybe try and put a blocker. Yeah, something short. Yeah, don't give him a catch. Oh, all the, in the background, Kevin Douglas watching intently, seeing what he's going to do. Look oh, at this. Ah, it's oh, fine. Well. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Sandra just giving him uh, direction to say he wasn't far out. Let's have a look. Takes his time, takes his time. There he goes. Oh, he doesn't Ooh, like I don't think he likes, likes it from his body there. language. And looks like uh, Zandre's trying to get it to curl. Oh, trying to get oh, it to oh. curl. Oh, Unlucky. great Wait try. Was. Wait wasn't bad. 1-0 one, one to, to the Borland boys. Uh, advantage Borland, advantage Borland as they were in the normal play. So yeah, come on, uh, throwing a bit of a shorter length. I think we need to see Andre step up here and give him, uh, give uh, Adam a little bit of support. Um, uh, Freddie uh, opened up with a very good first ball first end of the tiebreak as he lets this one go gets one away it's uh, looks uh, like he's just running a little uh, Stoffel indicating two door open for Zandre come on Zandre take your time take your time get it close give the support let's, let's hear the Goodwood Goodwood crowd clapping there we go he's, he doesn't like it a yeah, bit of a grimace on the teeth Oh, just missing his line. Just the line. His weight wasn't bad, eh, Trish? Stoffel standing, standing, wait for Fred, making a bigger target for him. Oh, he's changed his hand, has he? No, he hasn't. I apologise. Yeah. Here we go. It's on its way. He's got one away. Oh, he's got the, f the running of the fingers. Normally, ten, normally says that they're heavy. Can the white get in the way? And it oh. has, you know. Whoa, whoa. What a ball. What a play. Ah, Zandre's weight is good. Must just correct the line. Come on, Zandre plays a good one. Look at that. Got it. I believe you said Fred was an all-round sportsman. I think he was, yeah. He uh, said he was a good good sportsman all-round. I think he played good squash, Johan was telling us. Can Zandre hang around? Can he hang around? Can he get back? Can he get back? Oh, oh great oh, try. What a good wood. Well played. Well, this is the talent. Yeah, yeah. They said um, he was a good squash player. So, you know, good hand-eye coordination is what you need. Well, if you think how many good bowlers have come from other sports. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hockey, cricket. Hockey. Yeah. In Evelyn's play, uh, case, yeah. table tennis. Yeah. I mean, a lot of good uh, uh, amongst the ladies. Softball players are coming through the ranks. Angela Wolf, Mo. Claire. Claire. Claire hockey. Yeah. All the hockey, yeah. Over to Stoffel. Generally, I think the girls have played tennis and hockey and golf at some stage. It's a good wood. It's a good wood faithful behind Stoffel, watching intently. Michelle giving her two cents worth. See it? There we go. How oh, is a good friend encouraging it on? Oh. oh, he's short. Over to Hanwan. Come on, Hanwan. Play is a good one. Take us to the final. Take us to another end. Crowds in fraud there. We've got over 400 viewers that's staying with us. Went as high as 480, so yeah, obviously everybody's gone off to make tea. tea. Yeah, there we go. Maybe they didn't realise that oh, we were going to stay got the on, weight. The, on the production. Oh, come on, Armand. You game down and you short film, unlike you. Where's Uncle Nigel? Uncle Nigel will be having a whisper in his ear. Yeah, come on, it's still full. Stoffel contemplating, full of concentration. 
Again, he's got one foot in the final, him and Freddy. Can he consolidate and make the, the shot harder for Herman? Herman's left him a little bit of a mountain to climb. Stoffel does have a lovely delivery and for such a big man. Yeah, he gets down beautifully and he just does the same thing over <gasps> and over oh. and over. And whoa, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, I bet there were some heart flutterings there. Yeah. Reminiscent of the Wayne Nook shot yesterday yes, against Jason. Jason. Yeah, he's still kicking himself, but he's made amends. Adamon has to make it work. Is Lara still the talking to him? The crowd, yeah, of course. The crowd are up and they're all watching, watching, watching. He's watching. got the weight. He's got, got the weight. weight. Has he got, got the, the line? Weight. Has he got the line? He's got the... Yes, he's, he's got, got the shot. Oh, Another brilliant. fist bump from Sandra. They're taking us to the third end of the top right. Crowd is up. They're talking about Lara. Look at her. Hello, right. Lara. Yeah. Look at Lara. Glenn appreciating the shot. Now see Mark Beavis Challenger there. Yeah, what a great shot from Kev. Oh, from our mate Adman. Told you he was the best player in Western Province. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. One's inching to go past. One's got the first bump. Come on. He says, what a uh, boy. That's my mate. Come on. One good one from one of them here. Could get them into the final. Oh, well, I'm getting quite excited. The Poland boys twice had one foot in the final and been denied by the brilliance of Hermann. Oh, conference time. Conference time. Let's have a talk. You know what I would do? I'd pull the mat right up and box the white of my first. Do you think John Joe's got that shot? No, not quite. <laughs> but you know, you never know. Let's see what the lads are going to do. Will they go to the T? Will they go to the T? Looks like it. Don't, uh, don't, after the broadcast, we're going to have, uh, Johan's going to have a little interview with Neil Burkett to get his viewpoints on the, um, on the PBA. Neil being a, a world traveller and well-renowned in South Africa and in Australia, it'll be great. Good one. So, come on. It's Andre taking his time, focusing, setting the wood in his hand, concentrating on his life. His stance is very much like Claire Cowan. Yeah, upright, very upright. Mm. Eh? And he's got the little jigger jigger at the back, and then he, but his really point is superb. There we go. It's on its way. He's watching it, watching oh, it. No, oh, no. You mustn't be short. Oh, mustn't be short. Five feet short, letting Fred in last time this way. Freddie drew a front toucher, and, they, and the Goodwood boys couldn't respond. But they have gone a bit, on a, they have gone a bit of a longer length. Oh, some nice burrito rolls just walking past oh, our commentary box. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh and there yes, Freddie. Can you stop? Oh, it's a great open yeah. from Freddie. He's played this way particularly well. Last, like the last time coming down, he, he, he drew a front touch. Come on, Sandra. Show us what you made of, son. Oh, that delivery. Yeah, it's very unorthodox, but he gets it. He gets it there on a regular basis. Had one watching. Had oh, he's one trying. Watching. He's trying. Can he get Is he gonna oh. Can he get back? Can he get oh. back? Can he get back? Oh, he's given... And the crowd like it. He's given Herman a chance. chance. Yeah, given Just has to turn the ball over. That's it. Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, face. Freddie's ball. Back, backward, yes. I think advantage. Goodwood. Wayne York and the Yorkies in the background. Uh, soaking up the atmosphere. It's great. Oh, and uh, didn't like that one. Oh, he's narrow. Oh. Over to Stoffel. Can Stoffel do it? Can he do it? He's got the last wood. Sandra having a little natter to the crowd. The lady there can't even look. Yeah. Hand on mouth. Oh. There's Annika. There we go. There's Davia and okay. Danny. There's Johnny de Souza. Gosh, oh, that's the good wood draw. There's the good wood draw. Johnny smiling. Not often he smiles, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Adamon on the draw. Oh, he's going after it. Going Does after he like likes it? it? I think he wants to get a look here. What do you say? John Dre's interested. Come he's coming, pulling it home. Can he drop? Can he drop? Can he drop? Yes, yes, yes I like it. I like it. Yeah, well done. Freddie having a look. Freddie stalking, sir. Same action, do not matter if it's yeah. in one. And you notice how he keeps his eye on the right. target. The whole time, yeah. Oh, is he good? Can he drop inside? Uh oh. oh. You know, it's not the worst change. He's made the target bigger. His weight was superb. 
So I would, if I was I had one, I'd be trying to be drawing a front touch, and if I drop a foot short, muddy the waters. Oh, the they, good would come off watch. their feet. They, they can't off, watch. Off their feet. They Davey's can't having watch. a little giggle. Annika's having a giggle. Donnie slips up another one. Ooh, it's all happening. God, oh, they're all, all talking about what shot we should play. You know, it's easy on the bank. It's easy from here. Yeah, it is. Come on, Goodwood. Uh, the Goodwood. Uh, well, I'd love to see the Goodwood crowd behind. Uh, yeah, Stoffel's going to walk down. He's going to take a slow walk. Yeah, down, it's uh, definitely be a slow walk. Down, Do you know, years ago, they used to have a tortoise Every, here. Everybody's going to excite. Oh, what a good shot. And the crowd go wild. Look at Claire shouting in the background. Come on, Herman. Meet on the fun sails. Having a smile and a laugh. A fist pump from Herman. Oh, oh, it's all happening. Megan can't look. Megan can't look. Uh, Oh, she's covering up with a blanket. Like it's, uh, Sandra's girlfriend, Yolandi, she's in all. Oh, it's all happening at the Bible. Come down, come down. Curry and rice for lunch it will be great. 70 bucks a person. It's enough for two, actually. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. 35 rand. Go on. Good friend of uh, Hermans, Morris, Morris, Mornay, Skippers, Annika Skippers. One wood to go in the final. Can Stoffel be the heartbreak kid? Come on, be Elvis Presley's son. That's all happening. Ooh. Takes his time. Love, I love. Stoffel always takes his time. I love his demeanor. Yeah, very good. Nothing's rushed. You know, focus gets his line. There we go. Can it? Is this it? Is this the moment? <gasps> moment of truth. I can't look. Crowd, Johnny's not looking. Morris, eh? he's looking up at the heavens. The wood's on oh. its way. Wood's oh. on its way. And oh. he doesn't like it. He's got oh. the Ronaldo kick. Freddy, Freddy, what's Freddy saying? What's Freddy? Oh. Has he got the flick? Oh, he's got it. Oh. He's got it. He's got it. Unbelievable. Oh. The crowd go wild. The Durban ball. Unbelievable. Narrow faces. Says oh. Johnny can't believe it. Morris can't believe it. The ball I'm in the final. That is balls. Look at that. Oh. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, please give both teams a massive round of applause for yet another wait. great game. Oh, the lady in the background next to Wayne York almost doing somersaults on the bank. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. There's some nervous like, cigarette nervous. smoking there. Oh, there we are. There we go. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Yet another great, exciting game. Give both teams a massive round of applause. Give up, well done. Next, I'd like to call on um, one of the legends of the game onto the rink, uh, Mr. Neil Burkett. <laughs> Not you, sir. Neil, where are you?
You'll come closer. <laughs> Good morning, Neil. Hi, Jan. Um, Neil, um, we've seen two fascinating games this morning. Your opinion? Oh, great. Great for the game. And the TV coverage has been so good that friends of mine all over the place are saying, geez, well done, you know. Not that I had anything to do with it. Neil, uh, your first year at Durbanville uh, participating in this year's qualifying events, you came cr pretty close with your partner, your pairs partner, Vainant Pool. Yeah, but there's so many good pairs around and, um, yeah, these tie breaks, as we've just seen, can be heartbreaking, you know. Well, I certainly hope you'll be back for more next year. Neil, just going back uh, earlier years um, with the uh, start-up of the PBA overseas, I believe you were involved uh, uh, many times. I think you started off out at Preston and then eventually it went to Potters. Yes, um, Preston was the original um, uh, PBA uh, World um, Championships and then Potters, which, what a wonderful venue. And I think... Um, uh, to have our PBA revived in South Africa, I think it's great. And to have a sponsor like Fair Tree that are so 100% behind everyone. Um, the thing missing with South African bowlers today is international competition. And what a great way of um, um, starting and getting a foot in the door. Yeah. Absolutely, Neil. Neil, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we're in for a thriller next game of singles. Uh, Semi-finalist, um, your old mate, also one of the legends of the game, Jerry Baker against uh, Warren Stein. Without putting you on the spot, uh, who's your money on, Neil? <laughs> well, not being a punter. <laughs> Absolutely. You're a bookmaker, you just collect. <laughs> um, I must say, um, Warren's made Durbanville his home and the TV rink is home, so um, he must start off as favourite, but um, I wouldn't uh, disregard Jerry. Absolutely. Neil, it's been an absolute pleasure and an honour to have you here participating this year, and we hope to see you next year. Thank you, Neil Burkett. Thank you.
11. 11. Yeah. Morning. Good morning to all our viewers. Next we have a uh, semi-final clash between Warren Stein from Ferndale, Johannesburg, and he'll be up against the great Jerry Baker. Um, welcome again to the rink. Um, Warren, this is your fourth outing. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of you these days. Yes, yeah, thank you. I'm looking forward to this. Um, never played Jerry before. He's uh, someone I look up to and respect, and I hope to put on a, a good performance and make him proud of me. Well, Warren, you've got uh, one hand on both trophies. Um, you being the best, and uh, may the best man win. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Jerry Baker. Needs no introduction. Jerry, um, you've sort of slipped under the radar into the semi-final, if I may say that. Not that you're ever under the, uh, on the radar or off the radar. Yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, we've had tough games and... And the wind's been tricky for us, but um, luckily I haven't been on this TV rink, so I've been out on the, in the bush out there, so uh, now we're here. You had an early match against Francois Trotsky. Um, it was a bit of a grinder. So um, no quarrels about Warren being on the rink um, several times? No, 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 nothing at all. I mean, it's just a fantastic setup, and I mean, he's played so well, that's why he deserves to be here, so let's have a go. Jerry, there's a slight wind, a slight northwester. I think it's um, going to play a bit of a factor. Yeah, on this pace, you know, the greens are so slick at the moment, so on this pace, a little breeze makes a big difference. So, you um, have to be aware of that. Even the best, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning again uh, to Dermaville Bowling Club. I've got Eugene next to me here. Um, he's enjoying, enjoying the bowls. Uh, Herman and uh, Sandra, your your mates just losing out there in the in the pairs on on a bit of a on a bit of a slide from uh, Stoffel. Yeah, I spoke to Sandra and I had a bit of tears in his eyes because he said he. He worked so hard uh, before this tournament and to go out uh, with that last ball it was uh, heartbreaking to And now we've got, now we're into the semi-final of the singles as you saw in the pre-match. We've got Warren and Warren Stain. Who knows, no introduction. He's really loving Cape Town. He did well last year. And we've and we got Jerry, you know. <laughs> Jerry, international star for South Africa. Um, looking forward to this game, Eugene? Yeah, pretty much so. Um, uh, I've been fortunate to see a couple of Jerry's games uh, on the way to the semi-final and he's actually been, he's, I think he's just been getting better and better, I mean he played in that, even though he said the win was tricky but he had such a good game against, Math against Matthew Spiri yesterday afternoon, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw him away in this one. Uh, you know, he, he beat Matthews two straight and, and Matthews was on top of his game so it was a very good, very good win uh, for Jerry. Yeah, coming into the semi-final of confidence, and in, and in the other semi on the rink next door, we've got Dwayne York and uh, and Colleen Pickiff, uh, who where we saw a great uh, great game yesterday of Colleen in the quarterfinals against Kevin Smith. We, you, you heard us talking about it. How, how would you see that one game? Yeah, uh, fortunately, fortunate for old Dwayne York, he's on the same rink um, as compared to his last game yesterday. But it's a new day. Uh, a little bit less wind. Yeah, let's see how, how Colleen uh, uh, comes up against him, having played on that drink. Can pretty, she? Pretty much the same scenario as that as what we have with old Warren and Jerry. Yeah, Warren was there in the semi-final as you saw. Can can Colleen keep her good form up? Can can her uh, can she nullify the fiery Wayne York? That the questions will be answered. We'll keep you up to date on the scores as that game progresses along. And, as, uh, as we see early doors, uh, uh, Warren Lyon the shot. Uh, interesting, Jerry's opted to play, to play the inside hand. Can he get back? Can he get yeah. back? He can, you know. Yeah, if it falls, that's the shot. shot there. Appreciative crowd giving a little, little applause. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, the winner here is guaranteed, or the winners of the semi-finals is guaranteed a trip overseas. Of course, the runner-up in the singles goes to the Scottish Masters, and the winner obviously goes to Potter's Resort. So, Warren just been under the line ever so slightly of good weight. Pretty interesting, uh, Warren 
played the, the ditch hand quite a lot in the in the previous game. Um, opting to go for the opposite hand uh, in the early stages of this game, yeah. Nick. And and you know and he, and he played that he he played that ditch hand reasonably reasonably well. He dominated the first set. So I wonder why he's uh, is, is there just maybe a lack of concentration? Is the fatigue maybe starting to catch him and get get into it? Possibly can if he gets to this one. I mean, he played four games straight on this rink, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think Jerry's uh, decision to, to stick to that end with him is uh, him having played on this rink. I think Jerry wants to try and nullify that advantage a yes. little bit up, up front. Yes. And that's the impressive thing about Jerry. You know, I've watched him over the years. He's, he's again, it comes to his his green management. You know, he's a very astute bowler, always thinking his way through games. He just doesn't get down and play. He, you know, he, he analyzes analyze, an, analyzes the situation, and and you know makes subtle adjustments that, that people don't really pick up. Just a little bit under on his first ball there. Yep. It's uh, interesting to see if Warren will go to that. Yep. It looks like he's sitting up on that. Uh, on that to change, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Looks like it. Look, there we go. Yeah. There. Maybe. Maybe he's going to play around the clock. Yep. Stick, stick to his forehand. I've been watching Warren a bit this weekend. He's, he's added a little, you know, a little bit of a dimension to his game. So I want to see if that situation arises and how he, how he will, if he will adapt to it, if he'll bring it in, um, or will he, will he stick to his, his, his consistent drawing? You know, well, another interesting thing, Nick, uh, him never having played Jerry and JBA before, which is quite strange. And obviously, uh, that's how the draws uh, work out. But um, you think that'll add a little bit of pressure to him, uh, knowing who Jerry Baker is and where he comes from, and uh, never having played him, it's a, it's a new scenario for him. Uh. No. You know, if you listen to the uh, uh, pre-match commentary, he's, he's definitely nervous. I mean, he says he, he wants to give a, a good game. You know, if you read into that, you know, I think he just wants to be competitive. Why is he not been saying, "Well, Jerry must come and beat me." Um, you know, um, and, and there's a small things that Jerry will pick up on and, and try and, and put the pressure on him. Uh, you know, Jerry started off well. He scored the first end, got two woods reasonably in the area, still lies one. Yeah. You know, you got to take last year, uh, Warren beat Jason Evans in the semi final in a very good game. So he, he, he can mix it up with, with the pro tier players. You know, he's, he's, not, he's not shy. No. So is he is he hunting another scalp? And he started well here. Yeah. Oh, has he turned himself out? Yeah, so obviously for us it's difficult to see it on that, uh, the angles on the the screen. Sorry, just thinking. Asking the question of Derek Keeley. Hopefully we'll get some sort of indication. Showing, showing that which one was the shot. Jerry down on a decent line, line again, again, yeah. yeah. What, what woods is uh, Jerry playing? Aero? Is it the groove or... Yeah, well played. Yeah. It's an uh, Aero groove, zigzag grip, as you can see on the screen there. Warren, uh, uh, we've been having it wrong the whole <laughs> tournament uh, so far. <laughs> is actually playing with a quantum, not a groove. Oh, the quantum, okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Uh, again, like like Kevin Smith yesterday, so he can play inside the, inside the line and just holding it up. So whereas we're thinking it's narrow, it'll hold up to the white. Appreciative crowd, there's uh, Greenkeeper, Jeffrey Clarsons. And the crowd's uh, uh, starting to stream in. And stream in, yeah, coming in for the lunchtime game. Pretty sure you're going to see the banks uh, fully packed uh, with the two finals. Yes. yes. And uh, a couple of classics that's finished uh, over the past weekend, and yeah. all those players will be looking to come down yeah. and watch some good balls. Walking amongst the crowd, I see there's the, there's the young uh, Constantia crowd. I saw Luke in here. And couple of his mates so that's good to see coming to watch class quality bowls as yep. Jerry concedes measure on the second oh, and Jerry will obviously also just be looking to slow things down and touch um, you wouldn't, like you said he changes things up slightly yes, and yes. one of his things I've seen over the weekend is he's got a player that likes playing fast he just settles it down to his own pace yes. um, Sometimes uh, the opposition doesn't pick up on those things. Uh, you, you, like in singles, you try to dictate, dictate to the pace of the game so that it's, it's to your advantage. That's a nice thing about you know singles, a little bit 
it's not about just getting close all the time, which uh, which is imperative, but it's you know how you dictate, you know how do you get your opponent out of his rhythm? You know, it's, it's all those little small little subtle things that you know new bowlers need to work out. It's an easy easy second there for him. Derek here on the measures. Time for the viewers out there, those that are online watching. Please, uh, here we go. There's the young turds, Armand Oscar. Here we go. Uh, the, is that the Vaughan boys? Yeah, the Vaughan yeah. brothers, Daniel and Stephen. Yeah, then, and then there's the older, there's Johnny Haven and Yawn must have had a good night on the dance floor. Fia von der Vault, Rusty Nails, as I call him. All very apprehensive, all, all taking it in. Yeah. Oh, just quickly, Nick, uh, for those online who haven't subscribed to Cape Town Bowls Talking Heads uh, as of yet. Oh. It doesn't cost you anything, no. just uh, go on over, click on subscribe and subscribe to the channel. Um, we certainly need to get the subscription up a little bit. Uh, in fact, we it helps going forward. So yeah, just pop on, it doesn't cost you anything, don't be afraid. Um, and yeah. Jerry opening up with a very good one, he's, he's settled, he's settling. I think he's picked up ever so slightly, that Warren might be ever so slightly nervous, so he's jumped out to a 2-0 lead after two and opening up with a good one so asking the questions as the sun sneaks through the, the clouds oh it's going to be on and off uh, a lot of clouds and in, in and around Durbanville this afternoon or this morning thankfully the wind is only a slight breeze so it'll just keeps it nice and cool for the players oh, they spoke about the wind in that uh, pre-match interview and uh, the wind uh, shouldn't get up more than this is no not not the same wind predicted yeah, uh, as compared to yesterday yesterday yeah, which brought in that rain eh? come on let's get that chat let's get the chat uh, live chat lit up come on pass us your comments give us compliments criticize us if you like ask your questions make your comments let's get a bit of banter going oh, uh, that game has just uh, started on the two as well yeah so we'll we'll keep uh, we'll keep clinton and the southern free state boys informed I mean, clinton's on he was on a while ago warren been a little bit unlucky good in getting the outside edge of uh, jerry's bowl line second up oh, chili down on a decent line again yeah yep. all in good weight yeah, he's, he's really he's really hitting the line there early look at that inside there we go oh, oh, crowd crowd you can hear them in the background saying what a shot they're really appreciative of good bowls can warren respond here i think you'll have to respond early get on get on the board quickly play your length you know don't let jerry settle into his rhythm then your hands will be full not a it's, it's a good line for that uh, quantum uh, but he's just a bit heavy he's not going to get back did he turn that out? Is jury line a possible Looks three? like he's holding three. Let's see what Derek Keely tells us. He's going to <laughs> three for Jerry. Three for Jerry. Jerry will just compound the mistake. Draw another one close. Does he like it? It's it's wider. Know. Yeah. There's a little bit of a wider line there. But wider. Yeah. But wider. There we go. And at the moment you go, it seems like you go that little bit wider. ABA, ah, oh, five feet slower. Yes, now you get onto that new, fairly new grass and it just, just holds, it sticks a little bit. Eddie Phillips, Mrs. Phillips. Hey. Warren has to respond, has to respond quickly. You don't want to be farm mill down after, after three against Jerry. It's uh, be tough to get back from there. Who on here this morning? Kyla Stein is uh, related to old Warren? No, I don't think so. She was uh, very excited. Oh, Warren's on the wide line of good weight. Not going to get him back. Has he cut one out? No, I don't think so. First start from Jerry. 5 the up after three. <sighs> Bit of thinking for Warren to do. I think maybe he should get back onto that hand that he played. That swinging hand. Takes it out. There we go, three conceded. Oh, so I think Jerry's tactics going into this first couple of innings is uh, pretty, come, uh, pretty well much come off. So yeah, it will be interesting to see if Warren goes back uh, to that uh, ditch hand going both ways yeah. like he did this morning. Yeah, he played well this morning. It was a good, good pace game this morning. You know? 
see sort of I think the score was indicative I think the, the turning points was the tennis's drives no, he was on song with his uh, runners um, yeah, both times uh, three down yeah converting yeah to twos and threes eh? yeah yeah Jerry good weight again Jerry settled on the weight quickly only half a meter out small correction of his next maybe uh, forcing Warren onto that uh, inside hand yes Which is nice, and then the second set we'll have uh, uh, possibly Jason Evans uh, seen seen the second set. You know he's got a lot of insight, uh, knows Jerry quite well, has played enough with him, so so it'll be a nice uh, change to the commentary team. Oh, and Warren is one of his big mates. Uh, yeah, I heard him calling his, his nickname for Warren is Nobby. Nobby. Not, not quite sure what the reason is for that, but there we go. That's what. Uh, yeah. Immediately, Jerry's. Jerry's uh, corrected the line. White is in the in the in the zone in the range. Just ask, just asking questions again. Just making Warren think a little bit. You know, Warren hasn't settled as well as what he did in the pairs. You know, you're playing, you're playing, you're playing Jerry, who's uh, you know, he's a superstar in JBA even South African bowls. You know, well known. Just sliding through, good effort, one to Green, so it's one to Jerry. Jerry changing his hand, happy how the head set up. He's going to play the turn, he's with if he misses, say hey, Eugene turns, he slips by, gets the yellow ones. Yeah, and well, obviously he has slide, played that hand, so he knows that hand quite well. Can he get up, can he get up, can he get up, can he get up? Oh, he's close. Hmm. I think Warren. he would have tried to. Uh, I, I think he would have tried to get to those two yellow yes. ones there. It's just yes. under now. It leaves a little bit of an opportunity for Warren to to put Jerry under pressure. Yeah? If he can get onto that. Oh, there, oh, we, there we go. There's that little. There's that little mix about I spoke about. You know where he's added that to his game. Gets the white. Oh, he was unlucky. But he's two down. I like. I like that change. He's, he's been he has struggled. He was a bit unlucky. Gets that a bit. Gets a split there, could have got a better result. Yeah. But I like the change of tactic. Maybe even a little bit square onto that bowl yes. would have been better. So he's slightly under the line here. Yeah? All he needs to do is beat that jello. Yeah, Adam Zeitz put in a nice little comment there. Yes, quite right. Old school Jerry Baker. Quite right, and yes, and also uh, uh, tennis did give an exhibition of drawing and driving of the highest quality. Yeah, surely he nice to see the comments morning. coming. Adam, keep him, keep him up, mate. Can he slip? Can he slip? Can he slip? Nope, he can't. So that looks like another two to Jerry. Jerry racing out to a seven or lead. After five. After five. After four. After four. Slow, looking down. Just letting Warren think a little bit more about the situation. Uh, that's where you come with green management, good tactics, psychological tactics. Oh, maybe, maybe trying to get Warren to overthink it a little bit uh, and not uh, not settle into that groove. Yes. That's right. Yeah, he's like I said, he's dictating the pace. As we go, Yorkie, Wayne York's taking a 3 0 lead after two on the rink next door. Yep. Will it be crucial? Will it, will it prove to be crucial for him uh, having played on that rink? Uh, yeah. We'll have to see. Have they not moved the strings from yesterday, possibly? Uh, only the, uh, from what I know, it's only that uh, the streaming rink that's been moved all the way back to the where it was in the first, uh, first day. Okay. The other rinks are. Same as yesterday. Warren staying, eh? Staying on that side of the ring. Um, better line, yeah? Much better line. Yeah, and it's all on the way, oops, as our broadcast just drops ever so slightly as it just slides. Uh, crowd clapping. Uh, Jerry asking the question. Jerry, Jerry, pretty much in the zone. Now he's, he's found his uh, found his range, and yeah. 
sorry sir, Noel just needs to do a quick fix on the camera there, so we'll get you the good coverage, there we go, Jerry just, just inside the line of it, so fades away. I think Jerry must have maybe watched the pairs because he's playing a longer length, whereas Tennis and uh, Warren were playing the shorter length in the pairs. Now again, a good tactic awareness from Jerry. Yep. You know, just, just watching. You know, it's on a good line again and good weight. Oh, oh, he's starting to uh, ping it. Whoopsie, there we go. It's coming. Crowd appreciative of the shots. Yeah, first time Jerry's a bit, uh, bit under pressure here. Let's see how he responds. And also on a very crucial end though, because it's a, it's a turning point in the set. Normally, Short and wide of that one. Normally around about the... Oh, not quite getting there. Normally around about the fifth set, if you've taken a comfortable lead uh, of five to seven, all well up, uh, you, you drop a couple of shots on the fifth end, you know, you just let your opponent back slightly, mm -hmm. and uh, it can... Uh, it's, uh, I'm, quite, I'm surprised that uh, Warren has changed his hand. I thought he would easily get inside of Jerry's wood. Maybe he's conscious of maybe just hanging and turning ever so slightly, Jerry's wood. Base is good, Jerry's close. It's looking good, yep. Yeah. Oh, well played. So, no. Jerry, uh, like I said, first time he's been put under some sort of pressure. To just to cap as he uh, thinks about uh, what he's going to play. Will he play a draw? Are you asking the question if the wood is level? He prefers him to play a little bit of a forehand weighted shot to maybe. get onto those balls yeah. or maybe we're putting the white in the box. Yeah, maybe a little trundle, two, three yards. Is he wide enough, Eugene? Is he wide enough? I thought he looked a bit narrow. Yep, there it goes under the centre line. Chance for uh, Warren to get on the score with a maximum. Maybe I would have opted to play that with a little bit more weight rather than the trundling weight. Yep. Takes a bit of a line out of it. So there we go. Uh, Warren, if he does nothing. So down on a good line again. Yep, if he's up. If he's up. Looks like he's up. No, oh, he's not up. So that's three to one. I'm scared of not correct. What do you feel? What do you want field play? Uh, what do you feel? Bring the mat and go short, or put on the two meter, give it short, or will he play in between length? Let's see what he does. Well, he always uh, seems to take the mat up three, four paces. Yeah. You know, that's become something that's. Uh, been a part of his game. Um, we certainly noticed throughout last year's uh, tournament and it's likewise this year. It changes, um, you know, taking the mat up ever so slightly <laughs> does change the length. Uh, not the length, the line, sorry. Uh, <coughs> you know, so now we're playing two new lines. He knows the line here. Warren back to that ditch end. I think he played, in my opinion, I think he played better. He, he played it better yes. this morning. Look at that, he's opened up with a good one. You know, he's, he's forced Jerry onto that hand. So let's see what Jerry can respond. Jerry's good friend, Brian Eckhart, known, in, known as Raggers in the background, supporting him. Greg. Greg Eckhart. Greg Eckhart. Oh, Jerry playing with a decent. Uh, himself. Good response from Jerry, just just behind, you know, giving himself a chance. Yeah, that's two, two from. He's uh, he's responded pretty well. We got. Rujan Chetty, I wonder if you would like to respond to that. Yeah, Rujan Chetty was on A yesterday. Thoughts on wide versus narrow bias bowls yes, for front end bowlers. Oh, so, you know, it, I would say it's it's what suits the bowler itself. Uh, I would I would say a, a narrow bias bowl for a front end uh, could work. You know, you've got uh, you can play a narrower line. And Some more direct line to the oh, right, yeah. Obviously for back rankers, if you need to get around bowls, yep. and it just makes it a, a fairly, well, easier, if I could say that. Yep. 
So in response to Rujan, I would like, you know, it, it makes sense to play with a tighter ball um, as a front tracker. As a lead, you've got nothing in your way, so you can hold it up. Maybe as a second, you would play more with a bending ball. As we watch Jerry trying to chop on the wood, two down, good luck the weight, just slightly wide. As he stalks it, as he, as he watches it, as he's hoping for it to come back. Uh, as a lead, yeah, you could play with a tighter wood. Um, as a second, I would pl maybe play with a more bending ball because you might have to get round the shorter woods, you know. So it'll be a good ma match. Again, it's to the bowler. Uh, if the bowler enjoys a tighter wood, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I hope that answers your question, uh, Runjan. Um, can you maybe tell us uh, out of uh, what district you play, what club uh, uh, are you from? There we go, look at Warren, is, is he up? Is he up for the free? No, nope, just too short. Left a little bit of a chance here for Jerry, sits the wood for one, trails a white for three. Um, I think he'll play a similar weighted shot as he's lost, just adjust the line ever so slightly. Um, if anything, I can think. he convert? Can he convert? I think he's still wide, Eugene. I think he's, still, I think he's slightly wide. Drawing weighted. Uh, Drawing weight, so maybe looking just to cut down to maybe try get second. Ah, oh, it's leaning against the mines. Ah, play in the UK, Reading. Okay, Rudin. Well, the greens are at, uh, oh, definitely a lot slower in the UK, so that makes that makes the whole conversation totally different. And I would go with a bending ball on the slower surfaces. If you go to like Australia, even in South Africa, you could get away with a tighter ball. But it's great to see from the UK you're watching. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. Oh, he says both indoors and outdoors, uh, definitely a different option for indoor mm. compared to outdoor, yep. especially in the UK. Um, I know a lot of people prefer the the, the Taylor Aces uh, over there because they've got a nice uh, bend to it, especially yep. in the outdoors. Yep. Warren Stein has uh, worked his way nicely back into the set, He's got it back to 7-5 after 6. Um, I think this is an important end to, to, to set up the set. Uh, I think both players will be trying hard to score here to get an advantage. Well, it's, a, it's a moving end in terms of the set. Yeah. Either Warren gets uh, well and truly back into the set, uh, or Jerry takes a... It takes a commanding lead of two to play, eh? And Warren's opened up with a good one. He's starting to settle now into the semi-final. Yep. Um, can Jerry respond? Oh, Rinjan says enjoying your coverage very much. Thank you very much, Rinjan. Uh, we hope you continue to enjoy it and uh, get the rest of the action for the day with us. And yes. yeah, feel free to ask more questions if you like. Can Jerry, can Jerry, can Jerry get up? Uh, just, just, just short, uh, about half a meter. We're in line one. Gonna force, force the change of hand. Forcing yeah. Warren to go back to the ditch end, yeah. And there's that quantum, you know, he, you know, he was holding, holding up, he's in for two. Very good, very good draw. So Jerry forced us onto this Decent range. line, yeah. And look at that line compared to the quantum, a, a lot wider, yeah. right? Getting back to the white, oh, he's unlucky, unlucky. Oh, you can see there that quantum just sticking on that narrower line yes. um, for much longer than yeah. compared to the the era groove. Oh, you just you're favoring the white. No, not even favoring, just giving, making the white go white. Well, turning, <laughs> turning the white, turning the yellow to white. Oh, he's a bit heavy. He's going to get lucky. Uh, Warren line two, Jerry. Uh, just shaving the white of his last small correction, he'll get the shot. Oh, Jerry down on a decent line again, yeah? And yeah, yeah that's all on white. Oh, this guy's got a little bit more white. Is he looking for the trail? Or is he going to sit the back wood? Uh, ooh, uh, same weight as his last. Yeah, he's setting himself up with a little bit of an opportunity here yeah. if Warren doesn't pick up on it. Uh, but I think uh, I think Warren will be close to making it free and asking the questions of, and possibly taking taking a lead in the set after being 7 mil down. Yeah. Warren taking a slow walk just to have a look, assess the situation. Will he change his hand to match the back two of Jerry? Uh, what would you do, Eugene? No, look, uh, it's difficult with that with that bowl of Jerry in front of the in front of the, the jack. Uh, 
You obviously need to make sure that you have enough line, but I, I would like I would like him to play it down on the forehand to get to cover on Jerry's balls. You can even drop into the count in a good spot as well. Just maybe an alternative from my side. I would maybe look at doing the front toucher on the hand he's been playing. Um, you know, you get a front toucher. You got the best back. At the, you know, making Jerry play the perfect shot. But I think taking the set into context, um, I like your call. Just covering and maybe falling in. No, he's going for the dead draw. I think he's going for the dead draw. I think he's taking his chances. Gambling man. Hello, princess. Uh, good to see you on the streaming. Oh, he's played a good one here. Yeah. I think that's a very good shot. In fact, no, Nick, if, you, if Jerry keeps everything the same, that where the jack is at the moment is exactly where Jerry's balls cross that line. Yes. So, if Jerry plays it the same, he has got an opportunity to make a good three, yeah? He was uh, maybe a little bit unlucky, uh, you know, if he, if he stays with it and sticks with it, good. Yeah. But he's created a little bit of a wing, so he, Jerry can fall off the wood, so he's, his fault can be slightly wide. But name the Baker man, name the Baker man, he'll put it on the same line. Let's see, let's see, Jerry. Focused, has a look, runs, he gets plays on the map. everything the same. Yeah. I, I can see a, a, big, a little three coming here. A big turnover. We didn't get it away as smoothly. Is he a bit tight? Has, has, has he added the weight? Has he added weight? Is he going to get a little stuffle? Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, so, all square then, uh, off to seven ends. All square, maybe, yeah. Two Very ends good. To go. good fight back from, uh, from Warren. It's what we expected. Great, uh, great fight back from Warren as we turn our attention to rank number two and five. Wayne York is 4 2 up on Colleen Pickoff. So, we'll keep you going on there. Keep it up there. There we go. There's Yorkie. There's Cole. Oh, Leon Crowley. Uh, good bowling, guys. Please keep up. Keep us posted on the game next door. Um, as Nick uh, just did, Leon from Southern Free State. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah. So there we go, Rune Chan. He's just coming back to say he uses the Aero Grooves. Yeah, it's a good all round ball. You play with the Groove AUG? Yep. Yeah. No, no grips. No grips. Only runners. Enjoy those. There we go, crowd starting to build ever so slightly. I've got fantastic. We've hit the 500 mark in on on the on the live chat on on the streaming. That's brilliant. Keep watching, guys. Kalia Stain. There we go. 512. Kalia Stain shouting for Colleen. We'll keep you updated on that one. We'll let you know what's going on there. Warren has given has let Jerry in here. What a good first open ball, and Jerry has taken full advantage as what he would. Yep. It's crucial in a game of singles. Yep. Make your opponent pay for his mistakes. Um, and immediately forcing the change. Forcing the change from Warren Stein. Can he respond? There's that uh, quantum not going to get off that line. Yep. Uh, sliding pass, but a good, good waiting ball. The opportunity for Jerry to put some more pressure on uh, Warren here. There's all the Herman in the background. Yeah. Cut it off to that previous uh, game. Uh, it only hurts after two beers, as we <laughs> normally say. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. Very good. Line two. And he's put a wood slightly in the line, making Warren think a bit. You know, will Warren... Yeah, you see? Got him thinking. He's got him thinking, making him change his hand. Mm, he'll have to play a good one here. Now, Pietro Calicho. Come on, Warren, watching from uh, Toti Bowling Club. That's Mums and Toti, I believe. Petro Calico, my old mate from the West Rand. Are you Warren staying on the drive? Played a great one, crowds appreciative. What a, that's, that is what Warren has added to his game from yep. last year. He, last year, I thought he was just too tentative. This year, he's got on the attack and has paid dividends. Great shot. Oh, there's lots of room for Jerry to draw, but still has to draw it. Oh, let's see if Jerry makes the correction and obviously need to take a little bit more grass and go on that virgin grass which yeah. might be a bit slower so let's see let's see if, if Jerry's no, wise he's certainly to thrown it out there yeah. and that side of the ring comes back Has quite he got the considerably as he got the way Eugene oh, he's got second shot uh, a good 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 opening bowl on on new territory he can adjust from that which I'm sure he will yeah, when, when we used to get together in, in the camps, you know, a few years ago, 
or Jerry was known as King Ditch because he was was known for drawing to the edge of the ditch. So let's see if he can uh, keep his title as King Ditch. As Warren lets one go, Warren will be trying to uh, looking to get one fairly close to the ditcher. I don't uh, think he's also under the weight. I think he's under the weight. Yep. I think that virgin grass has caught him. Can Jerry correct the meter? Also a nice uh, flat surface here. There's no rundowns towards the ditch, so you can you can uh, be very positive when it comes to drawing to the ditch. You can draw with confidence. Yes. Jerry's not. He's very close. What a great shot! What Jerry. a great. Here we go. Keeping his title, King Ditch Jerry. Yep, great shot. That takes it to eight seven. We've uh, we've played the last. What a what a good what a good draw, Jerry. Didn't let me down. Didn't let me down. Really warming up. This has been great. Uh, Wayne Wayne York 5-2 after 6. There we can see the scoreboard for our seven Free State and Eden bowlers and supporters. Looks like he scored the seventh end as well. I uh, see him taking the mat there. Okay, great. Just uh, unclear of how many he scored. Then have floorboard operators uh, on that ring. No, I think that's I think it's 5-2 after 6. I think they've done it. Oh, here we go. Here goes Al. Here goes Al. No, there he goes Al. He's going. Last end of the set. Jerry gone, gone on the fuller length. Going back to his length. And it looks like he's opened up with a very good opener. He's an opener there. He's an opener. So can can Warren respond to a good opening ball from Jerry? It looks like he can. Can he get back? Yes, he can. Oh, very good response from, from Warren Stain. Jerry, Jerry's ball, first ball, actually not in such a bad position now. It's actually a little bit of a helping ball there. Yes. Same line, he turns it up and uh, inside he gets the uh, gets the jack. Jerry, obviously going to play him, you know. If he turns his two rolls, is good. If he's inside of it, he, he drops him for shot. Yep. And look how he's going to come round it. What's his weight like? His weight's not bad at all. Oh, very good effort. Yeah, he's setting her up. Setting her up if he needs to get out of it. 8-7 playing the last. Uh, Warren stay in line, the shot. Yep. Interesting, will it be if they happen to, happen to peel this one? Yeah, it will be, will be very interesting. Then we Especially, and, you know, I think uh, Warren would would feel that it's a win because of the situation where he was in yep. seven 0 down. Well, Jerry maybe play with maybe with a yard or two more to sit the wood or trail the white. You know, it's, he set it up beautifully for his third wood. He's, he's stalking it. He's after it. He's on a better line here if he has that same weight. I think he has. has he got the weight? Has he got? The, he's got the weight. He's going to drop inside for a shot. There's the crowd. Oh, what a shot, Jerry Baker. Ah, oh, some Rovant as they say in South Africa. He's played a bomb as they say in Wales. What a good it's all over to it's it's all over to Warren now. I think Warren will stay on his hand. Turn his wood if he's inside he sits Jerry for two. Oh he's got on the back hand, Eugene. No, oh, maybe he's looking to get onto that bowl of Jerry. There is a little bit of a gap so he can can just nudge it out of the head if he's over the weight. Oh, uh, not far off, yeah. Oh, he's get, if he gets a not clip of it. Off, yeah. Oh, it was unlucky. Jerry's backward coming into play. Very good shot yep. from uh, Warren. Uh, went Jerry up, went on the attack. Jerry will have to look to get another ball in there. I'm yep. pretty sure Warren uh, would have a little go at that ball if, if Jerry doesn't get another wood in the head. Thanks for your comments, Michael O'Connor. Yeah. Um, yeah, promoting the Taylor GTRs. Like you say, yes, it is down to, to the players. Players uh, liking, um, you know. So yeah. Ian Bannon, come on, come on, blockies, you can do this. You can do it. Who's blockies? I'm not quite sure, sure. who's he referring to. Come on, Ian, tell us who you're shouting for. Blockies, I like that name. Anything that I can think of, it might be old uh, Wayne York. Wayne Yorkie, maybe from his hockey days. Jerry, just under the line. Here's Ooh. a chance for Warren. Can, I'm pretty can. sure he will have, it, uh, have a little pop at that wood there. A little trundle. What weight will he play? Would he play it inside to sit the wood with good weight? Or would he play more aggressive to, to clip it clean? 
Yeah, that same kind of weight as his previous bowler. I think it will be... Wayne York, there we go. Yeah. Thanks. I must remember that when I see Wayne Blockies. I'm sure I'll get a wry smile out of him. Yeah. As we watch Warren, he has to contemplate this shot for the first set, possibly. I would back him to play the same kind of shot here. He, he just played it. Um, he got that ball on the line. He, the line he had, he was actually good to get yes. that back ball as well. Yes. So can he repeat it? Can he repeat it? If he gets it, I think he will win the first set. If he misses it, he loses the first set. Big ball. Come on, Warren. Certainly, only, 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 only a pill available on the, on the draw. On the draw. Yep. So, yeah hitting up on the back end so I think he'll play it with the same kind of weight there maybe even a little bit more if he's looking to hold the ball up on the tighter line here we go here we go he's going at it he's going for it he's having a little charge can he get back Eugene can he get back Eugene oh, oh he's wide first set to Jerry Baker uh, yeah after being seven the up he made a bit of heavy weather from it uh, Warren just coming off it a bit ever so slightly Jason, yes, get the call you on. So, first blow to uh, first blow to Jerry takes the first set. Kalstein uh, says there is Tiekum Steinke, obviously referring to Colin Pickett. Uh, she's uh, she's uh, oh, yes. rooting for Colin there. Let's give you a little update there, Gail. It's 6-2 uh, so uh, off the 7. So then it's interesting, we've got Blockies uh, up against Steinke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two of them over there. Yeah, there's Blockies, a redhead, a fiery redhead from Southern Free State. Versus the calm demeanor from Muscle Bay. Let's get back to the action here. Yeah. Uh, we might just we might just flick to the last last end of that uh, set next door if it, if it's exciting. It's not one. Warren responding well to Jerry's good opening. He's open better. Oh, Warren settled into it uh, a, lo a lot better, uh, a lot more now, and he's he's just also finding his range quite well. It's all to play for now. Jerry's Jerry won, winning the first set, so setting up nicely for the second. I think he would like to get off to a fast start, try to force, force the pace on uh, from Warren Stein. Oh, what a great ball there, by Jerry. Jerry replying. Both players starting to find their range. Yeah, against a guy like Jerry, you know, he's, he's, he's not someone to let up, let up in the second set. You know, we've seen a lot in this format that you tend to win the one, 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 uh, the first set, and then uh, kind of take your foot off the pedal in the second one. But Jerry's not that type of, he, he's very accustomed. He actually likes this, this format. Yeah. Um, I believe he's also part of the World yeah, Bowls yeah. Committee and, yeah. and so on. So yeah, yeah they, they, they're front. looking at inf uh, and getting front. this, this format introduced. Okay. Worldwide. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's like, Jerry's like a, 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 you know, if you talk about this, the psyche of the players, it's always interesting to, if you talk about tennis players and, and you ask tennis players, what makes Fedra Djokovic, Nadal, great. And they say they always make you play an extra shot. And that's what Jerry does in the bowling world. Now you'll play a good shot, he'll get you off and makes you play another good shot. Yeah, that's it. You know, he just keeps making you play that extra shot, that extra shot gives doesn't give you an inch. You've got to earn the inch. That's it. Come on, nicely. Uh, Warren with that quantum, yeah, well okay. Did he, did he yes. get enough of it to hold? Is Jerry still alive with the front one? Derek Keeley will tell him. Yep. Still one to Green. Still one to Jerry, yeah. Good shot though, Warren. Slightly tighter, you'll sit on the shot with good weight, like like the, the, the attacker jack. And uh, interesting enough, even on that previous end, Warren just getting an unfortunate result, another one there. Yes. You think it starts playing on your mind a bit if you yep. keep getting those little unfortunate yep. results? Okay, uh, as you said, Jerry's now making him play another good shot. Yep. It's just not giving, it's just not letting go. He's like that little bulldog terrier at your ankle. 
think you've played a good one and he plays a better one. And he plays a much better one, you know. It can be the moralizer. I think he's I think he's now gonna try and push the first three, four ends in the set to get an get an advantage, maybe try break Warren's spirit. And has Warren got then the questions will be asked, has he got the resolve to fight back? I'm sure he has. Line, yeah? Yeah. No, he's not far. It's all on weight. Can he get down? Can he get down? Oh, oh, no, we'll play it down. Yeah. Very good effort though. Giving himself a chance. Two, two to Jerry. Interesting. I had a little conversation with Warren yesterday. I said, would you be looking to do the same as Wayne Roberts last year? And uh, obviously Three. keeping in mind that uh, Wayne points. Roberts uh, only won one of the finals. Yeah. He says, no, I want to do better. No, I, want, I want to be in both finals and win both finals. So yeah. And remember, there's yeah, ranking well, points. So I think yeah. with this good, uh, with this, uh, with the ranking points, so I think this might take Warren near the top. Uh, my my stints come come to an end. I'm going to hand over to Trish, and it'll be Trish and Eugene taking us. Thanks, Dick. Another very exciting game for us. Yeah, welcome back, uh, Trish. Exciting game there, Jerry equipping Warren in that first set. And um, Jerry getting off to a good start in the second set again, and a great opener from him there. Just been having a chat to Kevin Campbell, who's come along to watch. Oh, Kevin Campbell also around. Yeah. Lovely to have all of them here. Yeah, must keep an eye out for him. He's in the crowd somewhere. No, we'll try and get a glimpse of him on the camera a bit later. Not exactly sure where he is, but why not reply there from Warren? Cherry has uh, certainly found his really range and his rhythm here, Trishy. He has. I felt in the first few games he was battling a bit, but he's really... He's really now come to the fore. But don't discount Warren. He's a drawer. <coughs> oh, he might be a bit narrow on this line. Yeah. It's funny, he's, uh, we've been saying it the whole weekend, basically. Uh, chopping and changing between hands and then Warren's been a little bit in between the two hands. Not, not, not quite getting settled on the... Unusual for a lead, and lead uh, normally settles very quickly. Yep. Oh, a bit of insurance there from Jerry. Well, I'm opting to play with that same weight, maybe even a bit more. I don't want to get that. No, I've just mentioned it before Nick left the commentary box. I said Warren has got a couple of unfortunate results in this last couple of ends. This one now that might have been might be playing on his might be playing on his uh, on his mind. Uh, Trish, you think that will play on his mind a little well, bit? Sometimes you you've just got to suck it up and get on to the next end. Yeah. You can't be unlucky all the time. Sometimes uh, we tend to drop our shoulders if things don't go away for a couple of ends in a row. Uh, Play good shots with bad results and it, it just sometimes it works on the players. I'm looking for Warren to change his hand. Well, he's got two balls to promote. Uh, mm. Sky off the... Warren's got the jeans for the bowls with his mother, Esme Stain, now Haley, who's a wonderful bowler, and off to Guernsey in June to represent South Africa in the indoor. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's definitely a well accomplished, accomplished yeah, bowler. I think he's on a right. wide line here. Doesn't want to turn that ball of Jerry's uh -huh. in. 
Has the green speed picked up or? Yeah, it would have picked up slightly. For those of them, it was a bit of rain around last night. So yeah, it started off very sticky this morning, but the, the speed's picked up quite nicely. Uh, it's probably going to hit around about 13, 13 and a half uh, as we progress. Maybe even touching on 14 uh, when we get to the finals a little bit later. <laughs> Crowd starting to flow in here, Trish. A lot, lot more spectators compared to this morning session. So that bit nippy this morning. I think yep. I'll drive the stadium bit too for a while. Especially with the option of watching it on the telly. Looks like Wayne York has won the first set then. Yep. Wayne York taking that first set then. We'll see if Colleen can pull it back in the second set and get it down to a tiebreaker. Nice to see Wayne playing such good balls. Yeah. And he was very unlucky in the pairs yesterday. Yeah, no, you were around because you were in commentary when that happened. I didn't see that shot, but I heard all about it. Yes, just he needed a blade of grass. Oh, all in game and, and he just managed to sell the shot. Well, we don't know what Jason would have done with his last yeah. ball, but Wayne made it easy for him. It was a good measure, but Jason fancied his ball. <gasps> Warren. Well, as I said, uh, Trish, he's just he's just just gone off the boil a bit now. He had his he, and and I'm going to come back to that. Uh, what I said, he he found his range. He was playing so well, and all of a sudden he had three ends where he played good shots, just didn't get the result, and seemed to have just gone just gone off the boil quite quite slightly. Uh, Time for a loo break. Yeah, a lot of a lot of players have to do that. <laughs> Things are not going their way. Better grass with this one. Yeah. Not sure about the running though. Oh, oh no, it's good close. reply. Oh, no. Unfortunately, I think it just fell back. Do we know how much rain fell last night here? Oh, it was probably zero, 0 0.8 millimetres. Uh, couldn't have been much more than that. Certainly chucked it down in the southern suburbs. <coughs> Filled up my tanks. Gave my garden a good freshen up. No, just under the weight as well. I'm sure the greenkeeper was pleased to see some water on his greens. <laughs> yeah. True, Jeffrey and all the... Ian. Ian Gordon would have been quite chuffed with a, a bit of water for Oh, I think Krim. Oh, that's close. I still think Jerry might be holding the I shot. I think so. Do you think? The shadow makes it very tricky. Second shot. Yeah. What does the marker say? Oh, this marker indicating that Jerry's still holding the shot. Such an exciting day with such exciting games. <laughs> opportunity to to uh, still under still things just under the weight. Mm. Oh, Jacqueline Ruet enjoyed seeing Tina's driving shots again. Used to play together at uh, BMBC, um, watching from Brakpan Gauteng. Tinas' home club, where he got his Protea colours. I'm sure that's uh, Brapan Mines bowling club. Uh, welcome, Jacqueline. we we'll have some more action of Tinas uh, after this. The uh, best final will be played after this session. So, yeah, stay tuned. Patrice, you had a bit of a, a walk about uh, in that first set. Uh, besides old Kevin Campbell being around, anything else interesting going on? Uh? Well, I met Neil Burkett doing his selections for the racing at Scottsville. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I had a good chat to Kevin Campbell. I haven't seen him since he got back from oh, uh, Athens, where he went on business at, recently. Well, Kevin working for Delta Airlines. I Delta believe, no? Airlines, he is indeed. Having a wonderful time. 
working hard but enjoying it. I, think I, might, I might even be flying out with him on my way to the US. Oh, you better speak yeah. to him. Maybe he can get you an upgrade so you turn right, left instead of right. I'll catch up with him a little bit later. <coughs> I hope the guys enjoying a nice cup of refreshing coffee. Stoffel to the left. Yeah, Jerry taking a convincing five uh, shots to zero lead in this second set. Uh, is there any way back for Warren? Just got to dig deep, get close. Is he playing the fourth end? When do you leave, Eugene? Level? Probably in about uh, two, three weeks' time, Trish. It's just waiting to get to my consulate uh, appointment. Once the visa's there, I'll be on my way. Is he going to bend on? Is he going to bend? Oh, good reply. Good reply, Lefren Warren. <laughs> number two. After the first two ends, it's three shots to two in favour of Wayne York. Could be this be the end that Warren makes a bit of a comeback? Needs to really pick up this end. Oh, we see, we've seen him do it in the previous uh, set as well. He was uh, seven all down and he got back. And just couldn't get over the line in that first set. Well and down on at least the line again, yeah? Are you going to stay with it? Yes, oh. what a brilliant ball. Oh, three stars, uh, looks like you might have might have just given Jerry a slight opportunity and now Jerry's got two good seconds. I think Jerry will try and get that ball with a bit more weight. Wow, look, 573 people watching. It's yep. going steadily up. It's yep. 480 in the previous game. Oh, I think we should be eating the thousands this afternoon. And on that note, please keep sharing. Uh, if someone's someone's uh, keen to watch uh, get part of the action uh, please uh, share go to Cape Town Bowls Talking Heads on YouTube subscribe get watching share with the family and friends One meter. something in the crowds upset him unusual normally Jerry doesn't worry him but I think he gave somebody a pretty dirty yeah, look there uh, someone's having a quite a loud conversation inside Sean Thomas his mate I find it hard to believe that Warren and Jerry have never met in playing in JBA this is the first time they're playing together each other no, it's the first time, as he said in that uh, previous in his pre-match interview. As he also find it quite strange, but yeah, it's sometimes the draws work out like that. And mm. I don't know if JBA see the like the draws. I would think they do because um, the district is quite oh brilliant. Quite a front runner when it comes to admin. What a great shot there by Warren shot Warren Stein. Well, it's very important that I think for seeding to happen because you don't want your top players to knock each other out in the early stages. Yeah, correct. I'm 100% uh, in support of that comment, Trish. Uh, you need to, need to do seeding. And you need to ensure your players are playing on the very best surfaces. Yeah. Important to give them a the chance to get sure. record, which is important if they want to go on to get higher honours. 100%. Oh, you said it, Warren well, looking to make a bit of a comeback again, yeah? Seems to be down the same trend as the previous set. Yeah, he needed to make a, uh, 
Is he going to be short? <gasps> Lovely grass. Yeah, finishing on the centre line there. Oh, I think Jerry thinks he might be a bit wide on this one. from Warren. <laughs> Might make Jerry change his hand. It'll be interesting to see because Jerry has actually played both hands quite well. So um, certainly wouldn't be a surprise but he's uh, sticking to that hand. Not quite the running. Big opportunity here for Warren. Trying to stick on there, isn't he? He's taken lovely grass. Oh, what another brilliant ball. Oh. I think we'll see Jerry might might be looking to change his hand here. Yep. He does. Not a million miles away. Huh? Not a million miles away. Oh, oh is he gonna duck away? Ah. What a great try. A little bit of an unfortunate result there, but reduces the count to two. Jerry's ball is just behind. <laughs> yeah, Warren, Warren asking if Jerry's ball is just behind. He can keep his hand. He played two perlers. Yeah, definitely. No, you can stick to that hand and try and get down to Jerry's ball. Might be running a bit with this one. Yep. A little bit of a challenge here for Jerry on that uh, on his forehand uh, to try and just get a little squeeze on the on the jack there, Trish. Oh. Who's he gonna bend? I think it's just oh, let's get oh. Oh. Uh, two shots to water in there. Uh, back in the game. Oh, same as the previous hit, just pulling it back uh, ever, so, ever so slightly. And on that rink, on rink two, is that four three? Yep, Colleen Picketh now taking a lead in that uh, second set after three ends. Four three up against uh, El Dwayne York. I had an interesting chat with Jerry last night and he reminded me that basically we're sti are still a married couple because back in the day, 98, we went to Kuala Lumpur for the Commonwealth Games. And our psychiatrist at the time decided that each man and each woman should pair up. And we had to draw lots, and I drew Jerry. <laughs> and everybody else drew, well, I can't remember now, but by the end of the Commonwealth Games, they were all divorced, and Jerry and I were the only ones that stayed together. So we'd been <laughs> married for 25 years. <laughs> and he reminds me of it every time I see him. But we had a system. Yep. He did his thing, I did mine. It's quite interesting. It's lovely to hear those stories from, from back in the back in the days. Well, that was a very successful team in '98. The ladies won the fours. Leslie Hartwell won the singles. I think that's the year that uh, the men also won a couple of medals. Yes, they won bronze. I think Jerry won bronze in the singles. That's correct, yes. Neil won in the four, he won a bronze in the fours. We were actually on a plane the other day and we're thinking who was the fourth member of it. We couldn't just think of it and then we remembered it was Mike Redshaw. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm just falling under there, Jerry holding one. You can Jerry apply a bit more pressure here in this uh, sixth end. The second set. Jerry looking to, to put this game to bed to without the tiebreaker. Oh, he's trying. Oh, Not the worst. Uh, Jerry obviously a little bit of cover there. For Warren pulls the white. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, lovely road. Is it going to bend? The quantum has just been struggling to get down back off that line, Trish. It's just, oh. compared to the groove, has been getting down a bit better. That um, and Kevin Smith played with the quantum yesterday. Yeah. What's your feeling on narrow as opposed to swinging bowls? We've had that question from the viewers this morning. I think uh, for me it's a personal preference. If you love playing with a swinging bowl, you play the swinging bowl. If you love the no. narrow bowl. No, we were talking about Joel Robert who always used to play with the straight line bowls. It certainly makes it more difficult. Uh, well, I've found it in the past when we play the guys with the narrow bowls. It's a bit tough to oh, play singles against them because they they end up having to just throw it down a narrow track and get the weight quite easily as compared to having to work out uh, that bending line with good weight oh. uh, a bit he's under the uh, line yeah definitely under the line giving jerry a big opportunity here yep and unfortunately i think that was the end that he needed to to make it count, to get back and give himself a, a very good opportunity to win this uh, second set. Jerry can draw for three. That's correct. Oh, there's Kevin Douglas with little Leo. Yeah. He'd be cut it off to yesterday, losing out in that pair section by half a point. Yes. We'd love to have another trip back to Potter's Resort. the line oh it's holding yeah i just need to hurry up oh no, i don't think he's might uh, be might be it's strange angles on the two out on the screen for us Let's see if warren concedes it good look using the finger finger measuring method there i think he's conceded three shots Shots it is, and Marco indicated three shots to Jerry Baker there, so oh, taking that, that convincing lead. Disappointing for Warren there, he would have expected to, or hoped to score, to keep himself in the game. Okay. Yeah, it's 12 o'clock, you can hear the, the, just the bowing going over there. Colleen's leaving 5-3 on rink 2. It's going to happen the same as the previous semi-finals, the television rink was a clean set victory. To the team in green, and uh, it went all the way down to a tiebreaker on it too. Looks like it's heading, might be heading in the same direction then, Trish. Looks like very exciting, that game with Stoffel and Herman Hasselman. Yeah. Oh! And, uh, Jerry just slightly over the weight there with that opening ball. Opener there, let's put the pressure back on Jerry. Jerry changing his hand now. Very good line, he needs to, needs to hurry up. He's hurrying, he's hurrying. Just, oh, just not quite enough. But it might make Warren change his hand. Nice little draw onto the white to bring it back to his ball. Oh, Pauline Worms there on the far left yeah. from Glen. Spectators enjoying a lovely contest here. A lovely day out at Durbanville once again. You alluded to that, Warren opting to play that hand again. Ooh, he's running. He really needs to pick up a multiple this end. Jerry staying on that end be playing it with a bit more. Just see how he's put. Oh, is he going to cut? He's holding. He's got it. Oh. Yep. Um, just unfortunate, I think. I think Warren's still holding one. Needed to get it a little bit more cleaner than that. Mm. 
What a great shot, nevertheless. Mm. Well, I'm trotting up the green to come and have a look at this. Uh, Colleen's score is currently 5-3. And Wayne York won the first set. <coughs> Morning, Wayne. Wayne R Rip Muller calling in from Durban. Colleen in a bit of trouble there in that end there. She's three shots down. No. Wayne still have a Baz of to come. Yeah, there's it up on the screen for us. You can see there, Wayne might be looking to pick up a, a four year. Alan Phillips changing the <coughs> things. I'm very well, thank you, Wayne. Let's get back to this uh, game on the televised week. Jerry with a uh, nice opportunity to just, just be reaching into the head now. Looks like Wayne picked up three there. A message for you there, uh, Trish. Yes, I did respond to Wayne. Goodness, it's afternoon already. Um, flies when you're having fun, certainly very enjoyable. So this game on rink two setting up to be a humdinger. Okay. Oh, just missing it. <laughs> yeah, he knew as soon as he put it down it wasn't quite right. Interesting now, is there, do you think when, uh, Warren will try and get to that ball with a little bit of weight? He's got an opportunity to score multiple here if he gets onto that ball of cherries. It might be in his mind that he doesn't want to give the shot away. Yeah. Because that will really seal the set. He might also find his way back if he happens to get that ball. Oh, he's, Ooh, he's playing it. So holding on a decent oh. line here, he's very close oh. to his own ball there. Oh goodness, that was such a risky shot. Yep, it's either risk, it's a big risk or reward, as you would say. Clinton, yes, it's ten past twelve and time for wine. <laughs> Clinton and I had a great time way back in 2002 when we went off to Moama in Australia for the inaugural World Champion of Champions. Lovely. How did, uh, how did it go down there? Well, it was great. Of course, the greens were so fast. Yeah. Something I'll compare to, to our speech. Uh. <sighs> and we played day and night under lights. It's also something we we don't have a lot of it in, in South Africa. So people playing balls at night at twilight sessions. Warren's got to score this end and a multiple. Yeah. Oh, Jerry's pulling up short here. Jerry, I'm sure Jerry would uh, love to score one year or drop one at the most. Bottom back on a oh, decent one, line. Oh, yes, he's trying very hard here. Oh, brilliant ball. Coming up a foot or so short. Hundred percent, Wayne uh, Rutmiller. We we all agree with you. We do need a proper indoor facility in South Africa. Oh, what a great reply! Uh, oh, great response there by Jerry. 
it does give Warren a chance to play up to that ball, turn it out of the head. And it'd be line three, which he desperately needs. Yeah. He says Anne's been reacting quite different with Ooh. a bit of weight, and he seems Ooh, to be just, he's under just under that shot. Oh, well, he's still got another ball, turn it out for four. Very crucial now. If Jerry puts another ball in here, um, it might be the end of this uh, tussle. No doubt, that's one and only okay. having one no ball doubt. left to, to try and save it. A four here for Warren would make all the difference. Jerry down on a decent line again, yeah? a little bit of an opportunity here if he can get onto that bowl of Jerry's. He must just take the grass. Didn't I hear that the Glen were looking to put in an indoor facility? I'm sure I heard them say they wanted to do a uh, artificial surface. I'm not quite sure it was indoor. <laughs> you know, one of those outdoor artificial surfaces. Right. Come on, Warren. Alan Hughes, good evening from Western Australia. Lovely having you with us, uh, Alan. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. We're playing with a little bit more weight now. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to bend away. Far away. Oh, if he hadn't pulled that pole, he was on the track. Straight sets. If we can switch to rink two, Paul. Paul will now switch us to rink two. They conceded because even if Jerry dropped the four, they would have peeled that second set, which was enough for Jerry. So, yeah, please stay tuned for the post match interview. And then Cole's going to switch us to rink two. Colleen's line one. Jerry? What lines there, Warren? Thanks. Uh, yeah. Take us through the game. Uh, off, uh, yeah, Jerry was off to a good start. He sort of kept back in that second. Uh, and you see Jerry draw a pull on the, on the ditch board here. Yeah? Uh, take us through the game. Yeah, look, Jerry was very consistent the whole game and he kept the pressure on the whole time. So, um, you know, he's drawing well, uh, just that pressure and, uh, you know, having to try and uh, get inside of his balls all the time, uh, very tricky, he's, he's, he's just, uh, he was better on the day. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, you've got one more go in the pairs and uh, we'll see you a bit later. Excellent, thank you. Well done, Jerry. Um, before we start off with proceeding, just a quick one. Are you changing your flight times? <laughs> I think we have to. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jerry, you must be happy with the way the ball's coming out of your hand. Take us through the game. Yeah, I was like in between hands. I mean, you know, I was on the swinger, then I battled on the on the tightish one. I started off well there, then lost it. So 
It's pretty much too paced, you know. You hold it too quickly coming down and going up, so you've got to, you've got to think about it. Drew, an absolute pearl, uh, important shot uh, drawing to the ditch, uh, known for many years as King Ditch. Mm. Well, one of those. One, one of those. Jerry, we haven't, uh, we haven't got the decider next door yet, but um, uh, well done, congratulations, and we'll see you later. Thank you, mate. Thanks very much. Thank you. Good words there from the two semi finalists. Um, well done on Jerry making the final. Just turn the cameras to get the, the finish of this um, second semi final of the singles. With Colleen taking a 7 6 lead off the seven ends. Start. final between Jerry and other Colina Wayne. I'm pretty sure it's going to be <coughs> a brilliant final, irrespective of uh, who Jerry's opponent will be. Oh, lovely bow by Colleen. <laughs> Colleen could be the crowd's favourite here, I think. I'm pretty sure she will be after that uh, performance against the, um, the local boy, uh, Kevin Smith, uh, yesterday. What a humdinger that was. Yeah, I had a chance to chat to Kevin this morning, and although he was disappointed, I think he felt he learned a lot from that game. Oh, Wayne is trying here. Oh. oh. I have to keep an eye on the markers here with the, the pedals or lollipops. I prefer lollipops. Yeah. Just indicating that Colina is still, still holding one there. Oh, another great bowl by Colleen. She's really found her line and length. Pretty sure Wayne will opt to go to that back end and get a little touch on the white. Holds in a great position. Miss. Oh, what a try! It's close. I think he's just just over the way to get back to the the white there. I'd now like Colleen to face that bowl of wins. Just rest on it. A four here would really set her up for the set. I'm sure she will try and. Uh, I'm sure Mum and Dad are in that. Mossel watching Colleen, willing her on. Morning, Clive from Brenda. Oh, is she going to bend? Yeah, she is. Oh. oh, well, she kind of got there. Might have, might have made a four there. <laughs> sure, she's got a four, but I was, I'm worried about that bowl of Wayne's at the back. As it's lying at the moment, they wouldn't even need to play the last in. She'd be hoping huh? Wayne misses this, but uh, he makes a small correction. He didn't need much of a correction. Oh, he's gone tighter. He's trying hard. 
Is there a hole? Oh, yes. Oh, there is a hole. Always fascinates me when bowls do that. Quite sure it's, uh, it's three, three in a look. Conceded four. four. Yeah. Another, straight into a there. Another exciting game. I think Wayne realised he missed an opportunity there. A bit of a shake of head there. <laughs> Yes, Clinton, the good old days way back at Moama with Adam Poynton. Oh, and Heath Streak's dad. Heath no longer with us, sadly. Heath, a famous cricketer, represented Zimbabwe for many years. So this game also now into a tiebreaker, maximum of three ends, no shots count, it's only, only playing to win the end. So it's the teacher versus the farmer. Oh! That's unusual, Colleen doesn't normally become disturbed, something must have happened there. Noel's, uh, Noel's on the move with the camera. Got the roving camera there, so being the action as best we can. Hi, Benny. How's it? Lovely to hear from you. Sure, you're watching your mate Stoffel in the final this afternoon. Sure, Colleen likes that one. Yeah, it looks all right to me, that. No, oh, great. Well. Stop. No, just over the weight. Always important in a tiebreaker to get uh, put some early pressure on your opponent. That ball looks Colleen. further away than I thought then. Yeah, Colleen was better oh, way yes. I think she might have drawn it. Oh, great reply. Yep. That ball of Wayne's looks closer from our TV yeah, cover, uh, but does. if you look at it from the other side, it's quite a way away. Under pressure now. One in the way, I think. It's not a million miles away. Oh, oh just cut away. Just running under that bowl of Colleen's there. Thought you might have enough to get onto it, but just mm. missing the line. Uh, walking after it. Get a little bit closer. Or our new word, trundling. <laughs> trundling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now it's interesting. Would Wayne opt to go to that backhand and sit Colleen's ball? Seeing that you only need the one. Pretty sure you would uh, have that in the back of his mind, Trish. He's not going to be short.
Yep. I think you'll be looking to turn in by local leans now. Seems to be giving it a chance. He's done it. Oh, well bowled, Wayne. Yep. First in to Wayne. Great shot there by Wayne. He takes advantage in this tiebreaker then. Gail Stain supporting Colleen from the Eden area. <coughs> Not many people will realise that many years ago KWV actually had a bowling green at their offices in Paul and Benny van Rensburg, Stoffel and Valella Milan were all part of the setup there. Yeah, that's uh, quite a few years ago. Well, quite a few years ago. <laughs> I think Gary Ross uh, might also have been part of that uh, that uh, set up together with Benny and, uh, and the boys. Well, as you can imagine, the wine flowed whenever you played there. <laughs> Oh, great start by Wayne. Yep. Yep. Running on nicely. Hopefully we don't end up seeing the same finish to this uh, as the previous <laughs> one. Oh, Colleen's on a road. She's got the weight. Oh. Spectators very animated with the way the balls finish. Very knowledgeable crowd. Went down on a decent track again, yeah. Looking like. Oh, looking brilliant. Just pulled up. Yep. Certainly not, not making it easier for Colleen to get the shot. Here, no, if that were me, I'd love a foot right now. Oh. The play of her experience, I uh, would fancy her to, to, uh, to get close. Adam, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Because Nick Rustling is uh, not playing. He's definitely up and dressed though because he's been commentating most of the morning. A bit, uh, a little bit confused. Oh, look at you. Oh, she's narrow. Lovely weight, then. There you go, it's Wayne York. I thought you were referring to Wayne York. They are. It does look similar to Nick. Yeah, maybe from Slightly. A from a yeah, distance, from a maybe. Yeah, from 100 miles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He is up, uh, no problem there, Adam. He won the first turn of the tiebreaker, so he's one up then. And he's holding. Colleen's got to do something with this ball. Oh, she's running it, yeah, but she bumped it a bit. I'm not sure it's going to... She 
might just oh, hold Oh, she's going to split them. Oh, one out. A little bit of space now on that back end if you want to go and... I wonder what Wayne would be looking to do here, Trish. So he's holding game. I'm going to try and get a, another one closer. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Uh, not a problem. Uh, you're not uh, seeing, seeing Jason Butler drinking <laughs> coffee. I know you like to take the Mickey with us. Because we can see exactly what the viewers can see online. Well, it's duck or no dinner for Colleen. But yeah, I know what you mean by that. And Jason Butler is not a keen coffee drinker. We don't know what's <laughs> in his... It may have a coffee mug, but we don't know what's inside. <laughs> That's so sure. So Colleen with a crucial bowl here to stay in this tournament. And uh, get herself a trip. Guaranteed trip to either Scotland or Potters Resort. Yeah. That's how crucial this, this ball is that she's about to play. And don't forget the wonderful prize money. Yeah. This is then for Colleen Pickett to stay <coughs> in the tournament. Let's see if she can pull it off. Pretty sure she'll give it everything she has. Looks like she's gone on the run again. Does she like it? It's not going to bend. Oh, oh she needed to get down to that. And with that then, Wayne York uh, taking the one. Semi-finalist to play Jerry Baker. Yeah, that will be a very enthralling final as well. With Wayne York versus Jerry Baker, the two former pro bowlers. Do you think Colleen may have a bit of chance on the draw there? Uh, well, it's just in between, you know, Trisha, she had, she had a little bit of a run with the previous bowl, so... You know, it was uh, quite interesting to know if, if we had to talk to her after this. Maybe we'll get a, get a little bit of a chat with her and, and see what that was like in, in, her, in her mind. But Joe, with that then, uh, please stay tuned for the next session. We'll be up with the Bears finals. Yes, we'll be off to lunch for a lamb curry That's and all the correct. trimmings. So yeah, please stay tuned and we'll be back uh, momentarily. Thank you. Testing, testing. <laughs> okay, we're on air. Um, joining me on the on the TV rink, uh, which he'll be playing in in a couple of games time, is uh, Wayne York. Wayne, lovely to have you in Cape Town. Yeah. You and your lovely wife, Lara. Um, you happy to make the trip to come down here? Yeah, I know we're very happy. I've played in it in the Johannesburg leg. So we're quite privileged to be in Cape Town and playing in the PBA. The results have gone our way and we've done well, so we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, fantastic, man. And I think from the PBA's point of view, it's lovely to have uh, former and current South African bowlers uh, bless us and grace us uh, being here. Thank you very much for that. No, it's a pleasure, Alan. You know, we love being here. We love playing at the highest level. And uh, what a fantastic tournament, and I can only say thank you to Fairtree. I think he must wrap these guys up in cotton wool and keep them safe. <laughs> 100%. And Wayne, um, looking ahead, you've uh, now on the TV rink, one more game, and you're up against Jerry. Yeah, no, he's he had a lot to say about my singles game. I'm not saying I'm going to beat him, 
but yeah, it's an old Blumenauer against yeah. the Freestater. So yeah, I have missed my flight, so I think Jerry will just have to pay for my <laughs> flight home. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, Wayne, don't don't feel bad about Jerry commenting because he says the same about me also. So you you know you just got to handle that. It's going to come from Jerry, but uh, looking forward to that final and. Uh, yeah, let's have a great game and I'm sure the crowd will show their appreciation and we're looking forward to a fantastic game. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, one game away from Potters, mate. Good no, Thanks very much, Alan. Appreciate it. He's waiting for the great Colleen Pickett. Bad luck, Colleen. No. Sometimes <laughs> it, it just good. doesn't. Yeah, well, no, that, that, that happens. Yeah. And you can walk away from a game and you, uh, you've you played as well as you can. I don't know. Do you, <laughs> you think you played as well as you could? Obviously, you felt you could have played better. Yeah, the rink was slightly different. Yeah. Wind had more of an effect. Yeah. And yeah, I just got to find it on the day and, and plug it, you know, well, which I did yesterday, but not, not but, on that uh, side. Well, so. you were outstanding on the shrink. And I'm sure you would have loved to have put your skills against uh, Jerry. It would have <laughs> been a game. Would yeah. have been a great game. Yeah, but and Wayne's quite capable, and he's also yeah. springbok. So and you, uh, you would have got the ladies' vote. Yeah, oh, for sure. Absolutely, <laughs> and many other men also. But Colleen, um, as I said to Wayne, thanks so much for coming down. Thanks for playing in the PBA. We really appreciate Thank it, you. and we hope to see you uh, next year so. again. <laughs> thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, thanks, Colleen. Tournament. Thanks very much.
finally reached the final stages of the final of the pairs between Stoffel Lampre, Fred Boerte, Tina Zorlose and Warren Stang. And we're going to have a little chat with Tinas and Warren first up to get their views and how they're going to approach the game. First of all, and big congratulations to both of you to reach in the final. Tinas, you've been to Potter's Resort before. Um, extra motivation to get there? Yeah, I think uh, we must just stick what we're doing and um, I think then we'll be okay. I think um, if Warren plays like he plays and just get them in the area, I think it will be a good game. How did you keep yourself focused? You know, you've had a long break uh, in between the games. Have you had a bit of a roll-up on the other greens or have you just uh, taken in the atmosphere? Yeah, I was just sitting and relaxed with my family. Yeah, and uh, it's just uh, good to have them here and supporting me. Good luck. Over to Warren. Warren, coming off a, a tough defeat against Jerry, you played extremely well. Jerry was maybe just too inconsistent. How do you reset your mind? Yeah, no, that's in the past. I'm focused on the future now. Potters, uh, here we come. So you're looking forward to Potters, yeah? Like yeah, I said, there's that yeah. extra motivation. Yeah. And, you know, you've got the extra end. You've got extra two ends. You're playing 11. Yes. So how are, we, are you going to... Do you think mental fatigue could play a part in, in your game? No, we're strong. Uh, we'll be all right. Good luck to both of you. Thank Good you. bowling. The next two that we're going to come up is uh, Stoffel Lamprecht and uh, Fred Boerter. Very well done, gentlemen. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Awesome achievement. You were in the semi-final last year. You've gone one step further. One game away from going to Potters. Stoffel, how are you going to approach? That'll be great <laughs> to go to Potters. Um, no, we... we just keep it positive and um, see what happens, end by end. Keeping it positive, that's great. Fred, you're playing against a pro chair and a, and a very good inter-district lead. How are you going to approach the game? Well, I didn't know that, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, be relaxed and uh, focus on the game and try and get as close as possible and just enjoy it. Privilege to be here. And I know you've got a lot of support, the whole of uh, Boerland to support him. So all the best and, and may the best team win. Play well. Right. Um, this is a uh, Pace final match. Um, winner will be going off to the World Indoor Championships uh, 1st of January 2025 at the Potters Resort in Yarmouth. And uh, next to me is um, current South African Protea player, five-time gold medalist um, at the SA Masters, Jason Evans. Welcome, Jason. Thank you, Johan. Uh, looking forward to this game. Um, I think it'll be a, a tough game for for both players. So I think it's going to be crucial that um, you know Warren, if he sticks them close, uh, Stoffel, I, I call him Duster, um, will have his hands full. But um, let's see what happens. It's Warren's third game on this rink. Uh, I've got it as four, Jace. Four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So just for the viewers out there, uh, the f uh, conditions of play and the format is that it's um, uh, best of three sets. They've increased the number of ends from uh, 9 to 11, Jason. Yeah, that's going to be a big difference. You know, I mean, those two extra ends um, can, you know, create havoc, really, you know. And if the games are tight, and uh, what Alex Ferguson used to say was squeaky bum time. So, yeah, so it could be, could be a good thriller. Right, um, the prize money at stake uh, for this particular event is uh, 14,000 Rand to the uh, winning team, uh, as well as an uh, automatic qualifier for the World Indoor P Championships. Two air tickets return Johannesburg to Norwich. Uh, visas pay three nights accommodation, meals and drinks, and then a minimum of 600 pounds uh, for first round loser. Not a bad package, Jace. No, it's superb. I mean, what what Fairtree have put together and the and the committee for this uh, this tournament is just well, it's obviously the biggest prize money in South African bowls currently, 
and um, you know these guys are not only just playing for the rand value but you know when they go overseas you know you multiply that by 24 it's pretty good absolutely as we know jason the you know the game of singles is very lonely and um, maybe just a little bit more uh, exciting lucrative to go as a peace combination uh, in a very tricky environment at potter's resort yeah, I think, you know, when, when you travel by yourself and, uh, like you say, it's very lonely um, and when you want to bounce things off uh, somebody, it's, you know, it's okay if you're in South Africa because we don't mostly know everybody around playing bowls, but uh, going overseas, playing singles, it's, it's, it's tough. It's very tough. Um, a little bit of a loose end to start off here by the looks of things. Surprisingly, so. Jason, because uh, against you guys, these two guys were off to a great start, and um, surprisingly, both of them uh, a bit loose in the first end. <coughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot tighter. Look, um, Tinas has been playing really well. He's letting that ball go. It's coming out like silk at the moment, oh. you know, and he's, he's popping it on a really good line. Um, Greens are slick, so you know that's going to be a real factor. Is who can get their weight quickly in this format? If you drop in threes and fours, you're in trouble. Absolutely. So, the team from the Burlant is cur currently lying one shot, and Stoffel is on his favorite backhand. Should be close. Is he just running a tad? No, he's going to get to the ball. Yeah, good shot. Well played. Okay. Looks like Stoffel settled quickly and uh, they picked up a nice two there. So that will, you know, the, the lead, I think, is a little bit nervous. Judging from the, the, the post-match interview, he looked a little bit nervous. So that will settle him, which will be good. So it's always important to get off to a nice start to settle the nerves. Um, Tinas and, War and Warren are old campaigners. And uh, they won't let that get to them. They'll probably just keep plugging away now, you know. A good jack throw as well, right where Stoffel wanted it to be. Fred Boerter from the uh, Robertson Bowling Club, the Borland, uh, fairly new to the game. I don't think he's been playing for more than five years or so, uh, Jason. Um, Ex-provincial rugby player, um, very good squash player. Son was uh, voted junior uh, tennis player the, of uh, South Africa t at, at some time in his career. So he comes from a very sporty background. Um, let's see how he settles on this green. He's uh, more accustomed to a 10, 11 second green, such as the one at Robertson. Um, but he's had, he's had a bit of time to try and finesse his, um, his technique on a quicker green, um, having played at our Worcester Bowling Club. Yeah, where we play most of our qualifying events. Yeah. See now, what I would be doing here, Johan, is that this is Warren's fourth game on this rink, and if you've been watching, um, he's been playing four and up, four and down. So he's playing around the clock, and um, you know, I'd st I'd go onto Warren's hand, so. Uh, I'd be trying to force Warren onto the other side, and um, let's see how he does when he's playing the other side. So he's he's stuck to the one side of the ring playing his forehand, and um, he's been doing really well. So I, I would try and mix that up a little bit if I was um, Stoffel. I'd say to my lead, get on Warren's hand, um, just to try and change the way he's been playing the whole day here, and he's been he's been doing really well on that side. It's a very scratchy start from Warren. Memory serves me correct, Jason, this morning you sort of played around the clock, didn't you? Yeah, you played, like I said, I just <coughs> mentioned yeah. that he was Sorry, playing... Sorry, I shoot out for a second. He was playing forehand up, forehand down. So if I was Stoffel, I would have taken maybe a little bit of notice of that and said to my lead, play Warren's hand. Because um, he's been playing really well on that side, so I would have tried to get him on the other side. Um, but, you know, let's see. Look, he's not a great start at the moment, but I'm sure he will tighten it up and get a lot closer. It's just got a bit of pace on this one. 
and you know this back end coming towards the, the uh, grandstand yeah um, you got a little bit wide then it just seems to hold on that line um, especially if you've got that extra if you've got a bit of weight on it maybe half a meter meter sort of holds exactly and uh, possibly quicker coming this way with the yeah. wind the, the westerly northwesterly yeah it's probably like a yard um, quicker coming down um, towards the stands um, but you know I expect uh, Duster to to make the change and the correction and get it pretty close seems to be on a good line here. It's all about the weight now. Yeah, just slide in, but they're holding three. So a big bowl here from uh, TNC. He doesn't want to be five down really at a big early start, so he'd be hoping to get this one close, if not shot, second shot, just to cut down. It's on a decent line for his quantums. There we go. Yeah, well played. Yeah, that was a big shot. It was three down there, so. Must be the loosest end I've seen all day. Besides the last ball. Okay, so 2 1. Like I said, I'm pretty sure, look, we're playing 11 ends now, not 9 ends. I'm pretty sure that it will tighten up and now as the game gets on. See old Benny van Rensburg watching the game. Yeah, it's Benny, Benny, my mate. Nice to see you watching. Yeah, he's on a good line here. Again, all about the pace here. He looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's more like Warren Stein. Good opener. But you see again, so now he's playing on the forehand. So he's playing forehand up, forehand down. I get Stoffel playing Warren's hand sooner rather than later. And just try and get him onto his back end. Absolutely, Jason. Looks like he might have played one, yeah? Yeah. Good shot. Okay, here we go. Just starting to warm up. Guys are starting to find their length and their line. Might be a little bit wide for Warren's bowl. I think he's just going to hang out there a little bit, but it's ended in a good spot for Tinas. Tinas's drives have been immaculate um, this week. Uh, Johan is really letting that bowl go down the centre line and seems to be hitting everything at the moment. Yeah, he's been fairly accurate. Also just going to be traveling a bit, I think. Yep, just going through. It's also not a bad bowl there, you know. Every skip likes a bowl to go through the head. Gives gives you options rather than dropping it on the line where you start to try and play inside bowls, bowls with weight. You know, when you got bowls at the back, it gives you another options to play and so forth. So, you know, a back bowl is never wasted. Absolutely, Jason. Yeah, I'll just to get back to Tinas with his driving. Um, He's, he's maintained his rhythm on the drive as well. Correct. Even though he rips it, he's, uh, the, he's good on the eye. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Look, that ball's coming out pure. I mean, it really is coming out well. And, um, and consistently well, you know. Stoffel likes his back end, so he's uh, he's actually on a good line here. There's a slight little hold coming up there, um, but he just didn't have the weight. And uh, yeah, it looks like Tinas is going to have a little drive here. Probably just try and get the edge of the ball out. Okay. Lucky. 
Certain does he doesn't leave you guessing with the pace he uses. And um, he's probably one of the quickest guys in South Africa with a drive. Um, so he, he lets it go. Duster looks like he's a little bit quick here, I think, Johan. Yeah, on that note, it makes me a bit worried. We've got our two glass crystal trophies on the rink. <laughs> uh, we, had a, we had a near miss um, early on, I think, yesterday. <laughs> so I've, um, I've asked the marker to play a double role as a marker and an ice hockey uh, goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want those going to pieces. Here we go. There we go. Superb trophies. I mean, that's just world class. I mean, that's excellent, so, uh, you know. Yeah, so the one on the extreme right, Jason, as you probably know, that's the uh, singles uh, winner trophy. Uh, the one on the left is the, far left is the pairs trophy, and the one in the centre is our floating trophy. Right, uh, okay, That I managed Very to good. get uh, out of the cupboard uh, all the way from Johannesburg from a couple of years ago. Had it polished up. Fantastic. Put yeah, Wayne Roberts' name on it. Another good start there. That's that. You see, that's that's what he needs to do. So he needs to get them close, put the pressure on Warren, and um, you know, just give Duster, a, you know, like building heads. You got to build heads in this this format. Come on, Jason and Asper singles. We um, your first bowl probably counts to more than twenty five percent. In this format, two ball pairs equal as important uh, for the lead to get his first ball, if not his second ball, within a foot of the yeah, jack. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we always talk about, uh, in Joburg, we talk about uh, getting into like a dustbin lid. You know, so if you're in that dustbin lid, so that 500 circle, you know, you're giving your skip options and, uh, you know, there's a, so much. Now, that, like that ball now, you see he went wide there, just stayed out, didn't come back, didn't move. So... I'd be, I'd be going on the other hand if I was him, definitely. Is he getting back? He's just going to miss it on the wide side. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of uh, Jerry Baker's performance this morning, Jason? <laughs> Look, fortunate to play with Jerry quite a lot. We're at the same club at Morningside. And... Um, you know, I mean, he's, he's really, really having, like, really good couple of seasons recently, you know. I mean, last last year you won the mixed um, nationals with Haley that he played down here with, um, you know, and he's won the JBA trips and um, he got off to a flyer in the SA Masters oh, this year. So he's really finding a bit of form, but n not that he's ever lost form, but, um, you know, that, that bowl again, you know, his delivery is just so good and so simple. Um, that it allows him to, to to play for another 10, 20 years, you know. And Do you perhaps think that um, his uh, retirement from international bowls came too soon, Jason? Look, I've always spoken to him about it. Um, he started in Kenya about 25 years ago and opted to end his career in Kenya. And... Um, you know, so that was quite a, an emotional time for him, really, because he started there, ended there. And he th I think he thought that would be quite fitting to do it that way. Um, do I think he's good enough to play for South Africa? Absolutely. And um, I mean, that wealth of experience, oh, uh, let alone his bowling ability. You know that New Zealand um, brought in a player, that Mike Canahan from uh, in New Zealand, and also in his 60s and um, at World Bowls they absolutely cleaned up um, they won gold in the fours by a country mile nobody could get close to them and he played as a second with that knowledge but call in the head from second absolutely. and um, they absolutely just tranced everybody that, uh, that came into the or that they played against Whoop. and um, I think Jerry could could fill that role superbly as well, you know. Um, well, Jason, on that uh, note, I don't want to give my age away, but I have a recollection of playing at the uh, Danting Rim at, at the Wanderers against Scotland, and uh, the one and only Willie Willie Wood yeah. was, uh, they slotted him into that second position. Yeah. Uh, and I think Willie Wood was probably in his uh, late 70s, mid-70s, not sure. Yeah. 
Well, you know, I mean, every, when you play international bowls, everybody knows Jerry Baker. So if you see Jerry Baker on, a, on, the, on the team sheet, you know, it's, it's like, uh, okay, well, the, these guys have got a team, you know. And um, look, I'd love to see him playing internationally, but, but I understand why he did it. Um, okay. So I see now he's gone on to the forehand. And uh, he's just overcooked it a bit here. So we're on 4 1 after 5 and 6 ends to go in this uh, set. Um, still a long way to go, and um, I sort of fancy these uh, pair from um, JBA and up. Um, I think Tinas uh, Tinas used to play in Ekeleni, um the old East Rand of Joburg, and um, you know he was always uh, one of the guys to beat there, and uh, moved up to Georgia. I think. How, do you know how long ago that was now, Jan? Uh, Jason, I think around about um, five, four to five years. Okay. Perhaps. So he settled in there and. Uh, Good to see you. Good to see him in a final, you know, and uh, he certainly got all the credentials of. Uh, oh, and as I mentioned in uh, one of my earlier broadcasts, he was um, initially instrumental in um, um, getting the P Bay up and running. Yes. Um, he had sort of possession of it, if I may use that word. Mm. Okay, so Warren's holding got two shots here. It's kind of, I, I know it's early on in the game, but um, Tinas and Warren probably wouldn't want to let the, you know the score get a, away from him because maximum he can pick up his four and end, obviously, yeah. and um, it's hard to pick up fours. And uh, so you know, I think it's a big end here. Yeah, I've been four one down, playing the fifth. I think they would very much like to score on this end, even if it's just one, uh, giving away a one or two. Might just put them slightly on the back. Yeah, Jason. absolutely. Yeah, you know when you this format's so quick, the ends go by so quickly. You know when you when you turn around and you you're on the seventh end and you're five behind. Um, you know it's hard. You don't pick up fours, so it's it's difficult. You know it'll take you a couple of ends to get back into the game. It's a great shot there. Yeah, uh, but on that note, just a reminder, uh, not to forget that we're going eleven ends. Eleven ends. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. <coughs> Stoffel will be quite happy with that on his forehand. Yes. <laughs> now Stoffel's been around forever, you know. I mean, he's, he's a, the, the, the occasion won't get to him. He's been in this position a few times playing finals. So um, I don't think he's going to be nervous at all. And he, he'll just keep plugging away. Previous uh, SA Vet Masters winner. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does everything just extra slow? Extra slow, Walk slow, yeah. never slow. Just a bit quicker. Hmm. So three seconds here. Been a lot of support uh, through our media, yeah, Facebook and etc. For the Bullant side, and I'm sure they'll be screaming home these two boys from the Bullant. Okay, so. So Tinas, Tinas has got three seconds here, Johan. One ball in the head, that which was Stoffel's jack level ball. There is a gap there yeah. with both his balls coming up. You know, so I, I think... He might uh, be tempted. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, he's, he's basically got a foot to draw shot. Or he can play with a bit of weight, both his balls coming up. He gets the gap, he gets the ball, he sits for three or four. Um, so I, I think you know that the, the percentage shot is a is a bit of a weight, weighted shot, yeah. Yeah, he's coming down he's the having, centre line. He's having a little look here, actually. Drop, drop. Can we get back? Yeah, just now. Okay. Yeah. 
I might have been tempted to play the other hand there. I was going to ask you that question. Um, with the same sort of weight, or maybe? same, same, exactly the weight was perfect. Oh. I just thought he had he had three more options. Extra option, absolutely. Yeah, he could have turned his bowl in, got an edge off of his own bowl to take the short ball out. A little bit narrow, he could have got Warren into the head. So I think he had a few more options on that side. And, and with that hand holding with weight, he yeah. could have been fairly direct. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so the uh, the boys from the Bullant in red uh, have taken a nice lead of five shots to one after five. Okay, Warren be looking to try and get this one really close, put the pressure on. The, in my opinion, they need to pick up this end before it starts getting away from them. It just seems to have overcooked it a bit. Sort of an indifferent start compared to Absolutely. your game. Absolutely. Yeah, look, I mean, he was nailing it against us, you know, so uh, I'll have to thank him for that later. Conditions seem to be similar. I mean, the yeah. wind is uh, pretty similar to what it was early on. Yeah. Look, I mean, um, where, where this rink is situated as well, Johan, you know, you've got the clubhouse on the side. Yeah. So it does block the wind quite a bit as opposed to the sea green, which is to the left of this green, which is quite open. Um, the wind affects that green quite a lot, but um, yeah, so I th the wind's not a factor. We've seen a lot uh, closer hits uh, on this TV rink as opposed to even on the same green playing on two, three and four. Yeah. Okay, Fred's played two goals. Yeah, see, well, the Warren's battling a little bit at the moment, so uh, now, now Tinas is two down, he's only got two bowls. You know, if he misses with his first one, he's under pressure. You know, and Stoffel puts another one close and he's, he's under big pressure. Jason, as an experienced international, what what would you contribute to, to Warren's two bowls to? Would that be a, uh, a concentration issue? Uh, I mean, is it, you know, is, he knows the green, he knows the rink. Yeah, absolutely. He's had yeah. four outings on this rink. What yeah. would you put it down to? It's one of those things? Yeah, I think it's just one of those things. I, I, I play with Warren. He's, he's my lead in the Provincials. In my opinion, one of the the better leads out there in South Africa. He's been incredible at, at district level. What Here we great, go. Now he's under pressure. What a great draw from Stoffel. Now he's under big pressure to, to, to get the shot. Um, you know, if I was Warren, I'd probably take a sip of water... We'll try and regroup. Um, I think this is on the wide line here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see now three down. Stoffel puts another one close. Big pressure. And if uh, Tinas doesn't get at least second shot, basically the set will be over. Absolutely. And I back Stoffel on his back end to be close again. Yeah. Well, he's on a line. He's on a line. All about the weight again. Yeah, he's close. He's played another good one. Is he up? Yep. Yeah, he's close. Right, do you think uh, Tinas might opt to be a bit more direct? Well, I think he's got to try and play inside the yellow. You know, That's so definitely. I don't think it's 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 weight's not the issue. Here. It's all about his line. So he's, uh, is he's still outside there. Okay, well he's cut down, but you know. Two down, seven, one, four ends to play, six shots. <coughs> Tough. You know, I think if Stoffel wins one more end in this set, I think he might be home and dry and be one up. Yeah. Jason, and in this format, to win that first set uh, does give you, sort of put you in a bit of a comfort zone. Absolutely. Knowing that you've got the set, uh, you are at worst going to go into a tiebreaker, but you've got one end on the trophy. Worst case scenario, others, oh, Mr. Bolts. Worst case scenario, tie break. And, uh, you know, so win that first set, you know, you, you know that that's the worst case. He's on a good line here. As a matter of interest, Jason, I asked Jerry the uh, question if, uh, about his air ticket. The fact that he's now in the final and um, he couldn't get his ticket changed. So, uh, Jerry's got the day off tomorrow. He'll uh, be leaving um, 
Cape Town uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, look, I hope he's asked his boss if he could get yeah. uh, time off from work. That's uh, that's um, that's the question. No. Oh, this is there we go. This is better, and this is what uh, this is what they're going to need, Jason. Hundred percent. Yeah, they, they've got to pick up this end. They've got to start uh, applying some pressure on uh, Stoffel. Yeah. Otherwise, there's still there's still ends left. There's still a bit of room. They, cool. but as you say, they're going to have to they're going to have to get a move on. Yeah. Yeah, he's on a good line again, yeah. Niji's ball. Yeah. Gets a piece of it. Uh, Dusta won't be unhappier with that one because it's a it's a good. Well, I'm just giving them shot, Jason. Yeah, it's, you know, even if it was second, it'd be good. You know, it's a, it's a good second shot if it wasn't shot. Um, change of Warren's hand. It's looking good, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's in the area again. So I think um, Dusta just be looking to get another one in the area here, just to because uh, uh, Tunis might be tempted to have a little trot on the plant there and take the ball out. Maybe try and like two or three. So another bowl in the area from Dusta here will be good. Nice to see a big crowd here as well at uh, Durbanville. Um, what, what, fair tree have, what Fair Tree have done at this club is uh, close to amazing. It's just superb. The club's facilities are fantastic. Just ticks all the boxes, doesn't it, Jason? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I have a recollection of yourself saying after last year's uh, PBA uh, that it's probably one of the better tournaments you've been in in South Africa, certainly. Well, and, um, have you seen any improvements from last year? Not that there had to be, but um, anything of note? Well, I think the coverage this year. I mean, what um, what the guys have done with the replays. I mean, in all honesty, it's it's like watching something on Supersport, um, you know. So, I think what they've done there, um, and with the app as well, um, the app is really oh, good. World class, you know, and uh, everything that they're doing. And I mean, I can't wait to see what happens next year. Um, the guys are just on another absolute level, and uh, like I said, a few associations in South Africa can. Uh, can ask them for some advice how to get it right because um, they've been doing it for two years and uh, what they've accomplished in two years is better than most associations have, compl have accomplished since they've been going. Thank you for that, Jason. He's having a little trot, yeah, yeah, it. It. yeah, he's just on that wide line. He's just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he wasn't doing that earlier. And uh, possibly looking for the split there on the two balls with a follow through. Yeah, absolutely. I think he was trying to get the, the split and get the blue ball out to the right and lie three shots. But, you know, now it's 8 1. And uh, three ends to go. And uh, so seven shot difference and three ends. They're actually showing they're playing end eight on the TV, but yep. there's four ends left to go. Okay, Correct. So. Okay, so it's four ends to go, seven shots, so it's four twos. Done a good line again. This will come now at the last little bit, it'll start coming back. Yeah, very good. That's a great start. That's, as a skip, you, you don't mind that, all right? That's perfect. It's a good line for Warren's bowl as well. It's just all about the pace. You see, but that pace it just hangs out. That's all. It's 
So, Jason, I um, suspect that you uh, appreciate your visit to your old home club of Durbanville mm. and uh, spending time with your mom. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, and uh, to see old faces here as well from, uh, from when I used to play here about 13, 14 years ago. And uh, it's nice to see the guys are still around and uh, also still remember me, which is nice. And, um, and mother's cooking is always good, so. <laughs> yeah, you see, he's just, yeah, just overpacing it. Okay, so this hasn't been too many times, in fairness, uh, Johanna Tinas has gone up old I'm very surprised. Um, not so much in, um, in, in uh, Fred's um, performance, you know, um, knowing that he's, he's competitive, uh, he puts a lot of hard work into his game, but I'm, I'm surprised that Warren's um, sort of out of sorts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big ball here from Duster now. If Duster gets close here, and, uh, you know, again, the pressure's on uh, Tinas and to, to try and manufacture something, he's on a good line. Okay, I don't think he'll be unhappy where this is going to end. Yep, very good. Not too bad. Yeah. Right. This is where Warren's going to hope for Tinas to uh, draw the shot to get them back in the game. I think he's under it. I think so too, Jace. His weight looks pretty good though. Quite good, mate. Yeah, very good weight. Second shot. Look at Duster now. Duster like, looks ahead, heads very still, extends the arm out nicely onto the line. You know, he's got a nice action. Has he corrected the weight off? Yeah, he's pretty good again. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Just the one? Just the one. Yeah, right, there's a, there's a bit of room for Tinas. I need this badly. Stay in the set. It's a better line here, Johan. It's all oh. down to his weight again here oh, now. More on the professional He's looking side. good. He's looking good. Go. Yeah. Okay. So I think, um, you know, I think a little chat needs to, to be had now with uh, Tinas and Warren. Have a little chat. You know, what length are we going to play? You know, we're going to change it up a little bit because they need to need to get a multiple score. Um, three ends left in the set and, and six down, so they need three twos. So I'd be changing something up. Yeah, the match gone up a bit. Yeah, and he's gone really short. So, so I think they're trying to they're going to try and catch them out with um, with the with the pace of the green here. Um, it's going to be very delicate, you know, nice and smooth, low and slow. It's gone on the backhand. You see, now this is something that wasn't happening in the other games. Warren was always playing on his forehand and uh, nailing it. Um, he's been chopping and changing quite a bit in this in this game. And uh, that, maybe, maybe that's not too yeah. sure where to go. Well, and you know, Fred might be. Uh, putting a bit of pressure on him there and making him change his hand, so. He's also a little bit under. Is he gonna get lucky? Uh, he's gonna get a little feather there. Okay. This must be a wonderful occasion for Jack Block Fred Berta to play on such a big stage early Fantastic. in his career. I mean, he's always shown the promise, but he's here now, he's a, uh, He's arrived. He's got a great opportunity, and they're in a good spot. Yeah. And you know what? Do you know what will happen now, Johan? Is is that his game will improve? Um, Warren's very close to you. Yeah. You know, and his game will improve because now he'll be playing with a bit more confidence, and um, he's been at the. You know, he's on TV, and there's a lot of people watching him. And um, oh, it's so important to get games like this under your belt, just to make you know get you to move on. Yeah. This ball, he's uh, missed his line, but um, he's come through. Yeah. 
So give me skip options. A uh, message from uh, an old um, friend of mine from Pretoria, Yaku Spal, thanking myself and Jason for the informative commentary. Hello, Yaku. Nice to hear from you. Okay, Alma, so Alma Lowe enjoying our um, streaming. And uh, Arieta Boota wishing the Boerland um, even the best. Go, Boerland. Okay, nice shot for Tinas to play here now. I think he should keep that weight. If he plays inside, gets onto Warren's bowl, takes that bowl out, it's three shots. If he gets the jack, he, he'd be lined two. Uh, might have overgreened it again. Oh, that hand. Yeah, that extra bit of weight. Yeah. He had a bit of a chance there to make a few, but um, Dustin's not going to be unhappy about dropping one here. So. Absolutely, Jason. He's on his preferred backhand. Yeah, again, I think he did that because if he gets a little bit of a hang on his forehand, he could turn Warren in for two. Um, like I say, he's not going to be unhappy about dropping one year. <laughs> Didn't think he'd have that weight, but... <laughs> okay, so it's one shot. Uh, they're looking for two here. Okay. Didn't realize it was that close on the TV. It's nice to see, um, you know, we got the, the Durbanville guys have all been involved here, you know, as from the markers, you know, even down to the bibs. You know, that's the, that's the detail that Fairtree have put into this tournament. You know, and um, they've got everything they need. Um, it's it's just been world class. It's I mean superb. And these markers giving up the the time over Easter coming yeah, mark incredible. Uh, for the four days. Incredible. And you ask everybody that's been here, Johan, that they, they thoroughly enjoyed it. They were like, oh, you know, maybe we don't get to see these type of bowlers, as in Jerry Baker, Warren Stein, and Tinas, in these areas. Um, they might hear about them on in the newsletters and circulars and so forth, but to actually watch them play, um, I think they've they've enjoyed it and they've they thought, well, help. They probably can't wait to get on the, on the green themselves after this. Absolutely. Also spotted the uh, the great Kevin Campbell here this morning, old friend of yours, Jason. He uh, he, he came down to come and watch. Yeah, nice okay. to see Kevin. Yes, it's always good to see Kevin. He's. Uh, Obviously a legend of the game, and uh, I actually asked him, I said, why aren't you playing in this? And uh, I, think his, uh, I think his words were, my darling, I'm too busy. <laughs> busy with what? <laughs> Let's start going there, Jason. <laughs> Trisha's got a smile on her face. She knows exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> a little loose start again there by Warren. He's He's really battling, and Fred's taking advantage of this all the time. So it's not a bad piece. He's unlucky not to get it full. But again, behind the jack, yeah, always good. Not too bad. Just to remind viewers again, um, 11 ends, two set, uh, best of three sets. We've increased the amount of ends to 11. And then in the uh, event of a, uh, this is close. a set drawn, one each, they'll put the game to a three end tiebreaker. Now, you see what I said now just earlier? Fred's bowl at the back there. Yeah. Now, that's a good bowl for, for, for Duster. So he's always got a, a shot on now. He knows if he can crack an egg onto Warren's bowl there, he's got positional bowl. Whereas if that was a meter yeah. short, absolutely. Yeah. The bowl becomes a factor. Exactly. So. Okay, well, good. not a bad try there again. But again, options for, for Duster. And he's got a five shot cushion. Um, yeah, so, you know, again, you'll probably just try and get second shot. Happy to drop one. Yeah. 
it's all about man management now, uh, Johan. You know, I mean, uh, yeah. from your days um, playing for South Africa and so forth, man, um, how to manage a game is so important. <laughs> Absolutely, Jason, and and uh, you can only improve that aspect of your game by probably losing more than winning. Correct. Well, see. Uh, Stoffel's on his forehand. He's mm. been working hard on it. Bit of inside information. He goes down to the green. Has a session on the forehand for an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it's just his pace here. I think his line was good. Um, Maybe he needs a bit to better hour and a half <laughs> session. But Tinas needs to drop a meter here, get another one close. They might be lying two. It's two now, Jason. Um, he seems to be on a wide line here. It's got a lot of bending to do, and he's playing with quantums. Um, it will come back. And if he turns out, okay, he's made three now, surely. Um, three shots indeed, three shots. Jason. Okay. Well, big bold oh, here from Duster. He doesn't want to drop a three. No. Small adjustment on his weight. His line is good, isn't it? Uh, his weight again, his weight. Okay, well, he might have cut one out. No, I'm not too sure. It's very difficult oh. on the TV with the angles, but um, let's see what the so one's Three out. shots. Um, Two out. He's having a good look. Fred, don't... Uh, if you're unsure, get the tape out, mate. There we go. Now he's having a little look on the tape here. You know, if they get a three here, eight, six... It'd be an interesting last end if Warren nails it with the first ball. Puts him back in the seat, Jason. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's well in. Three shots. Wow. Spec savers for that one. Okay, big end now. So, 8-6. You know, good first ball year by Warren, and um, like I said, I've played with Warren a heck of a lot in interprovincials. I'd expect this one to be close. I fancy him to be close as well. He's gone back to his forehand. Yeah. He's got a good line, it's all on the pace here. Tinas likes it. Okay, it's not a bad opener. Not a bad opener. Fred and I just, nothing fancy here, uh, Fred, just try and beat Warren's bowl. Um, don't worry about the jack, just try and beat the last bowl. Just overcooking it. Okay, now Warren corrects you and gets inside his bowl with a foot. Um, pressure's on. Absolutely, Jason. He's on the widest line again. Let's do quite a bit of drop. Oh, that, yeah, I'd expect him to be white. better there. Okay, a big ball from uh, Fred Puerta. Can he pull it off? How's the line looking, Jason? Yeah, I think he's, I think he's, I think he's quick, quick again. Looks like he's quick again. So, okay, so. I have a little bit here with you, Jace. Um, <laughs> unless things change, um, I predict Stoffel to go onto his backhand. Absolutely. What's the odds? No, no, no odds. <laughs> uh, that's a <laughs> gimme. That's a <laughs> gimme. Um, but you know, Tina's got a first ball here. If he, yeah. if he gets a. Uh, if he nails this yeah, one, he needs to get closer than than yeah. they've got at the moment. Yeah. He's on his forehand and on his forehand, yeah. Got that rhythm, good. Yeah, he got it away, lovely. 
He's on a good line. So he's just that miss that that misses that. He's a close. Help. Oh, he would have been bang on. He was right. bang on. Right, there's a bit of room for Stoffel. <laughs> Big ball. Just won the bet here with Jason. He's on the backhand. <laughs> Right. Can old big fella do it? He's on a decent line here, yo, and he might be just inside it, but he's gonna cross that center oh, line. His weight. And he's running through. Oi, 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 the precious bowling, Jason. Yeah, you see, it, it all starts from the lead. All the three, eh? Looking at maybe turning one of those balls. Yeah, a I think of times. I, I don't think there's a. I think um, it's uh, copy repeat. It's a little bit narrower. He doesn't want to leave a side ball. Can he become a nuisance on the back end for Stoffel? Oh, yeah. I think that's it. You see now, Stoffel. For Stoffel, that's a good ball. That's a pointer. Yeah. He's, he's just got to beat that ball, and he knows he's going to get close to second shot. No. And um, you can even get a flick off it. So oh, big ball. He certainly greened it better. He's pretty close here. It's all about his weight. Little flick up there. What did I say? Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Here we go. <laughs> well, exactly what I said. Uh, you know, Tina's just pinched his line slightly which was a good guide for Stoffel there to like I said he could use the bowl just beat the bowl anything for a second shot um, so yeah so yeah unfortunate for Warren and the guys but uh, it's one set to nil and uh, now you got to refocus get back and um, try and win the next set and go to a sudden death Good to have you in the team, Jason. Thanks for joining us. Cheers, Anna. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a great start. That, that, that's what you want. You, you want to be one set up, Alan, and then your lead does that in the yeah, first end. Absolutely. And superb. Yeah. It's on a good line, all about his weight, you know. All about his weight. That's a uh, good level. Just Very falls good. Out. Good ball. Yeah. Warren needs to start doing more of that. Absolutely. He's been a little bit scratchy. Yeah. Um, and uh, he'll be the first to admit that. Unlike Warren on this rink, I mean, he's played on it a few times. Um, certainly uh, played some very good balls. The times he's been on this rink, so. It's a poor ball. Yeah. Let's see if Warren can make that slight adjustment. You may have discussed it, Jason. Did you find different weight hand speeds when you um, change? Not, not so much on, the, on, on this ring because it is quite well protected from the wind. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the one hand we, we, we spoke about coming towards the grandstand the way they're playing now if you go a little bit wide it yeah. it, it tends to just stick there um, so so the forehand coming down is is, is the better hand um, for consistency wise mm. um, but um, yeah but uh, Warren Warren will be unhappy with that that second ball yeah. there it's, um, definitely you know and uh, I think uh, Dustin is going to have to play his favorite hand he's certainly got it out there so this will this will come back a long way if he's got good weight dropping short yeah and there yeah. we go yeah when you look at um, Warren's first ball and then he you know he goes the wrong way you know it's um, it's it's not like certainly players at this level uh, would normally make that make that slight adjustments. In well, the if he was through, yeah. it would have been so much better for Tina. It's because now Tina could Tina's have sat the ball or moved the jack, and now he's trying to like that. That's uh, he want Tina's won't be happy with that. 
So. I mean, if you uh, if you compare, uh, Tunis has had a couple of unfortunate results, but I mean, compared to the semi final when he played you and Sean, I mean, he was he was phenomenal. Well, you didn't miss many. Didn't um, I? Look, I think Martinez might have a look at clipping this ball out to be just inside his bowl with a little bit of weight. It's got a, oof, that's a hell, hard draw to get all the way around that. and It's got to be inch perfect. Come on, get on the quick. Yeah, this is a hard shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I thought he had two seconds there. I thought he might he have might come go. inside his bowl. Yeah. Um, Clip it out, and you know, probably a better option. I agree. Maybe. I agree definitely at this stage of the game. So you've got to say at this moment, Alan, that um, Stoffel and, and Fred have uh, certainly bossed the game at the moment. Definitely. And, uh, nice to see. Nice to see. Yeah. Uh, you know, Fred and Stoffel in the final. It's uh, certainly good for Fred as well. Yeah, and He's, they got to the semis last year. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. There must be a their form. They enjoying the competition. Got a nice delivery, actually. You know, he gets that ball away nicely. He's popping it on the line most times. If anything, it's his weight that lets him down Correct. now and again. But yeah. uh, he seems to be getting the line really good. But again, that's not a bad ball. Yeah. That's that's a good ball. It's always better past the the jack than short of the jack. Yeah. Come on, Warren. It's up to date. <coughs> little stamp on the foot. Let's see what happens. It's that rhythm. I know that he's um, lost it. Yeah. Warren plays with the with the with the quantum, um, the aero quantum, and so does uh, Tinas. Um, I'm not too sure about Fred and and Stoffel what they play with Alan. Do you know? Is it Drakes and? Uh, yeah, I think, I think um, they're both on they're the Drakes. Drakes yeah. There you go, that's a good correction. Yeah, that's, well that's certainly what you'd expect at this level. I don't know if you've noticed Warren's, when he stands on the mat, it's, it's, yeah. it's hard to find out which hand he's actually playing. No. Um, yeah. That's a good correction. Yeah. More so on his backhand, it's um, well, no, sorry, more so on his on his forehand. Yeah, his foot doesn't face the line. Exactly, of the delivery. It, 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 you actually think he's set enough to play in his backhand, because yeah. um, he's, he's he's on the on it, the left side of of the mat as he's bowling, mm -hmm. and uh, very straight. So there's a lot of hand movement there for the line, not walking on the line. Um, but he's been doing that from day one, so. See uh, one of the former provincial selectors, Basil Davitskis, sitting in the crowd. See again on that hand, just got that touch wide. It just just doesn't come back. Just stays there a little. Tinas has got such a good, such a good action. Um, gets that ball away really Beautifully, well. Beautifully, yeah. He's unlucky there. Now, Alan Hughes has actually asked that question, um, Jason, about mm. the bowls. So, Tennis and, uh, and Warren on, on Aero. And uh, I think Stoffel still plays with the Drake's professional. Yeah. It's on a better line here. It's whether or not he's got the weight to hold up. Yeah, there yeah. it goes. Just gone. There it goes. If he had the oh, same yeah, weight yeah. as his first one. Um, yeah, it would have held. Yeah. Okay, another one to uh, to the Berlin boys. Yeah, they definitely seem in control at the moment, and uh, it's. Uh, I think they need to. Uh, they need to find something. Um, 
Sydney, Warren, and as we've said, Warren and uh, tennis are certainly not playing at the same level that they played at early on. Hard to understand why the conditions I don't think have changed. No, not at all. Not no. at all, eh? The only thing I can think of, but I mean, you know, Warren's pretty fit and he's, you know, he's played a lot of bowls and uh, into provincials, 10 games. Sure. You know, this is his fourth game today, but I don't think that's going to bother him, really. Another good start. Yeah. yeah there we go. That's the difference. Huh? Excellent. Two ball pairs. You need your lead to be firing. Warren's got too much weight, he's not coming back. I'm just chasing it a little bit now, eh? becoming a bit desperate. Can't be short, add that little bit and it runs through. So another good line might be just slightly outside that. There you go, it's just holding there, you see? Yeah. And then it will come at the last little bit, but it just that touch wide. A little bit wide. And perfect just weight. Good weight. Yeah. You know, so it just doesn't yeah. come back. So the difference is inches, I mean. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Warren will be looking here to make a little correction. I think his weight wasn't come too on, was bad. Up. If he can set the ball to get the jack. Drop, was up. No, he's just missing it. Yeah. Okay, well, well that, that's, that yeah. miss is better than a little... Yeah. Touch on the, on the jack. Yeah. Well, he's given you know he's, he's given, given Tina's a chance. Uh, a chance here to sit the ball or move the jack. Um, anything but short. Yep, hundred percent. Yeah. Fortunately, there's a bigger crowd in today. There's someone in camera, camera Matthew Spirit. You would know him. He certainly had a good tournament. Yeah, Matthew um, plays uh, at Edenvale, um, up in Joburg. Um, Hell of a nice guy, and uh, you know he's certainly a good bowler as well, and uh, got a big future, I think. Yeah. Ooh, that seemed that to get away. Wide. It will come. It will come, but it's just as wait now because he did push it out quite wide. It's coming. Eh? A little meter of running, and yeah, been good. A big shot here for Tina. So this could change the game. If he gets this jack um, or sits the ball, one of the two, he's on a good line too. It's whether or not he's got the weight to hold. He's just going to go under it. He's got the ball. Yeah. Yeah, he's got enough for shot. Yeah, good enough. He'll take that. Absolutely. See, half a ball wider, gets the jack okay. for three. Yeah. You can see by his action, that's what he was looking for. Yeah. Right. Dusters overcooked this one. Yeah. Unless he gets a little edge off the side ball. Yep, yeah. no, nope. just missing it. Okay, so what would you be playing here, Alan? Would you uh, draw for two, or would you be looking to turn that ball over? Yeah, I think being a, a game of sets, I think it's, um, it's on the draw. If you happen to flick the white or the jack, um, I think it's just a case of getting two, getting the two, getting back into the game. Got a bit of holding yeah. to do. But they they are way. quantums, so it should grip. Just ran through a little Only bit too much. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. As you said earlier on, it's different to tell on camera angles uh, on the screen. Yeah. So you see the two guys, the Warren and, and Tina, are playing with the scoop grip. Yep. That's the aero scoop grip. That's the most um, common grip that aero do. They do do other grips, um, but um, most of the players in South Africa play with that scoop grip. Um, so it's actually quite un fits quite nicely in your mm -hmm. hand, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah. So that's the preferred grip. Okay. And uh, you can see it there. Would that uh, there be the got, yellow bowl? Then? Yeah, the yeah. yellow bowl, yeah. and also Tinas' uh, bowl is also. So that's the scoop Z grip, and um, yeah. What are you using? Uh, same, exactly the same, same, but I play with the groove. The, okay. the, um, the two guys here are playing with Quantum. a slightly tighter bowl, um, which probably wasn't a bad option for here. 
saying on air um, earlier on today, Jason, that um, the surprising thing when I watched a bit of Potters early on in the year, um, how the bowlers that are got such good form that are top bowlers and play on that surface regularly seem to play with a more bending bowl. Now, you would think that you'd go there on, a, on running. They were saying it's slower this year. It was running at 16 seconds. Normally, it's up to 18. Mm. You'd think they'd be playing with a slightly tighter bowl, but they, they, they stick to those. Yeah. Bending. Look, there's a, there's a few theories about it, Alan. I, mean, I remember um, the, the New Zealand lad that uh, won the world singles in, in New Zealand, um, Shannon McElroy. Yep. And um, he went with, and those greens run 20, 21 seconds. And he went with, with big swingers. And um, I asked him, why did he do that? And he said, well, I've just got to throw it out there. Yeah. And he said, I know it's coming back. Um, and uh, my, as long as my weight's good, I'm going to get back to center line. Mm. So, and then there's the other theory that, you know, well, I want the shortest route to the jack. Yeah. So um, I think it's each to their own. Yeah. Um, I played with my grooves in Bristol in the World Indoor in 22. And same story, I just threw it out to the string, so I wasn't looking to try and get inside the line. Yeah. And um, it always came back to centre, so I suppose it's each to their own, I suppose. Yeah. I think that's what Neil Burkett has always said, you know, said don't, don't go across that line, you know, you go slightly uh, on a quicker green, you go slightly inside the line, you lose the ball, you know. Yeah. So it's always better to overgrass because it'll come back. You've got to have. You've got to trust it. Yeah, trust always, it. always. Yeah, look, Burke, it's exactly right. Yeah. Try not to go over the centre line. Yeah. He's on a good line, you know. Uh, just a touch wide, maybe. More the weight. Uh, weight wasn't bad, I suppose. Line three. Yeah. And a big bowl year from Duster because although you know he doesn't want to go, Tina draws another one for four, and he's got one last bowl and. It just doesn't come out right. Yeah. <laughs> He's a it's bit, a bit quick. heavy. Yeah? Looks bit very quick. quick. You yeah. see now, this is where you can get yeah. into trouble. A little front toucher here is pretty good. Or back toucher. Yeah. Always try and get to that white ball and make that slight move and take the take the target away. Mm. Yeah, well, he hasn't that's left a catch. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, it's marginally better, but it is better. This is just trying to get second shot, you know, third shot. It's a better line. It's close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear! Yeah. Oh dear! There you go. <laughs> Three shots. Chop. Sure. Uh, Playing the big shot. Yeah, well, commentary's good, mate. I called that from three meters out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jason. Yeah. Uh, that's why you're a current international roller, mate, for many years. But Stoffel hasn't let those opportunities slip, has he? He's, nah, played, he's, he's played the big shots. But that's a huge turnaround. I mean, you know, four, four down, down to three, three up. Oh, seven, yeah. seven, seven shots. Shot. Yeah, crazy. And, and that's just going to give them a bit more confidence now, you know, like Warren and... Tina they're going to be deflated. Well, they're going to feel like I felt when I played them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed with this Fred. Fred's, Fred's played really well. He's playing some good bowls. He's not far away again yet. He's just got to run a little bit more. Yeah, the weight. Well, line was good. And Warren's back yeah. on his forehand now. He's, um... Let's see what happens. Well, he's a pretty good starter, yeah. That's, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, you know, a lot of people now, like Fred just needs to just beat your bowl by half a yard. You're going to be close. Um, you know, there's quite a is few skips hold? out there that are like, oh, you got to, you got to nail it. you got to nail it. Now, this is a great bowl. You know, 
Very good adjustment. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not it's not about getting to the jack. It's about building that head. Exactly. Uh, there's Pam Lofthouse. Second from right. <laughs> You're on camera, Pam. <laughs> Just over cooking. Yeah. Yeah, they, Warren hasn't been himself in this game. Definitely not. And, uh, but uh, look, Tinas is good. He, you know, he's he's a good motivator. He keeps them going. And uh, I think he's need to dig deep here. Yeah, I'll keep those comments coming in. Brett, thank you. Thanks for those comments. Great shot, Stoffel. Loving the commentary, guys. Uh, it's great to hear, Brett. And I just want to shout out to you and your team at Constantia Bowling Club. I believe you had a great uh, Easter Classic. Congratulations. Well done. Jeez, just on that high side there again. Nice. That would have come. He was just inside it, actually. But, um, yeah, he won't be happy with that stuff. Tish Bryce from Hermanus. Windy Amonis, okay. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, okay. he was looking yeah. for the jack, but he doesn't want to lose this ball. He's right? going to. Yeah. Make your mind up time, your Stoffel. Do you, do you cover? Um, or do you draw for two? I, I'd be covering here personally. Yep. Um, you can do a three at the back. No, he's not listening. Seem to get it away a bit better. Well, he's got to have drawing weight on that line, hasn't he? I mean, okay. not going to come well, back. If he beats that ball, it's not a bad ball. Okay. Go quick. Tina's going to run it. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. yeah here here we comes. Go. Here comes a bomb. More trophies. Yeah, he's having a full go here. Got it. Uh, he's got oh, it. And the other one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's it's two, isn't it? No, one shot. One shot. Whose ball is that of on the, Oh, that's uh, Fred's ball. Okay. Yeah, Tina's very quick. He's got that. That's such a good shot to have in your armory, um, Alan. You know, if you're in trouble, and you know, and you, you can let it go that quick and so accurately. Yeah. Ryan Bester, from, yeah. um, who, who plays for Canada, yeah. world champion. I mean, he, he doesn't miss, you no. know, and uh, Tinas is uh, certainly just as quick as him. He's on a decent line here, is Warren, all on the weight again, so he's looking close. Much better start. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, I saw Tinas clapping like that quite often in the game against you, Jason. That's yeah. Just, yeah. It's more like the Warren, we know. Yeah, look, I'll certainly be having words with Warren when I get back to Joe. <laughs> and so you should. Yeah, that's a good response, you know. It's, uh, that's in the area that... Hard to drop threes and fours when you're doing that. He's going to hold. Yeah, he's, no, pretty, he's holding. He's very good no, again. He's good. Weight's good. Yeah, he's in the area. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. It's more like it, Warren. Yeah. It gives Tina some nice shot. You yeah. touch the jack for three, sit the ball for three. Fred, we wanted to get another one in the area here. Not far away. No, he's close. It's a bold one, yeah, mate. He's, he's bold close. one. Oh, oh. He's so that okay. that would have that been Tina's shot. shot. That was that was Tina's yeah. shot. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's one of those unfortunate results. You know, he needed to reach. Just had a little bit too much weight and he's played um, yeah he's played Tinnis's shot big end this yeah. for uh, Stoffel Stoffel doesn't want to do another 
like a two or a three year. Um, he'd be wanting to win this game in straight sets. For sure. Because the tie break, anything can happen. And uh, with, with Tinas's flat out drive, you've got to fancy Tinas in the, in the tie break because of that. When he get down? No. He doesn't want to turn that ball. Oh, oh. he got a little flick there, okay. okay. Oh, well, it's three yeah. shots. Nothing fancy in us, Stoffel. Mr. Nice Reliable. Thing. It's one of those guys, if you want you know, somebody to draw out of trouble, you'll put the ball in his hand. Old campaigner, old Stoffel, been around for years. He's always so calm. Yeah. You now he's not actually on a good line yet. Yeah. Needs to get to that boat. Oh. Yeah. Good weight. Staying on his forehand. Mm. Play something similar. A little bit of a. Tight. Didn't like that delivery so much. It's just yeah. a little bit of a bounce on it. Mm. And there we go. And he pulled up short. Um, could be a nice guide for Stoffel. He gets around that, he's going to be close. Uh, is he around it? No, he's got to he's run sure. hard. He's got yeah. to run hard. He should yeah. fade away, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, looks like three shots. No, he won't be happy mm -hmm. with that. I mean, you would have seen that shot he played in the semi-finals <laughs> when he got that feather, that little rub, yeah. that little straightener. So two's out, and I'll measure him for three. Okay. Um, on the TV, it looks like it's a certain three, but... Uh, okay, we're going into, like, a bit of a crucial time here now, Alan, you know, the... Stoffel and the Fred need to, I think if they can win the next, I think they're looking at three ends, three ones. Yep. Um, and then of course, uh, Tinas will be saying more, more of the same. Yep. And then of course we've got um, Baker against uh, Wayne York in the, in the singles to follow this game. Um, Jerry's well. had to change his air ticket. I believe so. So two former international South African bowlers. Yeah. Still playing, uh, still playing great balls. Look, and, and another one who's got a got a good drive on him is Wayne York. Um, we used to call him Hitman Hearns in the SA side, <laughs> and um, you know Tommy Hitman. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, so that'll be an interesting game because you know Jerry's, uh, you know, he's, a, he's he's the classic drawing man game, you know, yeah. and gets them sticks them close. Be interesting to see what tactic Wayne York yeah. pulls in as he's, if he's going to go big, yeah. um, or if he's going to consolidate and back the draw. So I think that'll be a really exciting game, um, especially for the spectators as well. Umpire Alan Phillips not taking any chances. Get it a hundred percent right. Mm, that's a tight one. Okay. Whether or not that's going in or out. <laughs> yeah, I think he's actually taken it in a bit. So I think the marker pointed at the white ball and he's maintaining his interest. What are your thoughts about the laser, um, Alan? They use it a lot I, in Australia. I believe so. I've never seen it in action, you know. Um, but when I was over there, they, they seemed to always, irrespective of the distance, they had this... Um, contraption that they used to have which was the one side was uh, as big as the bowl the other side was a size was the, the, the size of the, the jack they used to open it up and then everything became a caliper measure mm. 
Mm. Um, I've, I've never seen it since. Uh, it's never been utilised in, in, in South Africa. And I don't even know if they uh, still use it in Australia. But I'm going back into the 90s, eh? many, mm. many years ago. So what did they decide on there? Two. Two. Two shots. Two shots. Good to see that uh, the crowd's grown uh, from the first three days, where I think it was once again it, uh, we discussed it. It could be the fact that it was over Easter. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's been a very good crowd. I, I think they've enjoyed it as well, to be yeah. honest, Alan. You know, and, um, nice for the club to give up the facilities over the Easter weekend as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, thanks to Durbanville members. Um, putting uh, more um, bowlers don't come down and watch this. It's not, you don't get the opportunity that often to see uh, top class bowlers. Well done again, Fred. Yeah. Can you see, is that a really steady game? Does, is, is Fred in the in the bowling setup? Is he played provincial? I, 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 I know he hasn't been playing for that long. Um, whether he's actually playing, Johan's going to tell us now. Whisper in my ear, Johan. Vets. Okay. Yeah, well, that's understandable the way he's been playing. No, it's a good ball uh, by good Warren. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the response now. You, this is where Fred needs to play a similar shot to what he just did. Just just get another ball in the head for yeah. Stoffel. Um, you know, don't go chasing it. You're looking pretty good, yeah. That's a good oh, that's, a that's, a, that's, that's another a good, good ball. ball, yeah. Ball the head. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of... For, for, the, for the amateurs out there or the, the novice bowlers out there, you know, you want you want your lead to, to do that and get it within that 500 mils or, you know, and um, not go chasing after balls and play the TV shot. Just build the head for the skip, which then gives him options to play um, his variety of shots. Absolutely, I agree. Might be under it. Well, it's very good. Well, it is superb, yeah. Tight. Difficult to call, but certainly great weight. Come back. I think he's just inside the the right line. He's just not on the outside of it. So that should yeah, there we go. Oh, his weight's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he was a bowl wider, it would have stayed there. Yeah. Um so he's just inside it. Yes, if he's he's gotta have a bit of weight to hold this up. He's not far away. Which way is it going? Has it bounced back enough? Very close. Yeah. Here's a message from uh, Joan Hitchens in the UK. Hi, Alan and Jason. Joel and Z, really enjoying commentary and great balls. Yeah, not too sure what you mean there, but thanks for posting that message, Joan. Yeah. Joel was a fierce competitor when he was here in Cape Town. Had a phenomenal record. Is he in sunny London now? Yeah, sunny London, yeah. Okay, yeah. right, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How's the balls going there, Joel? Give us a shot. Yep. Now. I'm not sure who's holding the shot here. Okay, so Warren's holding the shot. Um, if it was the blue bowl, then I, w I would be saying to Stoffel, don't play. Um, but yeah, you know, he's got a he's got a chance here. Yeah, uh, your mate, Maxi Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> Warren needs an energate. <laughs> so what would you be playing, you, Alan? I think uh, he's got a couple of options. 
Yeah, well, that bowl, his own bowl, just short of the, the jack, do you think he might switch? No, he's staying on the backhand. He's looking to promote his white bowl into the head, and if he, he holds hold? to the yellow Can he hold? and he's get very, half the jack here. If he's got the weight to hold, he's very good. Oh, oh if it falls back, he might have done enough. I'd be asking the mark, mark to prop that bowl very quickly. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, slightly under the line. It would have been a great result if he turned that one out. As our, uh, our manager, Max Hurwitz, um, on, the, on the, the message in there. Hi, Max. Nice to see you watching. Um, Max is our manager from uh, yeah. for the Interprovincials. Yeah. And he has been for years. Years and years. Yeah. And uh, we actually call him Alex Ferguson now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The results you've been getting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a good oak. He would get chocolates on our pillow every night, and he's a good boy. Yeah. So he's, yeah. Archie Taggart, I don't know, mate. It's uh, well done, Jason. By far the best commentator this weekend. Look, I can accept it. I don't know about uh, Johan. Johan might get a bit disappointed. Are you okay, Johan? Uh, Johan shaking his head. Come on, Archie. Give us a break. Okay, so we got four ends to go in this set. Five all. Warren's just played an absolute pearler. Um, so that's a great Red start. start. Um, I think it's important now that Stoffel and Fred, you know, just keep trying to plug away, yeah. keep the balls, get them close, because Warren can do this all day long if you let him. And um, Fred looks to be on a good line here. What's your weight like, Fred? Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's that's a good, good response. That's a good ball. That's, oh, that's really good. Ball. Well done. Wow. Good. It's, it's basically who's going to crack first. Um, if the leads are playing like this, bowl after bowl. I think one big shot can de decide it, actually. Mm. Looking good again. No, he's played another one. He's played a great ball, yeah. yeah. Oh, well bowled. As you say, full the head up, giving yeah. uh, tennis a chance. Yeah. Play shots. I wouldn't, if, if I was Stoffel, I wouldn't change his hand. I'd, I'd no. keep him there. Um, you know, I'd let Stoffel play that back end. And uh, just get another one close. Get another one close, yeah. I can actually draw the shot. Uh, I don't know, Stoffel must have said something funny. Fred has backed off and a smile on his face. They're a sponsor, Lombard. Thanks, Lombard. Great job, mate. Fair tree. Doing a stunning job. Okay, he's greened it well. It's just all in the pace now. Just running out. Well, you'd be happy Another with that. Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy with that. Another ball in the area. But Martinez has got a nice shot, similar to about four or five ends ago, where he can trail the cat for three, mm -hmm. sit the outside ball. Um, if he's narrow, he can work off the short ball. So basically, he's going to be playing, I would say, with half a yard of running. Yeah. Um, just try and put the lights up, put Stoffel under pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So a big shot here from Tinas. Let's see if he can come up with that big shot. Don't know if those quantums are going to get back. Yeah. No. Yeah. Weight wasn't maybe, bad. Yeah. Maybe a, yeah, a, little maybe bit a heavy. yard yeah, over. A little bit heavy. Stoffel, shot. Now if I was stuff, I'd be playing end. to the back end. Now you can turn Fred's bowl in. If he hangs on the wider side and gets to where Fred's foot was just there, it's yeah. going to end in a really good, good spot. spot. Yeah. So, you know, as long as he's on the wider side, um, turn in the bowl in or just pass in the yellow bowls, I think he'd be really happy with that. Yeah, bearing in mind that Stoffel needs to, he can get a peel down and win the game, so. A 
Okay, he's got a nice line here because this hand actually comes back quite nicely with good weight. So yeah, he's played he's played a great shot. So it's, like I said, it's finishing in a good area, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it was double double barrel shot. So you know that now, Tinas has got to play with dead weight. If he touches the jack, it's, it's a, a bonus. Hundred percent. Much better. It's close. Very is close. Stoffel's ball going to come into play? Ah, he's through the gap. Yeah. Actually, that turned quickly at the end. Uh, there, there, it just seemed to go. I think that hand's playing better than last year, but it, it has the same traits, you know. It, you've got to get that line perfect. A little bit mm. wider, especially if you're playing slightly over the draw, it'll hang. Mm. And uh, slightly inside the line, it'll swing away. And as I think um, the, the, the actual clubhouse hand um, seems to be a better mm. uh, one you can trust. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not um, there's no indoor facilities in South Africa. Yeah. We do have um, in Joburg, we have a, a midstream work, but it's only two rinks, and um, the pace there is probably about 16 seconds, whereas the potters will probably get up to 19, 20 seconds. So it doesn't really help you to go and practice there too much. Um, yeah, so that's the reason why the, the, we can't have a qualification indoor because there's no indoor facilities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what we need. We need that facility, so... He's trying, yeah, Alan. Yeah. Just needs to turn quicker. He's got it. Quicker. There we go. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Great shot. Mr. Reliable on Stoffel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he played that well. I think that was set up because of his first one. Yeah. So his first one was, you know, good weight, ended in a good spot, yep. small adjustment. Um, yeah, I'll put his ball in the position. If he did get the jack, it would have um, yeah. possibly gone to his ball. Okay, so we've got uh, how many ends to go here? Three ends, three ends yeah. after this? At the moment it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, it looks like they've got that's two the shots. 18, that's the 18 complete, so they've got um, 9, 10 and 11. Okay, 7-5 yeah. to Stoffel. This is a huge end now for both both players, yep. both teams actually. So, you know, if uh, Warren can get the shot here, put a good front toucher, the pressure's on and vice versa. Yeah, Tennis and Warren really have to, I believe, win this end. Uh, they don't want to go into the last couple of ends, three or four shots down. Yeah. This is a must win, I think, for, for Tennis and Warren. Slightly under. Yeah, yeah, that's a bad ball, yeah. but um, not to worry. It's, he hasn't played too many of them. He's Absolutely. been pretty solid, but this is where Warren now needs to take advantage and put it, put it stiff. And that's what Jason was talking about earlier on. That front foot of uh, Warren is actually virtually pointing straight down the line. Yeah, he's played doesn't, a good one. Yeah, doesn't seem to make any uh, difference to his. Uh, the end, end result is obviously uh, practiced that um, that style and got used to it. And it's strange because now Warren's mother Esme, yep. Esme Haley, yep. is so clinically correct. Correct. <laughs> you know, and um, I mean she's just like textbook. And um, Warren's the other, you know, a little bit different. Both great bowlers, but yep. um, but totally different techniques. And. Um, Sometimes I say you've got to play how you're comfortable and what works for you rather than you've got to be a textbook coach. Absolutely. Um, when they try and change players, yeah. for argument's sake. Yeah. Run now. Come on. 
Now, really, your delivery is dependent on how often and on a regular basis you need consistency, you know, as long as you can get... I mean, I, I think it's before your time, but I can recall in Australia there used to be a, um, a guy called Ian Taylor, uh, who they all affectionately called Tails, and he had the weirdest delivery I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he used to plant his front foot, and then he would deliver, no, then he would deliver, no, and then he would deliver, yes. You know, he had that, like, an action of that you used to round arm, spinning action, and then all of a sudden he would let it go. Not the greatest description, but that's the way he used to do it. He used to just not let it go. You think he did, and he would, on, a, on the third one or the fourth one, and he was actually looking straight at the ground. He never looked, he could have a uh, train running past him in the background that wouldn't make any difference. But he did this, this, but the same thing every time. Every time. There we go. Yeah. Another good little bowl there by Stoffel. He was under pressure there. If he didn't get that one close, no, no, and, and Tina's got another one there, then he'd be, you know, hard. Close here, Jax. Close here. He's got to run. Finish, yes. He's got to run. Is he going to finish? Oh, maybe. Has he done enough? Maybe enough. <laughs> so, I mean, you look at... Um, like Jerry, Jerry's delivery, very simple, been the same. Mm. He's got the same procedure, same setup, mm. bowl after bowl after bowl after bowl. Yeah. And that's yeah. where you get your consistency, is by doing everything the same. Exactly the same. And yeah. um, so the, the good tip for novice bowlers is to just, just try and... And that's the difference between the great bowlers and the not-so-good bowlers, is that everything they do, they do consistently the yeah. same. Exactly. And, Make it as mechanical as possible. Yeah. Is he on that wider side? No, he's okay. He's just inside that line, so he'll come now. He's very good. He's he's very good. good. Oh, tennis. I think you've got to try and get under your ball. Yeah. Right? Well, you might. It depends if it's two down or if he's got two seconds. If he's got two seconds, I think he'd be looking for the ball. That's why Warren's having a look. Talking about deliveries, Jason, um, put us out of our misery. I don't. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, you won't tell us, huh? No, I know what you're uh, going to ask. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure uh, I, I, I know that I've been asked many a time. What is, what is that prep that Jason does just before he delivers the ball? Uh, I see he just does the same thing every time. doesn't make any difference. doesn't affect his <laughs> delivery. It works for him. Exactly. No, the only thing I kiss is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. You see, no, no. Cole, no, Cole, Cole, well done, Cole. <laughs> now he's under pressure. <laughs> hmm. It's becoming Maybe. more and more difficult. They've two shots, nine five. I think if that bowl was Jack level, I think Tinas probably would have gone on the other hand. Because it wasn't Jack level, I think he was afraid that if he does get the ball, he could still get the Jack mm. and, and, mm. and it will go to Stoffel's other one. So maybe playing the percentage to, to promote his bowls or get half the Jack through to his other one. So. Yeah. A hard shot, hard shot to play. All you new bowlers out there, you're getting expert opinion from uh, Five-time Masters winner, Jason Evans. Totally agree with Clinton there on his response. Should your delivery not be all about comfort? 100%. And one thing about Clinton is his delivery is probably one of the best in South Africa. I mean, he's, he's, it's just immaculate. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's at the back, but... Um, yeah. Pedri, I see you're asking the question about uh, four bowls, three bowl, two bowl pairs. What changes in the type of player in the different disciplines in four bowls? Oh, I think, Jason, it's, it's really down to the pressure and, and being only two bowls, you, you just don't get the, the chances, do you? I mean, yeah, Great start from Warren. Uh, when you you know four ball pairs, I mean, there's so much to stop on, mm. um, you know, and uh, 
this format of the game is it, it's tough. It's really, really is tough, and and the sets obviously make it harder as well. Um, you know, like uh, Jerry also used to say, nip one, slip one, pull one, hook one, um, with four balls. Yeah. yeah so um, great yeah. saying. But yeah. um, you know, so it's it it is harder um, yeah. with the two balls. Yeah, I think Pedri also. Um, we have to take into account that so. Uh, Whoever wins this game goes over to Potter's Resort and they're going to be playing two-ball pairs there. So it's, uh, we, we stay very close to uh, the format that they use. Warren won't be happy with that one. He, you know, he had good weight, just threw it out a bit wider. Again, it's got slightly wide on that side, it will stay. After his first ball, he would have been looking to get another one close there. Yeah. Stoffel's got a nice shot here again. You know, It's a jack-level bowl. Sits the ball, halves the jack, pulls the jack through. Game over, really. But it'll be interesting with Stoffel whether or not he'll play his forehand. I think the shot is on the forehand. Mm. But um, Stoffel does like prefer yep. his backhand. As he rushes down to the mat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's going on his forehand, so he's. Playing the very, shot I would play. Yeah, very methodical, isn't he? Eh? Yeah. You can see it's working over in his brain. Step, deliver. Okay, he's not far away here. Just going to hang. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna, yeah no, no, just going to hang. Yeah. I don't think he needed that weight yeah. either. Yep. Now it's a big ball. Now we need to get at least two here. Yeah, you know, you know, Stoffel might be thinking, "Hell, um, let me let me put the white in the box here and uh, and, the and, and, and end of the game, shake yeah. hands, thanks for coming." Um, you know, or does he back himself to defend two or three in the last end? Wait's good. He's on a good line, yeah, Jason. He's got to run. Yeah, yeah, that's, he'll be very disappointed with that. Yeah. If, if, um, if I was Stoffel and yeah. I'd be drawing another, another one in the head, in the head. Yeah. Dr drop the one, yeah. take the punishment. Absolutely. You can still draw it, um, but move on playing the last end three up. Get another second shot because, I mean, Wood, oh, he's close. He's very close. Yeah, oh, that's uh, good. That's good. It takes away that option that um, Tennis might have had of running that ball. Of course. You might even still have he a go at this. Have a go. Try and get that uh, white ball of Stoffel's square. Yeah. But with it being so short from the jack, if he does find the white ball, there's no telling whether or not he'll go onto the jack himself or even take out Warren's ball. Mm. So he, Uh, Ray Ducray, do they have a shot clock in the pairs at Potters? I think they do. J uh, I don't know if we can. Here we go. There's a wind up. He's got one. Oh. Okay, so 9 6, is it? Okay. Yep. Big last end, yep. Yeah. Is it the last? Yep, 11th end coming up. Well, difficult now they, what to, what to play. Score, they've got to score four, Jason. Yeah, because they're yeah. set down. Yeah. Yeah. Very difficult. I wouldn't be. Uh, I'd be going back, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to go up there and one ball goes in the ditch and yeah. shake hands. Yeah. You need to give yourself a bit of room to maybe yeah. maneuver the jack. What Warren should be doing now is no short balls. Absolutely. Um, no, I think in the fact they haven't really been playing the long ends. Would it be two meter to two meter? Is it? I would want him to throw that because I don't think he's quite that far okay, back there. He's not. like a three-quarter. Um, but yeah, yeah. 
Nothing, nothing no, for sure. Nothing for sure. No. no. Okay, he's good pretty good. Good opener. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, that's a great start. Nice. Very important. Yeah, right. Yeah, no stop clock. Uh, Johan Duplessis has just told us no stop clock for pairs. Uh, we wouldn't be able to have it with Stoffel playing. Uh, yeah, he, he, he actually stretches the time limit to the, the timing to the limit. Okay, another big bowl here by Warren. He should yeah. be close again, no one Warren. Um, looks like he's short. That's no good. Oh dear. Oh dear. That could be. That could be it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Old uh, Jeff Marsh. Uh, just googled Ian Taylor Aussie bowler. See what you mean about a strange delivery. Well, there you go. Very unique. Okay, this is uh, just going through the head, but. Yeah, oh, a little bit of a loose end there from Fred, but you know he has, he's been pretty good all game. Been very steady, you know. But um, you, you've got a backstop to yeah. to to beat Warren's second ball at least. Yeah. If um, if Fred got inside um, Warren's short ball, I think it could almost shake hands. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah no doubt. On paper, would you class? What well, would you class this as an uh, an upset or? Uh... Very much so. Okay. Very much so, and uh, and I mean, uh, with respect, yeah. With yeah. you know, with, with the deepest respect, I know Stoffel. Uh, I think Fred. Uh, well, they've done exceptionally well. They they did well last year, losing in the semis. Yeah. Um, well, they're line uh, three. <laughs> yeah. Stoffel's not going to fail. Look, judging that, that you know Warren semi-final in the singles, final of the pairs, yeah, yeah, final last year. You know he loves this ground, tennis, Springbok player. There we go. That's it. On paper, you would. But, yeah. Well, he's got to go for the ball, isn't he? Top and last, got to come to you. And he's got to play it with control. Well, he's got to get it square yeah. and stay. Yeah. So, and it's got to move probably a meter and a half. So he's going to have to play with a couple of yards of weight. And But he's got to get it square. And yeah. Any edge, he's gone. This could be the last bowl of the game. Okay, how's he looking? I think he's inside he's it. Inside. Yeah, there we uh, go. Oh, inside. Well done. Well done, Fred. Yeah, well, well done, done Stoffel. Fred. Stoffel, that's it. Excellent. That's, uh, that's great for the yeah. ball. Well done, Borland. Well done, Stoffel. Well done, Fred. Good for Stoffel, yeah. So, Stoffel's place in the provincial side for another 20 years. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> yeah, I know he's moved on into the, uh, into the senior ranks, but um, oh, he's still a competitor. And off they go to Potters. Jason, um, I want to thank you. Thank you, mate. Thanks oh, for having me. I expert. enjoyed it. Lovely. Brilliant opinions. Lovely to hear from one of our top players. Ladies and gentlemen, bowlers. for change together to all four players for a great game of bowls. Thank and, you, And uh, we're going to hand over to Johan Duplessis. Thank you. Warren and Tinas, can we have you up first, please? Hotlines, boys. Um, uh. Maybe not quite the same performance as early on, um, with the conditions maybe a little bit trickier. Warren? Yeah. Uh, since this morning's game has changed all the time, so uh, you get uh, something specific in your head and you keep fighting against it. Um, yeah, no, the green definitely changed. The ring changed a lot during the game. Um, it must have been worse for you to come back on because yeah. you missed the middle game. 
Dennis, run us through the game. Uh, where do you think it went wrong? I think from the start, um, uh, the consistency wasn't there. Um, and I think also the speed was quite a bit quicker than this morning. And the lines has changed. And the wind also played, a, but uh, all credit to Stoffel and them. They played well. Absolutely. Our lines poison. Giving you the best. Thank you. Safe travels back. Um, right, now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Boerland, Ali Pat from Sirius and Robertson, Stoffel Lambrecht and uh, Fred Boerta. Oh, boys, what a performance. Thank you. Fred, first time on the big stage. You must be super excited, and I'm sure you'll echo with me. This is what this is. the PBA is all about. It's dreams, the dream of getting on the, onto that aeroplane and, and going to Potters, Yarmouth, Hampton or Hepton on Sea, just to mix it up with the best in the world. You must be super excited. Uh, you're on. You're quite right. Uh, listen, I haven't sunk in yet. Uh, privileged to play here, and uh, thanks to you guys, all the helpers for the whole, uh, what is it, four days, Marcus, scorers and uh, just a fantastic four days yeah and your skippy mr reliable how's that back end as i'm told him uh, the last two wins he got a big back he carried me quite nicely there so uh, thanks stoffel like uh, playing with you yeah fred well done and thank enjoy you. your trip and um, play well at potters just around the corner thank you mr reliable stoffy was it, I wasn't, it wasn't reliable this afternoon and fred he nailed it um and then, uh, yeah, I had one or two shots that made the difference and um, lucky at times, but um, they, they all count. And um, looking forward to um, the minus 10. Then. Well, Stoffel, I, I believe, Neil Smith, on that performance, you've just upgraded yourself to business class. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy it. Thank you. Well done. Doing the best. Safe travel. Next up, Jerry Baker versus Wayne York.
that should be enough.
Welcome back, everyone. Um, we're down to session four, the last game of the tournament, the singles final. We have uh, two uh, our pairs champions going off to uh, Potters. We're now going to see who's going to join those two players, Stoffel and Fred, going to Potters Resort. Is it going to be Jerry? Is it going to be Wayne? I'm sure we're going to be entertained in a great final. Um, the runner-up of this game will go off to Scotland to play in the Scottish Masters event. If I can ask Wayne to join me first. Well done again, Wayne. Congratulations, mate. You're down to the final. Big game. Yeah, and no, it's always going to be a big game against Jerry. Oh, it feels like a local derby, a man from Bloemfontein, who we learned our balls say, oh, best man must win on the day. Fantastic. And the Pairs final, you're going to be joining them on the plane? I'd like to. <laughs> oh, it's going to be tough. Do you think Jerry might have something to say about that? Look, he'll always have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> too true. Wayne, good bowling, mate. All the very best. Thanks a lot, Taylor. Jerry. Welcome, Jerry. Yeah, thanks, Lofty. Yeah. Thank you. Well, man, I know last year you were on the commentary team. This year you've actually got back on the green again. Um, two to four. Jerry's involved again. Nothing changes. Well, I don't know about two to four. You know, we had a lunchtime booking on our flights, so we didn't have ma massive expectations this weekend. So, um, but yeah, I think the set's format, um, you know, anyone can win. And it's been quite exciting. And... Um, that's probably suited me. Yeah, fantastic, Jerry, mm. and I'm um, sure we're in for a great game. I see you've got your uh, your mate there, Greg E. Coach, in the stand. How many sets has he ordered? Yeah, I guess. No, yeah. More, no more sets? He hasn't ordered another couple of sets? No, his wife has banned me from setting, this, setting <laughs> another set. Yeah. Jerry, great bowling, mate. Yeah, thank you great very much. final, thank eh? You. Thank you. Over to Johan and Nick in the commentary box. Jerry Baker. They'll be shooting it out for 12,000 Rand prize money, uh, playing uh, qualifying for the World Indoor Singles Championships early next year, January. Uh, air tickets, as previously said, return. All visas paid, three nights accommodation, blast at Potter's Resort. And then uh, to add on to that, a minimum of 700 pounds for the first round loser. This game is a best of three sets, each set uh, consisting of 11 ends. It's been extended by two. What's your thoughts on the early, uh, on, on the game, Nicky? Yeah, afternoon, Johan. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's two different type of players. Uh, Jerry being a, you know, a master, um, a subtle drawer, you know, green management, where we've got uh, Wayne, who's a slightly more aggressive player. So yeah, I'm looking looking forward to it. I think it'll I think it, the game will go up in, in roundabouts. I think it's who dominates the white early doors. As we watch uh, Wayne open, uh, just a Set little bit tea, zealous yeah. on the white. So just a question from Adam Zarts: Who won the final? Is that the pairs final you're referring to? It would have gone to the Bolan team of. Um, Stoffel Lomprecht and Fred Boerter just answering your question. It was great to have Jason in the in the commentators box, Johan. Yeah, he was absolutely marvellous, you know. Um, one of the best in the game. Um, he's always going to be good and uh, that's why we called him in. Yeah. Uh, Jerry settled nicely, opened up with half a metre behind. So, uh, Jerry playing with uh, arrows. And uh, Wayne playing with uh, Drake's Drake's Pride, so a little bit of a shootout there between the two manufacturers, getting good coverage. Not surprising to see Jerry on the on his forehand on the ditch side. It's probably a more accurate hand, Nicky. A more a more consistent hand through the weekend. That, you know, of us being watching, you know, the no doubt. Side that Wayne starts, you know, you've got to be so accurate on that line. Um, I wonder if the, the speed, I think the speed's starting to pick up again after the you know, early morning slowness from the rain from the previous night. I think the green's starting to get to a, a premium speed again. 
you know, it's probably up to about 15 um, or so. Oh, well, good recovery from Wayne. Do you want a first touch of the game? Let's just see how the players adapt. You know, they've had quite a quite a bit of a break since lunch. Maybe they're still a little bit stiff. Just need to get uh, get the muscles warmed up again. Uh, have you noticed Jerry's always playing to a good line on that hand? Eh? He really misses his line. Absolutely, Nicky. Wayne just con consolidate the, the position. Yeah. Little grimace there, maybe. He doesn't like it. Let's see. Can he get back? You see, there's that hand. If you just go that fraction wide, doesn't come back. You have very good weight. Oh, listen, we all know um, Wayne York is a fighter. Uh, he's, he's a bulldog. He's yeah. not going to just lay down to no. Jerry Baker. Jerry is uh, hunting here. Is he going to get a piece of the ball? Yep. Indeed. Yes. Oh, that's a great shot. Appreciative crowd being happy with that. Good round of applause. Good start from Jerry. Early doors two. Um, you know, Wayne, is, he's an old campaigner. You know, he was a good hockey player. You know, he's got the competitive spirit. So he, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I think there's going to be some top, go top balls played at crucial times. A bit of drama out there. Yes. Yeah. No, we certainly hope so. We've got a nice crowd. Um, yeah. Lovely sunny afternoon. Yeah, enjoyed the pairs final. Fred and uh, I'm so happy for the boys. Combined well, you know, you were having a, a chat there to the, the post match with uh, Stoffel, and he had tears in his eyes. Yeah. That's and that's yeah, what that's the PBA. What it's all about. That's what the PBA wants to do. He wants to give players that opportunity that might not get an opportunity. As I said, it's uh, it's all about dreams, um, and my oh my has that been filled. Wayne Roberts, fantastic. Thanks for the message there. Wishing both players all the best. Hopefully we can see you here next year, Wayne. Um, you know, we also have to take into consideration there's ranking points. I think after after this week's performance, I think Warren Stain's gone top of the lot. So. Yeah. Wayne, don't do uh, Alex Marshall. You need to get back here and get your points yeah. <laughs> going. We don't want to, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to slip. Going through, maybe just again. That's what we can expect from Wayne York. Yep. He's, uh, he's a different type of player. Yep. He's attacking the white, you know, uncanny, you know. Will he draw? Will he drive? You know, it's always good. And I think that's going to make the difference here this afternoon, Nicky. When he plays those shots, they yep. they need to come off. Yes. Um, yes. A couple of slips here and there, and um, you know, Yeah. Could be staring down the barrel. Nice start early. Early Jerry is looking uh, settled again. I mean, in his semi-final, he settled very well against Warren, and then and then Warren got back into the st you know into the set. Jerry trying to you know force the pace early on. Wayne looking good here as he get half forward out for the shot. Yeah. Well done, Wayne. Okay. Knowledgeable crowd, uh, appreciating good shots. Jerry staying on his. Uh Backhand. Backhand, yeah, staying on that on that truer swinging hand. A little touch on the white will just uh, tighten up the head. Uh, he's not far out, you want. Looking for a piece of the jack. jack. Oh, uh, not a bad ball, but not finished badly. I'm sure Wayne will be playing to turn. Playing to turn is dropping inside to maybe trail the white, just over the draw. What do you think? Or do you think he'll change? Let's see what Derek Keeley, the marker, says. He's having a good look. Up. Uh, so he's measure. going to measure. In, in, in Wayne's favour. I think he favours Wayne. So, yeah, Wayne, I think, as we said, would stay on the backhand. Play the turn is. One roll, make sure. If he's inside, just trailing the white. Good way. If he slips, he's got to slip through to the back. Back, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's not far out. Oh, he's, going, he's going through. He's, he's playing, it's a good, it's a good bowl. Very good bowl. Splits those three balls, yeah. uh, Nicky. Yeah. Jerry will just, just correct the weight, keep the good line, correct the weight, the little trail. Could make one or two. Or he draws it clean. So we can he stay up? Uh, yeah, I think he's he can. He's got the weight too. Oh, he he's can. played a... Oh, oh. oh, it's very close. Let's see what Derek says. Derek's having a good look. If it was a measure just now, it might be shot. 
Indicate that it's that it's that's Wayne, uh, Wayne, it's Wayne shot there, but he's uh, he's called Wayne down. That's unusual for a market. I could be to risk it. Yeah. Uh, Wayne now uh, beating Colleen in the semi in uh, in a tiebreaker, uh, two 0 on the ends. Uh, yeah. So he's like I said, you know, Wayne's been around the block. He understands, so oh, he's, de he's declared, he's declared Probably his wood. Yeah. He's not going to play his other one, okay. And a bit of a... Jay just stalking it, looking, looking, looking. What he, will he get the marker to, will he get Derek early on his knees? <laughs> I think he's called for the measure. Or oh, is Wayne going to go play? Yeah, a good look there. Oh, looks like Wayne's going to play his wood. Okay. A little early banter between between the two. He's changing to the forehand. It'll be interesting to see if he's if he's read the weight on that forehand. Very. Neat, compact action, Wayne Walker. Not much body movement. Oh, I, think, uh, I don't think he was trying too yeah, hard there, Nicky. So. No, I think he declared a jump. He's, he's conceded the one. Yeah, and I think uh, Wayne was trying too hard. <laughs> a little bit of Jerry in banter might have set him up. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Uh, he was holding shot. So, mate, I think you better you play your ball. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hoping that he would uh, maybe be a yard heavy, slashing the white to his two. <laughs> but what, like we said, Wayne is so old campaigner. Wayne throwing a shorter length jack. Probably three meters, three dots. Umpire. Calling an umpire. Right for the uh, non bowlers out there that are watching, um, minimum of 23 meters is required. And uh, she's indicated that it's almost a meter short. short yeah. Bit of an error there from Wayne, uh, giving the initiative back to Jerry. And I think earlier in the week we were chatting about how important the white is. Jerry's throwing it to the, the sort of length that he likes playing. Yeah. Um, T to maps T. Maps slightly up, maybe a yard, maybe a foot yeah. or so, to the two meter mark. Playing that longer length that he's, he's, really, he's really settled on that length, hasn't he? Uh, Wayne, uh, about five, five feet short. Letting Jerry in. There we go. Let's, let's go. I mean, you see there, you can see the difference with him losing the white. You, know, you wanted to play the shorter length, Jerry quickly changing it to the longer, longer distance, and opening up with a fairly good one. I think Jerry, in all honesty, will be happy to see uh, Wayne on his forehand going yep. down. Yeah. Yep. Wayne sticking there. I thought he might have changed, but he's he's confident enough to drop it inside of his. Um, a better line, I think. <coughs> Can he, can he get round and down? All on the weight now, Nicky. Yeah, not far out. Not far out, his weight wasn't bad. Very good effort. Checking maybe a foot or so. <coughs> Early advantage, Jerry. Yeah, got it on a good line again. You know, watch this come all the way back. If he's got the weight, he'll be close. Uh, it's looking, looking good. Look at that swing, eh? coming back beautifully. 
Line, line the too two. happy about that, Jerry. I wonder if uh, Wayne will play a little trundling weight on his forehand. No, I think he's changed to the backhand. Going to see if he can settle on this, see if he can get that swing going. Yeah. It's on a fair track here, Nick. Fair track, all on weight. Can he get a little ride? Nope, he's going to just find the gap. Very good effort. Yeah, and a swing in. That hand's definitely getting wider. So I think maybe a bit later we might see it coming back at 90 degree angles. I think Jerry seems a bit tight. Oh, he's got lots of weight. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, he stayed with it. Let me try to just cover the back. Wayne will fancy his chances of doing the shot here. There's, yeah, there's a bit more room. He's got a, a meter to beat. The thing is, he's got to go on the wide line, and you know he's got to get the weight. So, and the wider you go, the more you have to give a little bit of push. Let's see, if he's, does he like it? The crowd, there's a murmur in the crowd. Is he up? Is he up? Is he up? He's up, but he's just inside. He might fall off for a shot. Good effort for a shot. So one, oh yeah, that's the shot. He's yeah, drawn it. He's drawn it. it fell off. Mark has indicated Great. Wayne York. So can Jerry respond? He's given it enough air. Has he? I think he has. Yes, he has. Oh, well, well, played Jerry Baker. Yeah, good. Nice start to the game. Um, three, one, two, Jerry after three. Boys feeling themselves out, you know, just like a boxing match, a little tap tap here. <laughs> See who's going to, you know, who's going to blink first. Jerry sticking to his lamp. You see the importance again of that white. Yeah. Jerry going to float long. Appreciative crowd in. Nice, nice to see. crowd, Dicky. Nice to see a lot of people. And, yeah. Including all the players. Yeah, Most yeah, of the, the players nice. that actually participated yeah. have stayed uh, to watch the final. Which is great to see. They respected the tournament, which is fantastic. Has been a one, has been a wonderful tournament again, ho hosted by Fairtree Investments. Wonderful sponsors. Come on, guys, let's light up that live chat. Let's get chatting. Come on, give us your comments, give us your viewpoints, ask your questions. Again, Jerry, yeah, open up the on, on the right line. Always, always coming back to the centre point. Wayne sticking to the slightly tighter hand. Not a, it's a fair line. It's all on his weight. All on his weight. I think he's just going to pull up a metre short. No, just, just under a metre. I'm just interested to see if Jerry now stays on that hand. Yeah, Derek likes it. No, he? he's turned. He's turned. He's changed. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to turn Wayne ever so, ever closer. Is it just slightly inside? Not bad. Derek Keeley has shown measure. <coughs> Wayne. Focused. Steady. Yeah, love the action. Just gets him out the hand so smoothly. It's all arm, little movement of the head, little movement of the body. I think he's close here. He's got a very good line. And his weight is very good. I appreciate that. It's a little bit of room for Jerry. Which one? Yours? Asking his, his... Yours is about so far behind. Asking him where his, his last would finish so he can just get a measurement on his weight. I think that's a fair that's a fair line for Jerry. That's all on the weight, you want? All on the weight. Okay. He's slightly under on the weight. Still under, still under, still under. Still under. He's turned him in for two. Bit of a groan in the crowd. His weight wasn't bad, John. I think his line was just slightly in under. Wayne will just play exactly the same. Try getting another one close. Give something for Jerry nice to beat. Nice opportunity for him. <laughs> That's a good line. All on the weight now. Yeah. 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 Can he drop? Can you drop to stop? He has, you know. Yeah, yeah the crowd like it. Yeah, well played. Line three. 
The first big question asked of Jerry in the final. Can he respond? He's talking it. He's talking it. What's going on? What do you know? And the crowd are telling me that he just, just inside her. But unlucky. What did somebody note today? Just her weight was superb. Just, uh, just away, yeah. Uh, under the line, you know. And if you go slightly wider, you, you may have hung. Good chance here for Wayne to draw another. To get, uh, get four. Four. Uh, take a five um, free lead. lead yeah, and, and get the white back to his limb. He's not far out. Oh, he's, he's close. No, he's well played. Jerry she's acknowledging not. a good shot. Yeah, crowd acknowledging it. Yeah. First, first blow in the final to Wayne. Got the four. I said he's a fighter, yeah. Nicky. Yeah. He, you know, Jerry gave him, gave him half, half, a, half a door there, and he, he took full advantage. He got it on the right line. Weight was good. Yeah. Oh, has Jerry gone for a little walk? Looks as though Jerry might have just gone to the toilet just to maybe just reset. Last thing will give Wayne a bit of confidence. Yeah. No doubt. Tim settles in early. So, yeah, let's so just wait for Jerry to come back. There we go, there's Lara York. Lara York, Wayne's, Wayne's wife. Superb supporter of him. Here comes Jerry, comes back. Just, just a quick a little dock of each. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That's it. Just, to, yeah, just to reset the mind, get going again. Thrown a shortish length, stain on his hand. Oh, he gets it down, gets it out quite well. Yeah, gets it, you know, it's like I said, you know, very nice little. Nice low in his stance. Nice, yeah, low, not much body action, all arm action, which is good, and he's opened up a fairly good. Right, just, that's good. Yeah, So he just took off his jersey. Might be getting a bit warm out there. And um, yeah, uh, this is a much better line for Jerry. He's got the weight though, Nicky. Has he got the weight? Nope, he hasn't. It's not quite. Line is superb. Okay. Well, we'll be looking at trimming that line ever so slightly. Yep, and taking advantage, giving something for Jerry to beat. Yes, trimmed the line. What's the weight like? Not looking too bad, you know. Needs to settle there. Uh, settle. Oh. Running, oh, the reason why I held up here, ran through two meters. Well, let's see if Jerry can make the correction. I'm sure he will. It's Warren's wife in the background, Laura. Laura, yeah. Follows him everywhere. Very, very big supporter of his. Can Jerry run? As he, as he corrected, he has. Oh, that good is enough. the shot. Yeah, well done. Okay, Jerry. Well done, Jerry. I think Wayne just needs to correct that line ever so slightly. And, it, and there we've been talking about the hand. You've got to be precise on line. Because his first one just hung out with good weight. This looks like a better line. Can he get back? Yes. If the weight's right, he will get back. He will get back. That's a very good reply. Well done, one York. A great, great response from from Yorkie. Hi, Joan. Yeah, thanks very much for the for, for the comments. Yeah, we try and make it exciting. Hope Joel's doing well. Jerry, a bit under the weight. Like Wayne may, may have just settled a little bit better than uh, Jerry. He'll be looking at her, trailing their jack ever so slightly. Yeah, a little touch makes three. On the draw, if he, and if you don't 
he doesn't touch it he's, draw, he's lying too you see there we are on that wide wide line not getting back not getting back yeah, I need the one can Jerry make the correction got that one away a lot better a lot smoother but still a bit tight it's got great though he's got great so he's looking at sitting, <coughs> sitting in the wood for two but there it goes there it goes still got a line, chance little, little ride did he stay with it did he stay with it yes Yes. yes. Derek has turned away, so that maybe means to say that Jerry's got the shot. A little fortunate, but yeah. if you're up, you're up, and you're uh, up, that's that it. happens in bowls. Yeah. If you're not up, you're not getting the shots. Yeah. One to Jerry. Five four after five. Just remember the final is eleven hens. Um, I'm so, um, they haven't introduced the shot clock on the singles here, right? It's only when you go to Potter's Resort that they introduce the shot clock. Absolutely. Yeah. Only for the singles, though. Only yes. singles, yeah. Okay. There's a couple of. Thank heavens for that. Can yeah. you imagine a shot clock for uh, Stoffel? Oh, I uh, think he'll be he'll be pushing the limits. <laughs> and uh, can you imagine Stoffel partnering up with Joel Rebear, the two of them at, po at Potter's, Potter's with a stop clock? <laughs> <laughs> the end of that. I, think, I think there'll be a lot of non-woods played. <laughs> Jerry, after that shot, Jerry's opened up a very good, good opener on N6. What can what can Wayne do? There we go. Got a fan there for Wayne, Michael O'Connor saying keep it up, Wayne. So yeah. Oh he's a bit short, not quite getting that one away. Is it? Two meters. Advantage Jerry. Looks like Jerry's trying to force the speed a bit because he's very quick on the mat. You know the wood hasn't come to rest and he's already away. So is he trying to take um, uh, Wayne out of his rhythm? Yeah, Bob might force um, Wayne on his forehand. No, he's staying on his backhand. I think he's confident to get around it or just drop inside. He's back in, back in his ability, back in back in the line. Can he hold up? And that's the question. Can he hold up? He's got to get the white. Yeah. A little surprising with that, Nicky. In all honesty. Yeah, I think you know Jerry's last word is making him right. play at times. I know he hasn't played that for him coming down, but yeah. that was a good opportunity yeah. to settle and yeah. look for that line, feel the weight. Yeah, and then he's got about a meter or so the draw. He's got two to recover. Charlie Taylor, come on, Jerry. Saying. So yeah. Looks like the Joburg boys are loving Jerry. Jerry's got advantage on this end. Another another toucher. There's two touches on the Z. I think he's forcing Wayne to go on the swinger. Yeah, good weight from Jerry as we look at the action replay. My friend Clinton Roots saying that um, he's really enjoying this uh, coverage and it uh, makes him feel like playing again. Well, yes, yep. uh, Clinton, that's what it's all about. Yep. There we go. Why didn't Wayne play this one with his second? But he's giving himself a fair chance. He's giving oh. himself a fair chance. The crowd's appreciated. Awesome Rovant Wayne for all our Afrikaans viewers. What a good change. Why didn't he do it with his with his second as you noted? You know? What will Jerry do here? Let's have a look. He's thinking, he's thinking. Peter Harvey there in the background, the uh, previous pairs winner. Yeah. To support him, which is great to see. Will Jerry draw? Will Jerry draw over the weight maybe to try to sit the wood? No, he's going, so he's going to try to draw it back in his drawing ability. That's Jerry's strength. Has, has, has he pushed it? You know, I think he's under. Has he pushed it? Oh, he hasn't got it away. Okay. All right, lots of room here for Wayne to draw so, another. Yeah. And take a. Take a lead. Take a bit of a, a bit of a lead in the set, uh, you know. Take, uh, putting the pressure on early. As we're starting to get into into the middle of the set, is, is he up? Uh, I don't think he's got the weight, is Nicky. He up? Oh, there's a murmur in the crowd. A bit surprised to see him that short. But he got the shot. He got out of it. He was three down to, to one up. Brilliant. Takes a six-four shot okay. lead yep. after six. Yep. One
Yeah. So, sure, Wayne will go back to his length, uh, the shorter, the shorter length. There we go. People sitting comfortably in the shade, enjoying the bowls. Well, I'm having the great privilege of seeing the legendary Jerry Bacon Thank action. Yeah. It's great that Jerry has come to support the tournament, show show off his skills to the Cape Town public. It's always lovely to see, you know. Um, a very he's good, a, he's a very they, good ambassador for bowls. You know, he's always always got a kind word to say, always open to to discussion. Too professional, and I think he's enjoying Cape Town more and more as he comes down. Yeah. Previous years, he said, uh, "Take the mountain away, and what have you? What are you left with?" But I think that's changing that point of view. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Wayne. You know that hand is just for me, just just too tricky. It's uh, it's uh, it's demanding. You've yep. got to be spot on. Yep. And look uh, at him. Jerry's just got the luxury of throwing it out there, feeling his weight. Bowl's always going to come back. It's really surprising. I think uh, let's see how soon um, Wayne changes, and that bowl might just do that for him. Ah, you know, and look at Wayne. There he is, asking the question. Now look at his first one. It's perfect weight, but never came back. It's just yeah. slightly wide. No, it looks like, oh, he's changed. Yeah, he's changed, he's gone to the swinger. Yeah, giving, giving Jerry a little bit of a free ride there, although he's, you know, he must be, he's, he's, he's controlling the hand well because he's 6'4 up. You know, that tight to one, there's a good line for, for the, the oh, maybe the weight might just oh, cost him. Yeah. Um, uh, I, must, uh, I must ask uh, Wayne how he got the nickname of Blocky. Oh, our Blocky Jube, that's wonderful. Hey, Dean, Dean Reary, provincial player from Southern Free State. Hello, mate, how are you? Hey. Uh, Look at Jerry starting to put the pressure on. Messages from Louis Boerta, yeah. son of Fred Boerta. He must be ecstatic. Okay. Um, yes. Come on, Fred, buy your son a ticket, ticket. and off you go, pal. Let, uh, let enjoy Potters, is a wonder Potters Resort is a wonderful place. Wayne going back to his favoured hand. And he's uh, not far out, Johan. Not far out. Not far out. No. I think I know what the next shot of Wayne's going to be. Not a, not a bad result. Yeah. Not a bad result. He's opened. He's opened the head. I think we might be seeing the first drive of the match. But let's see. Wayne might just play more control. You know, drop inside of his, get the split. Let's see what Jerry does. Jerry might just try to drop on a foot, two foot in front on the line, which makes it more difficult. There we go. That's a very Yeah, that's a great ball, ball from Jerry. Yeah, just making, takes out the, the full run. Good lesson for a lot of players, amateurs out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, the obvious would have yeah. been to have played a back yeah. bowl, secure the back, yeah. but at this level, that's the better bowl. That's right, because it's leaving, it's going to wane strength off the drive. This shot, the whole weekend, we haven't seen one player have success with that type of weight. And again, there we can see he's no, it's holding, he goes inside. Very clever play by Jerry with his first wood. You know, uh, I'd be tempted to go to the back now. Uh, and Jerry don't like it, he did a bit of a mumble sorry. and a grumble. Balls up, sorry. Uh, yeah. But again, you know, I, I alluded to, to Jerry's uh, management, team management. Oh, well, how bad was it, Jerry? Is it in? It is in. another bowl. Well done, no, Jerry. He didn't like it when he left his hand. He had a bit of a grumble, but it's in. He got the free. Gets it back to 7-6 seven, up on the 7th. Yeah. yeah. So it's really nice. It's setting up for a, kind of setting up for a nice finish to the set. Message there from your friend Mervyn Lynn, Nicky. Ah, you may read it. <laughs> ah, that's my mate Mervyn, an Irishman. Yeah, I, I wonder if he's watching in Botswana, if he's at home with the family. Uh, long time friend. Thanks, Merv, for, for the compliments. You're never too shy. This, uh, this set is warming up. It's starting to warm up. I think we're going to see a couple of... We're going to see some blows now. I think we're going to see Jerry try to force, force the issue. Try to get a little lead going. Put the pressure on to Wayne. And he's opened up with a good one. Oh, he's off to a good start, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. No, Wayne, I think he's going to stick to his head. No, he's changed. He's changed. He must again, have moved you. Again, that ball's made him perhaps change. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. You know, just give it the grass, like you say, let it, and it'll come. And he's on a, a decent line, Jan. Got a bit of a chance. Done. I think he's played a good one, yeah. He's, he's sold a little. A one. Oh, no, he's done just that. That bar just made him think. Yeah, made him think. Look at that. He stuck it out there and it came back beautifully. Maybe just getting, uh, you know, Jerry will just, just play over the draw, you know. Little touch on the white. Oh, he's under the line, Jerry. Such good weight. Hey, Jerry. Uh, opening the door slightly there for uh, Wayne. Wayne will be looking for a slight trail. Yeah, or just sit uh, sit the backward of Jerry's, you know, yeah. just Prefer tightens up there. Preferably a little trail, yeah, Nicky. Yeah. Stick it around that Jack from Jerry. Stick it around the corner. Has he got the weight? Has he got the weight? Ah, oh, he's also just under it, eh? Going blow for blow here. If the door's slightly open for Jerry. Like I said, Jerry's forcing the pace, you know, very quick on the mat. I think, I think he's again under, under, uh, under uh, Nicky. I'll no be disappointed with that. One, yep. Nothing for short, mate. Yeah, there we go. He knows it better than us. Wayne, I, I think Wayne will make the correction again. He'll try, sit the back, trail it around the corner, hide the white, play to a blind white. That's what you try doing, balls. Keep that white ball moving. It's on a better line here. I think he's, I think he's playing. I think he's going to the back. Going to the back. He's he needs to play. run. Is he going to get back? Is he going to get that? It's not a bad wood. It covers uh, Jerry's wood on the on the right. Because Jerry was lying two seconds. I think Jerry might have been lining up to box the white or sit the wood. Jerry just, just on the draw again on a much better line. And looks like he's got a lot better weight. He's not far out here. Just yes. not going to get back. Oh, good effort. Good effort. I think that's what he was trying to try with his third. And just didn't quite get it out the hand. Wayne thinking about his next shot. Does he? Like a measure between those three. The fourth shot. He's asked the question if, if he turns Jerry's second shot out, does it bring his side ball in? You know, and if it doesn't, then it's just a draw. If it does, he might stick it out wide, try to turn it three rolls, try to get an advantage in the set. Yeah, it weight with his uh, good weight with his last ball, so he wants to correct that line. Similar sort of weight. Which he has. Which he has. Can he hang around? Can he hang around? Such good white, just under the line. Very good effort, Wayne. Very good effort. Just one, two, one. It equals the uh, set at uh, seven all after eight. Eight. Yep. And three ends to go. Oh, fire. Ah. Alan, it's Alan. Building up, Nikki. Yep, building up. No, it's all right. I was, didn't see what you were doing. I wonder what he was doing. Yeah. One red. Okay. One red, yeah. Oh, they are getting a bit excited because the uh, umpire jumped on the bank to pick up the mat to speed up play, which is very good. Derek thinking there was a wood lift. Ah, oh, Davy Eccles! He's on, he's on, he's on, Davy Eccles! How are you, my mates? Uh, Leeds playing, Wednesday playing this afternoon. Wishing you all the best. Oh, Davey, disappointed not to see you down here. Yeah. Claire came. Claire was here. So, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting change from Wayne. He's, he's playing Jerry's length. He's gone T to T. Matt's up, though, a little bit. No, same sort of length that Jerry's playing. So maybe he's conf confident in the length that Jerry's been playing and he's finding his weight. Yeah, he's staying on that forehand, though. Uh, yeah, it's like he's playing around the clock. Maybe the forehand's coming out smooth. I see there. A moment Very good to go. Drift. You missed that line slightly. He's gone. He's gone. You get a drift. You get a big drift. Open the advantage on N9 to Jerry. Can Jerry take full advantage? He's on a good line, Johan. All on weight. All on weight. He's not bad. He's not bad. Ah, just that meter. Just that meter. Come on, Wayne. He's just left the door ajar for you. And you can see Jerry in the background a little bit disappointed with that, knowing that he had a chance. Oh, he's in a far better line, line here. Yeah. Has he corrected the weight? Oh, he's still heavy. Yeah. Oh, and he's turned his oh. back on it. Ah, Jerry. Come on, Jerry. 
do you just slow down? He's just slowed down ever so slightly from the last two ends. Like I said, you know, he's, he's a very astute, very clever player. He tries to force issues, which is good, and he's made the correction. Can he settle? Can he settle? Oh, can't settle. Not their best end. Scratchy. Scratchy, yeah. That, I think uh, that that length that Wayne's played has, has got them both thinking. There we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, very good. He's on a decent line again. And his weight looks a lot better. Oh, he's his good, yeah, Nicky. His weight looks good, yeah. Yeah. Don't give a don't give a pro tier three goes at it. They'll make sure. I think Jerry must just draw close and then see how he can get the shot. Oh, I think he's tight, John. I think he's tight, pal. I think he's tight, but it's another second. It's another second. If Wayne don't get close, I think Jerry will be looking at that wood. And it also might just get Wayne to think a little bit. Now, Wayne Stain, Stain on his end. He's going to try to drop it inside. Just hi, afternoon, Philip. I'll answer your question now as we just watch um, Wayne deliver his fourth ball. Oh, he's played it well, Nicky. He's Nikki. played it very well. Yep, he's lying two. Lying two. I've oh, got no doubt, uh, Jerry, will be added with, it, with yep. having a, the best back bowl. Um, Philip Lancaster, the question was asked, do the winners take their sa same bowls? No, they don't. At uh, Potter's Resort, you play with a green bowl or a red bowl, which they will supply. All the suppliers are there with their sets of woods with different sizes. Yep. Big variety of, of bowls and sizes, um, all to choose from. So from, from a bowl's point of view, yep. it's uh, yep. certainly not a problem. I want to see if Jerry's going to change his hand maybe try box the white for one or sit the wood. We'll get one out. Um, uh, that's what I'll be playing. Yep, he's playing the trundling weight. Oh, but he's tight. He's tight. Can he get off? Nope, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, I like Jerry won't be happy with that end. No, uh, he you know, he, uh, he's but not his best. But indifferent, but he, you know, the, the champion is. He'll, he'll forget about it and he'll just focus on the next one. Very good. Wayne's taking a commanding 9-7 lead, um, forcing the issue. I think Jerry needs to score the next end to give him a chance. Absolutely, Nick. Yeah, there we go. Kevin Douglas joining, joining his partner, Peter Harvey, yeah, uh, the previous pair winners. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if Wayne will, will keep that length. <laughs> He's thrown a little bit shorter than what we had been playing. Yep. Thanks, Barry, for the nice compliments. You're 100% right. Talking Nets production, putting on a, a world-class production, makes you know it's really showcasing what lawn bowls is all about. Wayne sticking on that hand, on his hand, um, slightly under, but his weight's is he going to hang around? His weight's not bad. Fair opener, fair opener. I wonder if both players have just shown a little bit of respect. A little bit too much respect to one another's abilities, you know, not not one of them taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Um, I'm sure Jerry will, will do that just now. It's just He's been just struggling with his weight. His line's been superb. But he's just under bowling. Not quite top of his game at the moment, moment Nicky. Yeah. Tish Bryce uh, being in gross, playing every wood. Uh, Wayne changing his hand. Would you have changed your hand, Tish? A nice line, yeah, Nicky. He's it well, and uh, he's got good weight. weight. Yeah, he's come, he comes back to the centre point. And every time he's played that hand, he's played a, he's played a, re a very good one. Putting Jerry under pressure. Ah, silky smooth. Nicky, I'm surprised that he hasn't changed. Yeah, but you know he's he has he's got a nine seven lead, so why why change the momentum of the game? You know he's he's he's, he's not giving much for Jerry to play too, um, beating Jerry to the white. Uh, but every time he's changed, he's he's played a good one. Absolutely. Oh, he doesn't like that one. You can see he's a uh, little bit of a 
Like a fist pumping, maybe. Mine is not bad. You might just be questioning his weight. But his weight is very good. So why is he questioning it? Well played. Oh, look at that. Uh, good bad ball. Good, yeah, good bad ball. Will it, will it force Jerry into a bit of a drive? Maybe change the tactic, get it out, get it open? No, playing his forehand. Is he going to be playing trundling weight or is he going to be drawing? No, he's, I think he's playing his forehand with weight. And I think he's under, your I think he's under. I think he's under. Or just under. At the moment, uh, Wayne is lying set. Do you cover the two of Jerry's wood? Or get another one in there because both woods could, could go down and you could be freed up. Uh, interesting shot selection here for Wayne York. I don't think he'll be short. I think he'll just try and match the backward of Jerry's here. Oh, that's that's what he, he's got to do away with the danger. Oh, is he, oh, is he, oh, he's left it short. Oh, is he, has he left the door open for Jerry? Oh, Jerry's got a bit of a chance here. Oh, he's got a bit of a chance here. A little bit challenging shot. He's yeah. got, you know, Jerry's got to be good on the weight. Yeah. Can't afford to have no too difference. much weight. Yeah. You know, right, so fairly much. tricky hand. Yeah. Does, uh, he, does he try to trail it? Does he sit it? Does he look for both woods? Let's see if, let's see if the master can conjure up some baker magic. I've watched him over the years produce shot after shot. When he's talking it, he's on a much better line. He's on a, oh, he's not going to get down. He's not going to get down. Aye. So that's 11-7. Uh, so Jerry needs a four Full for a bill. And the way he's playing, it's going to be difficult. Keep those comments coming. Give us your thoughts on the first set. Let's see the support. I'm not seeing much support from the JBA boys. Come on, Maxi. Yeah, where's Maxi Hurwitz? Yeah, there we go. He's normally an avid follower. Come big Bobby Donnelly. Yeah, Wayne. I, 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 I was very surprised the last thing when he went when he went full length. Must be he must he's confident that he can match uh, Jerry's Jerry's length, so it makes it interesting. He's got. He's, uh, let's see if he can open up with a good one. Put the pressure on Jerry. He must feel pretty confident uh, in securing the set, and how comforting it is to secure it. Yeah. Um, you know, knowing that. Um, well, once the set's in the bag, yep. um, then you, you at least, at worst, you're into a tiebreaker. Yeah, and I mean, you're free, the, free to play your natural game. Absolutely, the pressure's yeah, on your opponent. opponent. Yeah, and, if, and he's, he's playing well, and he's, he's opening up with a very good one. Yeah, there, it drops. Oh, I thought he was better than that. On the better line, his weight was good. He's sticking to his hand. I thought maybe he might have just changed to see what the hand was doing. Maybe he's, he's confident in his ability, and he, as we know, he always is. Just un again, he's just under bold ever so slightly. I'm surprised that he, you know, he knows that he's dropping the first one short. Here, that he might attack the white. You now give him himself a feel on the white. Maybe he might see that in the second set. I think if uh, oh, he don't doesn't mind. Oh, he's under it. Is he, is he giving? Is he leaving do the door ajar for Jerry? Or is he going to hold to the white? He's got the white. Tad lucky. I'm going to be honest. Tad lucky. He's taken Jerry's front ball right Absolutely. out of play. Not too bad a result. Yeah. I think that just wraps up the set. It's going to be hard to get four from there. Jerry's under it. He's going to miss his. Can he miss his? Can he miss his? Ah. Uh, Leon Crawley giving Wayne a bit of a love there, saying keep it up, Wayne. Yeah. A lot of support for the underdog. Yeah, a bit of Yaku white man. If I may call him that. No, there's no underdogs here, both great <laughs> tier players. I think. You know what I mean, Nicky. Two down. Oh. That's not over really there. Lara giving him, giving Wayne the gears a little bit, saying come on, you've got to beat those two. What's, what's Derek Keeley saying? If like? that's two, uh, even though there's lots of brim, yep. uh, if Jerry draws another one here, uh, certainly putting the pressure on Wayne. Certainly got better weight here, yeah, he's Nicky. Close, yeah. oh, he's, he's good, yeah. He's very good, yeah. Wow. Crowd appreciating a good shot. 
one GP. Now. Yeah. Yeah. He's given it, it with Wayne dropping his third with that short, he's just given Jerry half a chance. If we don't get close here, Jerry could sit the the two woods on the side balls here. Yeah, for four. But I'm sure Wayne in his experience will be close. And he has oh, he looks good, Nicky. He's played a very good shot here. That's a wonderful response. Beaten, has he beat the front? Yeah, Joe's beaten the that front one. Shot. That second. That second shot. I think we can say that Jerry has to play a, a miracle shot here. Can't see it, Nicky. Yeah. That last ball has just taken away that, that second shot of um, playing onto those side balls. So, Jerry, I think just playing just to get the rhythm, get getting ready for the second set. First set, Dwayne York. Well there done, we Wayne. Go. Well done. One to the man from the free state. Right, yeah, and that's the first set. Okay, Nikki Rustling, I'm greeting you. I'll see you after the game. Jan's going to do the post-match, and I'm going to be joined by Trish The one Young. and only Trish Young. <laughs> Young. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see home the final. Yep, first set, Wayne. There we go. And Bannam's going, going crazy there. Let's go, Blockies. Some free state coming to the fore. Afternoon, Nick. What an exciting game. Yeah, uh, Wayne taking advantage there of the, of the first set, getting the first set. You know, it pressures off him a little bit. He can play his natural game now. But Jerry just struggled with his weight ever so slightly. You know, it just wasn't as consistent as what he has been and can be. And I think we'll see Jerry up his game tenfold in the second set. Oh, he's close with this one. And what's surprising is that he's taken um, a word of advice from you, and he's changed his hand. Yeah, obviously the yeah. telepathy has got through. through. Yeah. I think Either he's that or Laura had a quiet word. Dean Riri, what speed is the green running at? Um, early in the week it was running close on to 16 seconds. It must be touching 14. Great reply by Jerry. 14, there we go. So 14 seconds, good good pace for, for a good match. There we go, Jerry replying straight away with a good opening bowl in the second set. It is four o'clock, so maybe the tide's coming in a bit. Yeah, I might start, the pace might drop off ever so slightly. Marku Jakobs giving some advice to Laura to keep calm. <laughs> she looks very calm to me. Yeah, encouraging her man. I've been watching her and looking for some sort of expression, but she's very stoic. Wayne just changing his hand and losing his weight a little bit there. I think he was just trying to reach, turn his ball. Jerry. Jerry oh, Jerry's on a track. Like, well played, Jerry. Played yes, Jerry. Jerry. I wonder if we'll see a bit of a, a Yorkie smash coming. Or will, he, or will he stick to the draw? He's thinking, he's pensive, he's thinking. You know, if I, if I was him, I would maybe if this one just try to turn turn his wood his wood coming in there yeah no, give him a second a definite second. second yeah and if he drops inside he trails the white or will he go the more no he's yeah, listened he's gonna, to you he's gonna play i think he's just gonna just try to drop onto his turn it two rolls good good game management will it bend can he well it's all on the weight trish i, I think, don't know it's not yeah, bending i think the weight is good the weight is good the weight oh. is, what do you say trish oh, what did i it's say like, oh. oh the crowd love that too. great draw yeah that's i think uh, a wayne yorkov yesterday would have been firing at that and he uh got a touch up. he got a played a played a, a great okay. draw I'll very good weight jerry looking thinking pensive no toucher. The no. toucher was left on. Oh, Jerry. naughty boy. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry will pick up on that and that will have a little word to Wayne. Maybe try to upset him a little bit, you know, in, in, the, in a nice way. That's what legal. I think it'll take a long, well, uh, something to do upset Wayne. He's nice, nice message from Gerard Jacobs shouting for Jerry. I think, there we go. Jerry just going to play over the draw. 
He's going to try to draw it. Touch the white foot too. All on weight, yeah? He's, he's coming back quickly. No, oh, the weight's not there. He's under it again. He's under that weight. He's just not quite settled on his weight. As both players take a slow walk up. Oh, nice to hear from Tish Bryce. Hi, Tish. How are you doing? Tish is an old Mowbray member. And she's now with Amonis. Playing good balls for Borland. Marius Kuning giving Wayne a thumbs up, saying keep it going. Played a very good shot of his last as he takes a slow walk, ponders what, what shot he's going to play. Yeah, going to stay. I think he's still going to try to play to turn his wood on the draw. He's just played a very good one. He's got the best back, so it's in his advantage ever so slightly. I think he's... Oh, well, I don't know. He's not he's sure. Not, he's Ooh, trying. He's, he's trying. He's got a drop. Yeah. Oh. oh! I think he sold two. I think he could have possibly sold two. But what does Derek say? But Can you see what Derek's saying? I can't see Derek. What's Derek? Derek's got some red. Well, he's still got one to green. One to green, that's Jerry. So he has sold the shot. He's asking if it's definitely one or is it definitely two. But unlucky Wayne, but you know, narrow woods. Uh, he played the shot. We won't mention the pairs. He did something similar. I had a quick chat to him this morning about that one. Okay. Old Jerry giving uh, Wayne the. the Yes, they saying, oh, you haven't got good eyes. So nice message from Sharon Glenn in JBA. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Manager of the gold medal ladies side at Inter District. Hi, Sharon. How's it? Great. Sharon and I were teammates on a couple of South African yeah. teams. Accomplished bowling in her own right mm. in the day. She was a good player. Good to see her. Good to see that she's passing all her knowledge on into the Inter District. Nice. Jerry's changing his hand, looking... I wish uh, Wayne makes a better, better door than window. Let's see what Jerry's going to do. And he's oh, played a very good oh, ball. He's turned definitely, over for definitely two. Definitely for two. And the crowd are appreciative of that. You can hear the roar going up. <laughs> a little bit of fun there between the two players. Bringing a smile to Jerry's face. That's Wayne. That's, he's got that good, good sense of humour. Played in good spirit the final. But again... No inch given, no inch asked. You have to work hard for your shots here. Great opening end to the second set. Jerry making two. He has to make the plays now. He's lost the first set. He's going, he's going again on that longer length. I thought he might have dropped it a bit shorter. He's been struggling on that length. But maybe, maybe he's getting his rhythm. Maybe he's confident. Maybe getting the rhythm back. Taking a bit more longer on the mat. Before he was very quick. He's on a good line. Hey, again, has he? Has he? Has he? Has he? Has he? Has he? About a meter short, yeah. It's given Wayne plenty of room. Yeah. Wayne's playing the ditch hand. Yeah, he's changed that ditch hand. Yeah. I think he's uh, starting to realize that maybe might be the better hand. He can change. It's not a bad line for his ball. It's all on the weight. All on the weight. Oh, just a little heavy, but rather there than in front. Uh, one of our young pro chair players, Jackie van Rensburg, if, any, oh, if anybody can, really. the Baker man can. Of course, remember Jackie played that t incredible shot last end of the inter-district to win the gold medal. Yeah. Warwick Smith uh, complimenting the shot that Jerry played the last end, getting it going. Jackie did very well at the African States. Jerry up, corrected the line, still just about a meter short, just over, just under a meter. Oh, and there's Bevan Capes. Yeah, Bevan Capes. Cheering Jerry on. Oh, Wayne, still got a meter to beat. Uh, slips Jerry's wood either side, it'll get the shot with good weight. His first one just trundled through a little bit. That's uh, on a good line again. Oh, is he going to find Jerry's ball? Oh, I think he's going to get it square. Yep. 
I had quite a bit of weight, Trish. You know, mm. we missed that. He might have been going but he's a bit. He's giving himself options now. Just has to play up to that bowl of Jerry's. Yeah, that's right. Or if he turns his two rolls. Yeah. Jerry changing to the to the slightly trickier hand. Might not be so tricky for a left-hander. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, lines are slightly different. Let's see if this gets back. Oh, just his no. weight, I think, is letting him down. No, his weight's not bad, yeah. Yeah, not a bad wood. Just, just under a metre. Could it be second shot? Was Derek saying that? No movement from Derek. Yeah. Wayne rolls his... He's with two rolls, he gets shot. If he slips, he gets shot. If he sits on. So the percentages are there. He's, he's on a good track again. I think he will get back from there. He's, he's, on run, the he's running after it. He's on he the likes charge. it. He he's likes on it. The charge. Can he hang around? Can he hang around? Oh, 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 sit there. oh I like it. So I like that one. Let's see what Derek Keeley says. One to Rick. One to Wayne. What a good shot, Wayne York. What a good shot, Wayne York. Good shot, please. Third shot. Jerry asking who's got third shot. Uh, fancy. Wayne. Wayne, what about the back mm. one? Yeah, no. he likes that. Hmm. What's Jerry got in mind, I wonder? I wonder if he'll just go on the draw. Will he try to hold it up inside to the wood? I think he'll go, go for the draw. I haven't got a wood to recover. Oh, he's looking at his foot, knowing he's... Yeah. Oh, he went for the ball. And he just on that, that hand. No, he, he that looked way. at his foot. He knew he didn't, he didn't get, get it away, away nicely. Thing. So now, now here's a little quandary for, for, for Wayne. Does he play to turn Jerry's for three or does he draw for two? Message from Clinton York. Roots, go Yorkie. So let's see, you know, well, has he, he's got the first set. I think, like I said, he can play with freedom. So if he sits that way, he, he gets a nice little three, gets him gain in the set. We've got Tish talking to Trish. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. She's Letitia. I'm ah, Patricia. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, looks like. Um, oh, he's not wide. He's definitely. But he's got his bowl coming in. Uh, he's got the weight. I think he's oh, playing to oh, sit. Oh, Is he going to oh, get oh, a little ride? Oh, 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 oh. But a good spot. Yeah, he's definitely playing to sit, Jerry's wood. Um, so it's so uh, one. Jerry's having a look. I'm just making sure. Derek Keeley hasn't walked away just yet. Jerry using the fingers. Let's see if his fingers. No, he's conceded. One to Wayne. Two one after three. After two, I apologize. Yep, two one after two. Early door, second set. Stay on. Is it going to stay on? Is it going to stay on? Yes, that oh. just, just stayed on. So we're T to T. T to T, yeah. He, he played that tactic midway through the first first set and it's worked very well for him. Oh, he's gone back to his. And he's, and he's playing and he's changed his hand to, to the three in hand. So I think he's, he's realised that that's the more truer hand. Yeah, funny enough, the other day when Jerry was playing that swinger, he mm -hmm. wasn't finding it. Yes. And he then changed to the inside hand. Yes. Okay. We Open. had a big discussion about that. Opening up with a fair one, maybe looking at half a metre. Go on, guys, let's get the live chat going. Let's get some banter going amongst the Southern Free State and the JBA boys, lads. 807 people watching. Come on, let's see if we can get it up to 1,000. Let your friends know that there's some cracking bowls. Jerry's now starting to find his range. He opened up with a good one last end, and he's opened up oh, with a very good great one. Ball. one. He's starting to ping that white. Has the tactic has is the tactic working for Wayne? He won the first set playing the trickier hand. He's changed the sand and he's two one down. Well is, I can see him playing to put the yellow in the box. Is there a momentum shift? I think he will draw first, get another one close, and if Jerry gets close then I think we might see a little bit more aggressive balls coming through from York. Oh it's coming down nicely. Has he got is the it, weight? Is he up? He's not up. He's oh. not up. So is there a momentum shift? Has Wayne maybe made you know, he was controlling the game quite nicely, playing the tricky hand. Is Jerry up? Is Jerry up? Yep, he's inside. Now he just has to. He's going to swing away, I think. Yeah, but he's good enough for two. He's lying two. What uh, Wayne will do here? Hmm, he's got options. Yeah, will he just fade in? Ooh. Is he going on the drive? No, he's getting 
to his draw stance. Is he going to just try fade inside of his? He's on a good line again. He's on a good line. He just has to miss his short. He's week. missed it and he's coming on. Uh, uh, can he hang Has around? he got enough to find the ball? Can he hang around? Oh. oh very good second. Yep, excellent second. Very good recovery from, from Wayne. Third wood, getting him out of a little bit of a little bit of trouble. Just dropped there's the re uh, there we go. Jerry's on his wood's coming down. Oh I think he's looking good. What's his last meter like? Yes, he's done it. He's done it. Oh, yep. well just played. snuck his nose in front. Well played. <laughs> far there. I wonder if uh, Yorkie will have a little trundle looking to box the white. Swing well, guard gets both woods. Maybe a little over the weight. Yeah. yeah. Just to take it through. through. Yeah. Let's we'll see. find the ball. I think he'll be reaching the ditch. Or, or is it? Oh, oh he's go. going. He's going more than a trundle. And I think he's not far out. Trichard. Oh. Oh. He hadn't caught that ball. I think he would have had it. Advantage, Jerry. Oh, draw set. for three. Can he make? Can Can he take advantage? He's lying the two. I was wondering when. Uh, I wonder when the fiery redhead was going to have a little, a little go. That was controlled. Wait for him. Didn't look very controlled to me. Oh, it was controlled. I tell you, you can swing it, and Jerry oh, has yes. taken full yeah. advantage. Well, well done, play. Jerry. Crowd is very appreciative of the wonderful three shots Jerry's drawn. Taking a taking command of the second set, five one. I oh, and there's Stoffel enjoying a glass of wine. Oh, uh, rightly so. Sitting next to Pam, Alan's wife. Well done, Jerry. Uh, can you hear the crowd shouting in the background? Well done, Jerry. We've got support here in Cape Town. Fans in Cape Town do like Jerry. They like they like a hero down here. Oh, pulling the mat. Yeah, uh, good change. I think, yeah, I think he's he's had to try to change something. I think he's starting to find his rhythm, starting to find his range. I wonder if, I wonder if Wayne will go back to, to that tighter hand. I would stick to Jerry's hand myself. Like I said, you know, first set he played that tight hand and he won the first set quite mm. convincingly. So, and, and you know, the momentum, has, the momentum has shifted ever so slightly. Jerry. Jerry getting back into the game, opening up with a very good one. Just trundling through, but half a meter behind. Yep, there hey, we go. Gone back to his hand. Gone back to his hand. I think it's a, a good ploy. He's, he, he looked comfortable on it. He looked settled. I'd take him a wood or two just to get back to, to the weight. His line was good, just overzealous on the weight. Lots of Jerry fans on the comments. Yeah, there we go. Jackie Pierce, is that Jackie Pierce from Lisa's Bowling Club? Scatter and Jerry, awesome Roman. There comes the Afrikaans. Yeah. Some of free state boys have gone quiet. Come on, boys, shout, shout your man home. He's playing well. He's looking good, looking confident. Where's Herzog? I haven't heard from Herzog Maring. For a while, yeah. Had a birthday recently. Can Wayne just correct the weight? His line was very good. And I think he's kept that good line. Ooh, not the weight. And Trisha's saying it's not the weight. Can he get down? Nope. Nope. He's corrected by a meter. Yeah, everyone, Grass is lovely. Yeah, everyone is correcting, so the next one should be close. There's Eugene Ferreira enjoying the ball. With got Denise Vermeulen. Co-commentator giving lots of good insights. Enjoyed, enjoyed his comments. Oh, Jerry trying again here. Jerry really taking, taking the second set by the oh. scruff of the neck, turning his wood closer, finishing Line well. three. Line three. Gonna, I was wondering when the Baker man was going to start stamping his authority on the game. Looks like he's going to do a big push. Can Wayne respond? Mm. On a good line again. He's pinged the line three times. Has he corrected that weight? I think he's close, Trish. He's not I far think away. He's close, Trish. And he's, he's played. Oh, a very he's played good. a pearl. Uh, at worst, he's got second. second yeah. Yeah, let's see what Derek says. He's going to put up a red lolly or a green lolly. Yeah, there we go. And if, and if you got a bit of a lily, it's a lorry, not a lolly. Yeah, having a good look. Jerry's waiting. He's going to commit to green. Uh -oh. One to Jerry. Jerry, he's committing to Jerry. Jerry's having a little trot down. 
It's good to see Jerry having a the slight stage of the tournament. Oh, Jerry's obviously not so sure that Derek got it right. Well, Derek hasn't been hasn't been wrong this weekend. I've watched him. Uh, he's been right every time. Got good eyes. Oh, Jerry will just draw. <laughs> oh, Greg, <laughs> Bevan Capes. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Bevan, never shy of a comment. <laughs> I'm sure he's not. <laughs> I think he's going to try buy another set of bowls. Or oh, Bevan saying, uh, please ensure Raggers is not coaching Jerry from the sidelines. What a great comment. I uh, love that banter. Jerry got the waiter. Well, I hope he doesn't oh, because he might flatten Wayne. Ooh, his weight wasn't bad at all. Wayne's got an opportunity and, here. You know, yeah, just you Rest know, that ball. You know, he, and you know, he sits the wood off. He trails the white into the ditch. Mm -hmm. He gets free. So... But nothing for narrow. I don't think Wayne will be short with this one. He won't, and I don't think he'll be narrow. There we go. Recovery, shouting for Wayne. Like it. The, 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 the bent is coming in. Lacquer, so in free state. Shirley Valentine. Come on, Jerry. Thanks, yeah. The players are putting on a bit of a spectacle. Enjoyed it. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I think it's too wide. Yeah, it's too wide. I thought he wouldn't be narrow. I thought he'd be rather err on the wide side. Not a bad play, but it, the set's starting to get away from him slightly. Possible 6 1 lead for Jerry. Yeah, he's just waiting for Wayne to, to concede. Oh, well, looks like the teeth are coming out. Jerry. That's the shot, yep, there we go. Jack's gone to Jerry's wood. Jerry taking a commanding 6-1 lead off the... Oh, I couldn't quite see the score. Off the, taking a 6-1 lead off the, four, off the four ends. A bit of work for Wayne to do. He's got the comfort of winning the first set. But, you know, he would try and win the second set. I don't think he wants to go into... A tie-break tie against Jerry. Jerry, because that's, you know, Jerry's mentally very, very strong in situations like that. I'm uh, loving the innovation that uh, Fairtree done. Put a couple of benches so you get ringed side, get right up to the action. It's great. I wish a couple more people would go sit there, you know, can pass Will the it give comments. the players an idea of what it would be like mm -hmm. at Potter's Resort? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We've got the huge... Audience on both sides yeah. of the ring. Guys talking, there's Johnny D'Souza in the middle there, having a good chat, making notes, watching, enjoying the balls. Jerry, yeah, oh, Jerry's. Oh, great start. Yeah, he's starting to ping that white. There we go. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for the lovely comment, compliment. Yep, and there's, there's, that is my old friend Jackie Pienz and Val Espelin. Yeah, how's it, guys? I haven't spoken to you in age. Well, as Yorkie turns his back on his Ooh, first ball. No. Yeah, way short. Yeah, okay. yeah. Jerry, just, just, you know, just starting to put his presence in the game now. Maybe, um, like I said, Yorkie's got the, um, got the luxury of having the first set. Oh, Jerry's trying here. Jerry, you're really starting oh. to pick the white. He's yes, here we to go. get his range. There we go. He's yes. it now. Really putting Wayne under and pressure. Up, yep. And you can see that. Look at that. Beautiful, great weight. Front toucher. Yeah, it 
It's for Wayne to respond, to get him back, gone back to his hand. It's not on a bad line. That's all on weight. Can he get back? He's getting back, has he? Is it going to come back in up? Come he's on, come on, not, come on. He's not far, Trisha. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Great, great response from Wayne York. Great response. Good recovery ball after his first one. The two bowls are basically Quite right, Wayne Roberts. So much Jerry is starting to, really. to come on strong, starting to force the pace. Thanks, Dean. I yep, hope you're enjoying it. Your man's playing really well, giving Jerry a good go. Looking good. Give it Van Rooyen, like having the support for Wayne, a lot of support for Ooh, I think Jerry's a little York. short on this one. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh. Uh, does it have nuisance value? Yeah, it just does tighten the head up, you know, making, making Yorkie think a bit. Or as the, oh, uh, as the Southern Free State boys say, making blockies think. I'd love to know how he got that nickname. Nobody's told us yet, have they? Yeah, I'm sure Dean will share the secret. Might be from his old hockey days. Just over the draw, if he turns his wood once, he might get the shot. If he drops hard, he... Is it coming down? Yeah, it's coming, coming down. Has down. He got coming the down. Coming down. Has he got the weight? <laughs> There's a murmur from the crowd. Has he oh. got the weight? He's got the line. <coughs> oh, Yorkie, Yorkie, Yorkie. Yorkie. What a line come. Make, it's making this very hard to get shot out of it. Face of determination, there's my friend, good friend of Wayne Yorks, Albert Torrey Sabati. There's Ferdy Alves, who he beat in the quarterfinals last year. Good to see them supporting. Carrot Van Milligan in the crowd. Western Province um, Executive, <laughs> President. President. Petulia taking a big interest there in the background. Making some notes. I think Jerry will be short here. I think he will be possibly game. What do you think Wayne's going to play now? Because he's kind of blocked himself. Yeah, and he's and he's front to his eyes of the blocker on the draft. Jerry's under the line. His weight's not bad, but he's under the Maybe line. Maybe he'll move this one away. Okay. Oh. oh, hello. He may have given Wayne the might have, door. Might have created a shot for Wayne. Maybe Wayne sticks on the hand he's been playing, but plays of trundling weight gets square, square. He's got to be careful. He doesn't take his own ball out. Yeah. Good go down two. Two. But he's six one down. Yeah, I think he's going to make something happen. There's Harriman with his glasses, enjoying the balls, been here all weekend, enjoying it, supporting Berkey. Playing his backhand, yeah. I wonder what weight he's going to play with. I'm sure he's going to be playing with two, three yards, looking for a little chop and lie in there. And I like to say trundling weight. Oh yes, ah, he's on the he's line. Not a mat. Oh, is he going to hold? Yeah, he's not. He's far holding. Out. He's holding. He's not far He's found out. the hole. Oh, he's got he's it. He's got it. Oh, oh don't tip. We're not horse races. What a great effort from Wayne. I thought he oh, was through. Good. Look at that. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, he was close. There we go, Charlie Taylor. There we go. Ah, there we go. So he's a bit of a karaoke singer, old Wayne York. There we go. So Mervyn, the prize money is four, 14 for the pairs, 14,000 for the pairs, and 12 for the singles. For the singles, the winner goes to to the World Indoors at Potter's Resort. The loser goes to the Scottish Masters, um, and, and it's all paid for. The, the PBA Association pays for the tickets. And Potters then puts up the players at Potters Resort. Jerry's definitely pinging the white. The pairs, they go to also to Potters Resort to go play in the World Indoor Pairs. Um, and that's and the pairs winners. If those who have only tuned in now were Stoffel Lomprak and Fred Werther from Borland. Wonderful final, playing in a good spirit. Went for went, went, uh, Potters. Um, Stoffel and Fred winning two, two sets to nil. Wayne oh. oh, definitely lost his way in the second set, but Jerry's really put the pressure on. 
Wayne's been chopping and changing his hand and, and not yeah. settling. Yeah, there we go. There's Greg Eggart and there's my friend Claire Pollard with her good wood shirt on. Grr, good winners, as they call themselves. Well, I think Wayne has to score this end. Um, yeah, most definitely. You know, Jerry's like taking from the line. Oh. Oh, no, oh, brilliant ball from Jerry. He's really getting into the rhythm. Here we go. Here comes the Yorkie drive. This ain't going to be short. This will be back in free state in no time. Let's see if, he, let's see if the accuracy's on, if the radar's on. There we go. He's not oh. far out. Trish, oh. Oh, he's just oh. missed it. <sighs> there we go. And there you can understand when I said when he played earlier a bit aggressive, it was more controlled. There was the full fiery Wayne York drive. Yeah, Scotty D, a earlier comment says, Jerry seems to have found a new appetite for the big time. Um, I'm going to agree with that. I think he's really enjoying his bowls. You know, I had a great interview on early in the week saying, you know, he's still got the fire in the belly. So, and, and he's, he's really enjoying it. So, yeah, uh, very well noted comment. Uh, Yorkie going back to the draw. Oh, he been. looks a little white to me. I Could be wrong on that hand. Uh, he's not too far out, Trish, you know. He's Hasn't got the weight. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh dear, he's making it very difficult. Ah, uh, yes, for himself. Eddie, Eddie Phillips looking on. looking on. Eddie's worked very hard as manager here at Durbanville. Yeah. Oh, another great yeah, Jerry, Jerry Ball. Ball. Yeah, he's definitely forcing the issues. I can only see another run from Wayne. Well, it's not really going to... Yeah, he can take, take three out, drop one, keeps him in the set. You know, keeps him fighting. I think he is going on the run. No, nope, he's going on the draw. He's going on the draw. He's going on the trundling weight. Oh, he's, oh, he's not just far out. He's better not, weight with this one. He's not far out. Can he get off? Off! Oh, he's got third shot out of it. Tad fortunate. Yes, Johan, it is interesting that neither player is settling on a length. Yeah, there we go. Oh, if he misses that, I think I think Wayne was very close to getting back to the white and maybe even getting the shot. I preferred his weight on that last shot. Yes, a lot more controlled, mm. yeah. I think, the, I think the previous one was just to get rid of a little bit of frustration. Jerry taking a 9-1 lead. 9-1 with five to play. I think Jerry should, should manage, should see it home from you. Yep, I think we'll be into a, another tie break. Might be heading to a tie break. Oh, can Yorkie? Get that fiery redhead uh, momentum going. Jerry changing lengths, not letting uh, Wayne settle. I think he's picked up on something. Like I've always, I've always admired Jerry's um, game play, his game management of the game. You know, very clever, very uh, astute player. Picks up on small things. He's just getting, uh, just getting Wayne out of his rhythm. Oh, good start! Great success, start. Success. And what's even interesting, with Jerry changing the length, he's backing his ability. He's backing his talent to, to make the necessary adjustments. It's actually a very good tactic, often in fours or pairs, to yeah. change the length and put yeah. your opponent under pressure. Yeah. Just more sl subtle If you're confident changes. enough to do yeah. it. Just subtle changes, you know, move the mat up half a metre. You know, Wayne, Wayne has... No, he's really battled. The set, yeah, he's mm. just lost his way ever so slightly. Hit, got the line, came back to the centre point. Oh, Jerry on a good road if he's yeah. got the weights. Yeah, he's oh, is it? Weight. I don't yeah. think so. so. Such a great road. road. Yeah. Yeah. Not making it easy for Wayne. Yeah, it's making him think. Wayne changing his hand. And that shows you that he's not confident in, in the rink at the moment, how it's playing. He's chopping and changing, so you know, losing his weight ever so slightly. But I think he's made if he a great, slips this ball. He's made a great correction and he has. Well played. Well Wayne. done. Well played. Good change. Lies the one. Maybe he's forgotten about the tide coming in. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Good ball. This one. Meet you in a bit. Yeah, Bevan. Um, yesterday the wind was up. It's not uh, the wind is not as bad as yesterday. So 
it's not really affecting the players so much. The greens are running at about 16 seconds and we had a bit of rain last night which slowed it down but it's starting to pick up pace but with the afternoon shadows coming across it might just slow the greens down by half a second. So yeah, changing conditions. It could have a little effect. So far in front. But we've been so lucky with the weather. Sure. I mean, on Saturday, Cheshire, it was so tanning <laughs> weather, wasn't it? Oh, it was wonderful. This morning, everybody's uh, wrapped up in blankets. There we go. Again, Wayne changing his hand. Oh, wow. He played such a good second ball, you know. He wasn't a good line. And there's plenty of room to, to beat Josh. Yeah, to beat to the beat side that, with, yeah. And now he's not giving himself a chance. He's like two, two, two and a half, three metres short. I think the pressure's getting to Wayne. <laughs> What a lovely comment, Philip. <laughs> Thanks, Philip. Now I forgot to enter. Um, I'll be honest, old age is catching up with me. I've enjoyed commentating and trying to keep you, you folk at home entertained. Um, yeah. Gee, you're on a tighter line. Oh, you? is he going is is to gonna miss that ball? Gonna miss, is he going to miss Yorkie? And is he going to hang around for the shot? Not, not quite. Not quite. Yeah. But I think one is not enough for Wayne. And it's, uh, again, he's gone back to his back end. He's really playing around. He's playing, he's playing around. Um, let's see, he's on a good line. He's got the weight and slip inside so, that bowl. Yeah, uh, I think he's good. You know, I don't think he's got the weight. Has he got the weight? Trisha? No. And he had, he the, had the line beautifully. He had, he had the line. So, yeah. A bit One surprised. Uh, you know, seasoned campaigner in a way. Is, he, is, it, is, is the scoreboard getting to him? You know, he's trying to force, trying to get back into it. Nine two with uh, f uh, four to play. Um, if he gets a, you know, if he scores the next two ends, it could be interesting. Doesn't have to score big. Maybe two multiples will be good. He needs at least a two on each end. My co-commentator Alan watching apprehensively. Got a smile. He's oh. oh what? Did you have a late night with Pam on the dawn's floor and the flea? Maybe <laughs> too much chicken curry at lunchtime. Time, yeah, which was really very nice. <laughs> Craig Grimmington, uh, again, what is the what is the prize, prize money? money? Yeah, again, it's twelve thousand rand for the singles winner. Um, and obviously the, 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 the winner goes to Potter's Resort to go play in the World uh, Singles uh, Championship. Uh, the runner-up, he gets, is it 7,000? I think it's 8,000. 8, 8, 8, our, our little list has disappeared, yeah, so I'm not so quite sure. The runner-up will get 8 and he will go to the Scottish Masters. Oh, good, good Jerry! To hear, good to hear from you, Craig. 14,000. Thanks, Jackie, for reminding us. 14,000 for the pairs, 12,000 for the singles. Jerry again, ah, you know, he went, he went on, on the swing hand, now he's changed back to, to his favourite forehand. He's on a good line, it's just now, has he got the weight? Jerry just playing a loose, one of a very few Oh, he's looking balls. very good here. And, uh, well done. And Yorkie taking full advantage. Oh, what a great ball. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Brett, yeah, Jerry... Gee, he has rattled the cage a bit on, on Yorkie. That's how has he responded here? I think he's it's going to bend away. Is he up? Is oh, he's he not up? even here. He's up. Ooh, he is. Half a chance for Wayne. Can he take it? Can he take it? Jerry left the door here. Door slightly open. You got Jerry in the background just practicing the follow through. It's not wide. It's definitely not wide. Yeah. Can oh, he is he not going to find that bowl of Jerry's? Can he beat? Can he's going to get lucky. He oh, he got lucky. Got a little slider off Jerry's narrow wood. Just starting out the head. Can Jerry? Can Jerry respond? He needs to respond. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to give Wayne half a chance. You give Yorkie half a chance, he'll take the full Monty. Oh, oh Jerry's not far out here. Can he get back down? Can he get oh, back down? Oh, he's trying. Can he get back down? Oh, and he's what drawn a great it. response. What, and the crowd are appreciative. That was a great draw. Awesome, Reuven, Jerry. And as my Welsh mate would say, Mike Herbert, he's played a bomb. Yeah. 
There we go. Yolandi's red saying, keep fighting. I think Jerry might have just closed the door ever so slightly. Oh, something's put Wayne off. off. He's got to reset. Yeah, he said she actually put the wood down, do a little walk around and then come in again. Thanks, Craig, for the, for the great comments. I think he's... If he's got a yard... Has of, he got his weight? Uh, if he's got a yard of weight, he's not far out. I think he's just under. He's just under. Uh, his weight was good, Trish. Mm. No, Jerry's settling for one, I think. Yeah, good afternoon, Piedri. Yeah, got to keep the chirps coming, pal. Good to hear from you. So, 10-2. 10-2. Eight the diff. Eight the diffs. Three to play. Wayne has to score. Got to score multiple. He has to score just one to keep it alive. Jerry sticking to his back end, to the right end is four, four on. Not quite the weight. Yep, just, just under the weight. Again, just leaving the door slightly ajar for Wayne. Wayne going back to his back end. Can he take advantage? Must be trying with this one. It's coming down the hill. Yep. He's opened up with a good Oh, uh, well done, Wayne. Of, uh, Jerry Slip. Now, back catcher, well played, Wayne. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, boy, you're quite right there. Skill on off on display has been very good. And great to see you watching. Jerry responding. Uh, the only way Jerry can. What a good response from Jerry. That's the, that's Half the a meter. Half a meter. Boy, I'm just asking a question. I thought Jerry was out. Staying on his backhand. Is he just under well, the he's, line? He's under the line and not, just missed out on the weight. Not bad weight. Yeah, just a little bit each. So much. Jay just asking how far short he is. Maybe he feels he can play just over the weight to find that bowl of, yeah. of Wayne's. Yeah. yeah, I set that for two. Oh. He's not far out, not far out. So oh, very good effort, Jerry. But he's given Wayne an option to, now. Yeah, to sit off the wood for yeah, two. For two. Yeah. As the, as the second set starts to wind down. Wayne's get... No, he's not on a bad line. It's all on the weight now. Is it going to bend? Weight's not bad, but he yeah. needs a bit more to find that ball and turn it. Yeah. And Jerry will just play a similar type of weight, just slides past this to lift the wood up for two, turns his two rolls. You I'm sure Jerry will be happy with second yeah. shots. So, yeah, even another good second, make, make the head tight. I'm sure he'll be half a yard through. Yeah, let's see what he does here. If he gets the shot here, he, he wins the second set. Is he just under, just under the well, line? We might turn. Oh, oh. Well, it's played a very good end. He was unlucky. Now what's Wayne going and to do? 
Ja. <laughs> What's the show you were trying to play? Is Derek a bit clear, keen there? <laughs> yeah. Wayne just asking the question, a bit of, bit of fun there, just, just uh, lifts the pressure ever so slightly. Still slightly white, can you get back oh, but it's off coming that back. line? Oh, it's coming back. Can you find that ball? Can you get back? Come off that off? one. And that oh. one. Oh, not quite. One keeps the set alive. He keeps the set alive. A slightly lesser ride, and he could have got the, the second shot. Okay. 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 No, it's for one. Jerry, just asking if it's two shots. I mean, the player's having a look. It's only one, it's considered one, one. So he's got to score, he's got to score three or more to keep the set alive. So the pressure's on, I think we're heading for a tiebreaker. Uh, my bet my dog's life on it. Bowls is a strange game, Trish. Well, we have seen some interesting situations where things have turned yeah. around, but somehow yeah. I can't let's see Jerry. Yeah, uh, he's, he's um, with his screen management. I think he will. You know, you'll see at home. Won't do anything too drastic. Let's see if Wayne can open up with a good one here. The live chat's gone a little bit quiet. Come on, let's get it going. Let's get the banter going again. It was good fun when you guys are chatting to us, chatting amongst yourselves. Got 879 Nine watching. watching. Wayne attacking the white. Oh, and what a great start! Yeah, nice start, Wayne. Let's have a look at the replay. Jerry on, on his, on his favourite side, on his forehand, maybe Ooh. just under the line. Oh. Let's have a look at the weight, not quite there. Here comes Jerry. Oh, great so looking ball. Great line. Oh, has he got the weight? Has he got the last? Oh, my goodness. The last five feet. Mm, mm. So has he just left the door slightly ajar again for Wayne? Can Wayne take advantage? Come on. Get it on a good line, Wayne. Give yourself a chance. Hunting the white, oh, slice, there was so slightly. Alan's just going to come join me. Uh, Trish is just taking a bit of a break. Okay. Yeah. Jimmy's really uh, played the second set while he really found his line, turned his short foot in for a shot. Yeah. But he's almost, he almost seems to have been playing better um, in the direction as we are looking away from us yes. than he has. He always seems to have been just that little bit short um, okay, this in this up. direction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just lost his and way. you know what I'm surprised at is that um, well, earlier on he pulled the mat up yeah. and he seemed to find it yeah. and he's then went, he went yeah. back to, uh, to a longer length. And that's the second set. Well done, Jerry. Yeah. Are we into the tiebreaker? We there we go again. Into the killing zone, as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit surprised on Wayne shot. there. I thought he might have been having a little look at the wood. Yeah. Um, he maybe, maybe he's uh, resigned himself to the fact that it was an improbable situation. Yeah, you make, in a situation like that, maybe take an opportunity to play like a running shot just in case you need to play it um, yeah. Yeah. In, the, in the tiebreaker. Yeah. You know, what's the point of just trundling a bowl down and uh, without yeah, purpose? Just, you yeah. know, you're wasting your time. Oh, yeah. So there we go. It's like Jerry won, won the toss and gave, gave the, the mat. mat. Yeah. So. Would you normally do that? 
I would have maybe kept it. Try and get the front toucher first up, you know, yeah. put the pressure on from, from the word go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you learned that through, through, through years of experience. Yeah. yeah, look, I mean, I think you get bowlers, top bowlers, singles players that, yeah. um, that uh, can go either way. Um, I always prefer to keep control of the mat yeah. and make my first ball count. Tess Price, um, a fair tree investments. They are investment specialists. Um, yeah, they uh, asset managers. So if you've got a few rands to spare and invest, look them up. Uh, their returns are pretty decent. So yeah, um, and I'm sure they'll be glad to talk to you. Um, Not a bad opener from Wayne. Wayne, yeah, yeah. you know he, he struggled a little bit. There we go. He's forced Jerry to change his hand. Interestingly, quite right. Dale Jerrins, leader. Uh, a great set from Jerry. I thought Jerry dominated and commanded the set very well. Much better, yeah. And a great, great reply from Jerry. Again, I think Jerry's grown into the game. He's mm. gotten better and better. That's going to be, it's going to be tough on Wayne. Has he been teasing us? Maybe. Uh, draw the no, crowd. Draw, yeah. Get the crowd uh, going. Right, yeah. Yeah. Obviously not. But um, you know, it's a yeah. tie, tie break in. Why didn't Wayne have a little, little charge at yeah. the wood? You know, yeah. get it out. Yeah. Maybe he swings he's back and makes a bigger target, but he he's just, not. He yeah, just he doesn't have the weight. Yeah. Tide is in, and you don't really feel the tide change in uh, no. Durbanville, Michael. No, we're hundreds of miles away. Maybe a bit <laughs> of, uh, maybe a, maybe a little bit of dew, yeah. Yeah. Jerry changing his hand. Yeah. I think Dropping he short. Yeah. Well, he's now blocked the runner. Well, that does. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's making Wayne play the perfect shot. Excuse me. No, uh, inch and a half behind. Inch and a half behind. Give himself something to work with here. He doesn't get yeah. the shot. Let's get a jack level bowl. Not is he going to swing? swing. No, is he going to get off his ball and turn no. it in? Nope. That shot on that no. hand is tough. Sits now definitely in Jerry's favour. Well, sorry, the tiebreaker. Thanks, Craig, for sharing some info uh, on, on the mat. He says the, the top 16 in Potters, Potters Resort normally give the mat away. And in the world single, so... You know, if I was Wayne, I would be trying to draw it, dead draw it. You know, leaving too much room there. Jerry almost drawing second. Has he drawn second? I don't think. Not quite. A bit of room for Wayne to draw. Come on, Wayne, plays a good one, man. It looks like it's still just the one. one yeah. Crowd are watching him fraud. And uh, Wayne lets the wood go. He's got, it looks like he's got better weight. Has he got a better line? Still got to get inside. No, he's not going to get down. Uh, no, exactly so first to Jerry. Yeah. Just into Jerry. It'll be interesting to see what length Jerry plays now. Yeah. Um, as you've noticed, yeah. going up, he's just dropped it a tad short every now and then. I, you see, he's leaving the bowls. I think he's going to pull the mat up. I wonder if he's going to pull the mat up and box the white. I wouldn't put wouldn't no. wouldn't put that beyond Jerry. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I've, hello, I've, hello. Made, I've made a few calls this hello. week. Uh, I've got most of them wrong, but I'm. I'm hello. Look at this. I think that's good. Is he, isn't he, you know, and if he loses the end, then, then it's a one day shoot down. 100%. What, so what do you, yeah. what's he got to lose? I tend to think Jerry's going to have a little trundle at the jack here and stick yeah. it on the box. There we go. Um, you're right, Kaurus. We need to see more competitions like this in the country. Jerry's friends. He lost the, the white. <laughs> oh, Jerry, you let me down. There we go. No, he's kept it on. He must have oh. on the edge. Oh, okay. Is he, is he, yeah, is he? Here we go. Is here we go. Is he, is he? No. no, Jerry, you party no, pooper. <laughs> but he's not, he's not far out. He's not far out. He's opened up with a fairly good one. I wonder if Wayne will stay on the hand that he's, that he's been playing. Yep, yep. Uh, I thought he would go on his forehand, it. yeah. Let's see. Sand seems to be finishing a bit better. Yes. I think because of that patch, you can see it's actually getting onto right now. Can you stop? And then it runs. Can you stop? And then it runs. Can you stop? Can you stop? Uh, yeah, might be the show. Mm, could be. Let's, Let's see what Derek says. 
So lots of wood. One green. Thanks for that. Yeah, I'll hand over to Trish. Yeah, she's back. Apologies. No problem. I'm drinking so much water. Yeah. Uh, Jerry won the first end of the tiebreaker, pulled the mats, and uh, it's just, oh, just looking good now. Sliding through. Can he get on to Wayne's ball? I think that is the shot. Small correction from Wayne. His line was good. He's playing his favourite hand again. Like Michael O'Connor says, now it's BMT time. Yep, big match temperament. Who's going to play the winning shot at the right time? He's, he's coming not, back. Yeah, he's, he's not, not looking. He's not for it. Can he run? Yes, that's the shot. Well played, Wayne. Well played, Wayne. Very good. Crowd appreciative. A very knowledgeable crowd. Enjoying the balls this afternoon. We're up to almost 900 viewers. That's fantastic. Can Jerry hang around? Can he oh, hang? He's come short. Can he hang? Can he hang? Oh, he's on a little trundle. Wayne line one, one wood to come. Are we going? Are we going the distance? Oh, why has he changed his hand? Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. Is he worried that he's going to be a little bit narrow and turn Jerry's in so he keeps it wide? A lane for the bend. Well, we do. Oh. Hope he's not heavy and hope he's not narrow. Oh, he's going to sit on the back too. That's oh, a what well a great ball. Well played, Wayne. <laughs> Over to you, Jerry. What have you got in your bag of tricks? What have you got in your bag of tricks? his time, observing, wood's on its way, he's got it away, lovely, Jerry likes it, he gets that little, Ooh. little flick, he's not far out, the oh, crowd are shouting, yes. what are the crowd saying, he's got it, is he going to yes. hang around, Jerry Baker, well played Jerry, he's got Jason Nib appreciating the good shot, he's, is he on his way to Potter's, is he on his way to Potter's, Wayne takes a slow walk down, Jerry. Well, if he's not on his way to Potter's, he's on his way to Scotland, so Scotland, yeah. he's got a trip. Yeah, Jerry, 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 what a great <coughs> job. Under pressure and pulls a rabbit out the net. Yeah, there we go. It, it was a great shot. Let's have a look at the replay. Cole giving us the replay. It's been fantastic. What a great draw. And what do we think the Wayne's going to play? Jerry, um, oh. You know, drilling's pumping. Do you play the play tricky hand? Your ball? Yeah, the tricky hand, or do you do you back your ability to draw? Uh, Wayne, he's going to yeah, play the forehand. Hand. Yeah, he's going to play. If you slightly wide, you're going to hang. He's got to be precise he's on line. He's got to have weight to turn Center that ball. 12. Yeah, you'll have weight. He won't be short. Oh, he's, he's wide. He's wide. Jerry oh, Baker. Jerry Baker, all the way from JBA. Well done, Jerry. Is your 2024 World Indoor Series qualifier from South Africa. Well done. Well Acknowledges done. the crowd. What a worthy champion. Well played, Jerry Baker. Well, he played brilliantly because he came back from that first set. Yeah. And it was a bit of a momentum shift the moment um, Wayne, Wayne changed his hand. Yeah, he kept chopping and yeah. changing. He didn't settle. We're going to go straight to the post match with your app. So over to you, over to you, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think you'll agree with me. What a fantastic game of singles! Please give both finalists a massive round of applause. Yeah. Wayne, if we could have you up first, are you ready? Firstly, Wayne, well done. Uh, not an easy task beating Jerry Baker, but you did exceptionally well. You were solid throughout the two sets. Um, how did you find things? Yeah, I know it's always going to be tough against Jerry. I thought I had him in the first set, which obviously I did. And then yeah, to go and draw the game match at the end, yeah, I thought we'd come down for another end, but that's balls and well played to Jerry. 
Uh, Wayne, this is your first outing at the PBA. Your thoughts just quickly? No, excellent. I mean, I can't fault anything. I think it was fantastic to you, the administrators. It was fantastic and good luck with the years to come. Very good. Wayne, thank you. There's, uh, there's good news and bad news. The good news is you're going to the Scottish International uh, later in this year. And uh, the bad news is you're going to have to buy another ticket uh, for your wife, Laura. That was always on the cards before I even played the semis. <laughs> she said to me, definitely have to buy me a ticket. So I will, but maybe Jerry will share. I'll let him get to Potters. <laughs> she certainly deserves it for all the support she gives you. Thank you and a safe journey back. Thanks very much, Jan. Right. We've got Jerry Baker here. Jerry, um, your plans for January has changed slightly. Uh, less time in Samoa. Looks like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this is fantastic. I, I had no expectation of, of, of doing quite well here. Um, uh, came down with Hayley to have a bit of fun, and we've had the fun, and um, it's been outstanding, and, and really well done to, you know, nothing's been, not a lot has been said about the organisation and the, Fair tree and just just everything that's happened here this weekend has been absolutely superb. All the volunteers, I mean, the, just you can't fault anything. Jerry, just take us through the game quickly, if you don't mind. Uh, the first set slightly scratchy, if I may say. No, it was scratchy. You know, I've been scratchy probably the whole day. You know, and um, so it was scratchy. And then I just you know tried to vary the length and try and get a little bit of rhythm. And um, and look, here, I was probably scratchy because Wayne was good. You know what I mean? He put me on a lot of pressure and. Um, um, I think on a t on a little bit of a tricky surface, it was you know there was some quality in there. Yeah, yeah I've noticed, um, uh, Jerry, if you can recall, on the uh, third end of the f uh, second set, surprisingly Wayne threw it long, um, and you capitalised with three shots, which gave you a, a good momentum in that second set. Yeah, I was happy with the tailwind sort of coming down here. You know, when it got halfway down, it sort of picked up a bit of pace, and I got into the long ends. And then up, again up, I just didn't have, a, didn't have a clue on the long end. So I thought I'd just go short and see what happens. And probably worked. Jerry, I'm sure uh, you won more tiebreakers than, than losing tiebreakers. Is that correct? Insane. <laughs> so this is my first singles tiebreaker this weekend. So um, we had a few in the pairs. A um, couple went our way. Uh, one went against us. But, I mean, um, the tiebreakers are here for the spectators. I think it's a lovely format. And, you know, the Masters, the SA Masters, gone back to 21 shots. Um, why I'm not quite sure, but I mean, um, you know, look at the people, they're engrossed, uh, never out of it, so I think it's a great format. Jerry, I'm sure you'll agree with me, the game was played in, in, in a great spirit between the two of you. The audience loved every minute of it, minute of it. they loved having you here, seeing you play, uh, showing off your skills. Um, thanks for coming down, and um, yeah, have a good potters. Yeah, the pleasure's mine. Thanks, Dick. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, I'll let it 
Hello, hello. that would get a reaction.
Okay. Welcome to the prize giving of the second PBA of South Africa qualifier at um, this magnificent club, Durbanville Bowling Club. Uh, thank you, your supporters. Come on. I think uh, a big shout out to the members of Durbanville Bowling Club who have given up their clubhouse, uh, their facilities. Thank you very much. Uh, the committee really appreciates the fact that we are able to hold this competition here. Thank you. Before we get to the prizes themselves, I'd like to welcome onto the green, first of all, the man, Lombard Barnard. Yeah. Yeah. Neil, if you'd like to hand the prize money over to Lombard. Oh, he can stand there, okay. All right. Now, this will go well, don't worry, no mistakes. Okay, also I'd like to welcome... Lombard's brother, Audre. He's the real man. Oh, he's the real man. Okay. Then I'd like to welcome onto the green the man that gets all the facts and figures right, Bresler from Squir. And certainly, last but not least, Richard Craddock. Just a few more thank yous. Um, I think first of all, to the players that have come from near and far to participate in this wonderful event. Uh, thanks to you guys. Um, you put on fantastic performances through the week. Um, it, was a, it was a tough four days. And I'm not talking about the players, I'm talking about my commentary team. <laughs> it, it was really long and we were extremely tired at the end of it, but we thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, besides that, I mean, catering, fantastic, brilliant. Thank you very much, Durbanville Bowling Club. The bar staff, thanks for looking after us. And then I think, thank you. And I think um, people that sometimes um, don't get recognition for the hard work that they do are the umpires and the markers. Thank you very much. On that note, I'm going to hand over to Lombard to say a few words. Yeah, um, I thought you were going to ask me some questions, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, just from the sponsorship side, it's an absolute privilege. Um, unbelievable weekend again, uh, like last year. Um, can't wait for next year already. Um, like a few people said, we have to warm up on different levels, maybe to even taking some, uh, something to drink, sometimes it happens too much, but I, I actually, looking at the guys, it's not that difficult to be in the final, um, <laughs> you know, either, to be honest, you just need to be a legend, or you must change your name to Wayne, so how difficult <laughs> can it be? Um, yeah. yeah, we're very excited to, to see what's going to happen in future even, um, with Bowl South Africa, with what we're doing. We really want to lift bowls, hopefully, to even a, a next level. Um, some exciting stuff to come. Um, the engagements on and off the field, but especially amongst um, people loving the game. And we had wonderful discussions on other people that wants to come to the party and not make only the PBA more better and bigger, but the sport in, in total. So we're so privileged to, to be part of it and can't wait to, to hopefully tell you more about the stuff, but I won't do it right now. Um, so from our side, once again, to all the players and wonderful, all the winners. Um, Jerry said I must go to Potters with him. Not again. <laughs> no, it's so wonderful. But um, yeah, in any case, from our side, congratulations. And thank you for everybody. I think that as I said in my opening speech on, on Thursday night, um, the enthusiasm that um, will start, I'm pretty sure, shortly after this competition is over, we'll be back, we'll be meeting, and we'll be planning for next year. So watch, watch the space. Right, let's go on to the prize giving. Pair semi-finalists, 2,000 rand per team, Jason Evans and Sean Thomas. Yeah! Okay, 
88. Come down to Cape Town and take our money. Uh, the next semi-finalist, if, uh, if you were watching that game, um, I think the tears that flowed after that last bowl from Stoffel were worse than the rainfall we had. <laughs> but terrific performance from the Cape Townians, the Kudut boys, Herman Heisemann and Jandre Heisemann. <laughs> well played, boys. Runner-up, um, getting 8,000 rand per team, were absolutely phenomenal in the semi-finals. I think Jason and Sean will say <clears throat> didn't play as well in the semis, but that happens, eh? Well played, though. Tennis Ulofsa and Warren Stain, and Warren Stain making a regular habit of being down here in Cape Town and taking the money back to Joburg. rand per team plus obviously the trip to Potter's Resort with a whole lot of other things that are worth a lot of money flights and everything paid for your stay at Potter's oh does he ever uh, drinks and food and everything just take a couple of rand with it one he won't be able to use it but just take it with anyway uh, the winners unbelievable he just doesn't go away stop for Lamprecht and Red water. More money. I'm not a danger. No. Well bound, Fred. Great stuff, man. <laughs> That was your undue just suggestion last year. Thanks, Johan. Didn't work as well. Right, now we get on to the singles. Single semi finalists, 1,000 rand each. Colin Pickett, who unfortunately has left. Round of applause. And the other semi finalists, here we go again. Come back, Warren. Okay. Don't think he's not getting money. It's in the other envelope. What a fantastic final. The runner-up singles going off to Scotland. They're playing the Masters there. Warren York. Uh, how come you never compliment when, when I say something right, you say nothing? Cheers, Wayne. Sorry about that. Sorry, Alex. Warren. Okay, Warren. It's okay. I'm so used to saying Warren. Okay, and here we go. Singles winner. Can't believe he got such a round of applause, but uh, we all love him. The one and only Jerry Baker. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for hanging around and uh, 
it makes the atmosphere, it creates the atmosphere. So thanks to you one and all for joining us for the prize giving. Um, that's the end of my story. What do you want? The trophies. Uh, what we would do without John. The middle trophy. To Jerry. Yeah, I'm not giving any trophy to Warren. <laughs> Here you are, Jerry. Congratulations. So that concludes the prize giving. Once again, on behalf of the PBA of South Africa, thank you very much for attending. And we'll see you all again next year. Thank you. Dian, Dian, die goed blij oor. Thank you.